すべてはここから始まった。なき闘争と反逆血の宿命だ私の愛する平八さんは All right, everybody. Sorry for that delay. I was having some PC issues.、Uh, for some reason, my sound wasn't working and my joystick wasn't responding to stuff, so I had to reboot my PC and it's back. So, thank you so much for your patience. First thing I'm gonna do is make sure that we actually have good sound, and we do. I think last time when、uh, we were streaming, we didn't have、uh, loud enough sound effects, music, all that jazz. And now we're here, so. What's going on, Memphis Legends? Appreciate you coming through. Give me,、uh, give me a moment to、uh, get my stream up here as well. You know, having the dashboard up is very important to me, so let me get that up. Alright, I think we're in good standing here. And we'll、uh, get on our way with our first set, which is also our main event Luchahan versus Montel Chilliams. Montel Chilliams always delivers、uh, when it comes to these hype main events. And what's so funny is because he typically likes the early sets, he always. Uh, we've been seeing a, a lot of main events during the first set, right? Usually we see、uh, the main events voted in the you know, big,、uh, middle of the evening,、uh, but whenever Montel Chillion is around, we typically see、uh, main events being the very first set of the evening. So,、uh, shout out to Montel for bringing the hype.、I'm、waiting for、uh, Lucha Han to come in here shortly. Yes, Memphis, you are the closer. And then also.、Um, You know, Meech had mentioned too that he'll be slightly late for the set. So, between you and him, I know both of you are going to be arriving a little bit later than scheduled, and that's okay. We can definitely throw in the filler set there in order to、uh, ensure that、uh, we have given you time to、uh, get home and get a little bit settled before your next set. Let me send another invite here to Lucho. What he's up to, and then hey, Lemon, thank you so much for the 47 months. One more year, not one more year, one more month for four years. Thank you so much, Lemon. I'd like to say, Lemon, mom and dad are very proud of you. Keep up the good work, and、uh, of course, you ever need to reach out for anything, talk, chat. Uh, blow off some steam, you know. You feel free to reach out to myself and Nikki. Future Beats, what is going on? Scarlet w a n t to come back. I know, right? Scarlet here.、Uh, let, me, let me get her on the commentary booth here. I appreciate you helping me out, Scarlet.、Uh, give me one second. Still waiting on Luchahan for some reason. I'm not sure what he's, up, what he's doing. So it gives us some time to. Get this、uh, set set up here.、Yeah. What's going on, Scarlet? Hello, hello. All right, just appreciate you coming through to help with the commentary. How have you been? How's your week? And happy Friday.、Uh, thanks, I'm all right. How about you? I'm doing well.、Um, I had a little PC issue with my sound and all that, so it took me a little longer to set up, but everything is working now, and、um, I'm just happy to. Finish work for the for the rest of the week. I'm, I've been beat. Yeah, future beats. If you can call Luchahan, see what he's what he's doing. I don't know if he's in like a a set or something. Homie is streaming. Homie needs to check my invite. <laughs> Homie needs to know that he's playing right now. He's keeping up the rest of the stream here. Tell, tell Luchahan to finish up what he's doing. Yeah. 
I need to figure out what I'm going to do for dinner. What are your options? Uh, I don't know. Okay. <laughs> My mom said she wanted something good, so I, would, I was thinking, like, what places we could get from... I mean, could order Chinese, maybe, I don't know. I was thinking I was thinking Asian food. China, you, know, you read my mind in terms of Chinese. You can never really go wrong with Chinese food. Um, I told I told my wife that if I could, I would eat Asian food every day, but she can't do that. She wants variety. So yeah. I would say Chinese. Yeah, I haven't had it in a while. Yeah, and that's another thing too. If you haven't had something in a while, go for it. It's a, I think between those two uh, decisions, I think Chinese is now you gotta figure out what you want to eat, what Chinese dish or meal or appetizer. Probably get the, the general size chicken, like usual. Yeah. General size chicken, nice, nice. Yeah. All right, we'll go on here. Finally, Luke Johan has arrived. Thank you so much for your patience, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and put up the predictions. Uh, these two have apparently fought in the uh, Florida first attends, and now we're going to see them uh, in action tonight on this channel. And I don't know who won that set between those two initially. I didn't know. Damn. Yeah, but it's a run back. Somebody give us the lore. Oh, uh, Lu Johan won 10 to 4. Okay. Jeez. Well, That's this cool. is definitely worthy of a main event, so I'm looking forward to seeing that score change. Hopefully, uh, Montel can definitely win some more of this particular set. And uh, the channel predictions are up, folks. Again, this is the main event, so definitely root for your favorite player, character, what have you. The only you issue with is <laughs> that's a lot to eat. Oh, who joined? Oh, yo, what up, Labo? Hey, Labo, another participant I... in our set tonight. I am geeked. Yeah. I am geeked. I got to meet uh, Karen Ashley, uh, the second Yellow Ranger ever in uh, America. Ooh, nice. I got to meet Ooh, I Matt know her. Hardy and Mick Foley. I got to meet Marty Grafstein, the voice of Curry the Cowardly Dog. Ooh. I got a, I got to meet a lot of people in passing. I got go? to meet a, a Galaxy Con in Richmond. Ah, nice I got to meet man. Daniel Fisher in passing. I got Great. to meet um the voice actor from Miles Morales. I got to meet um uh who is it? Uh Ron what was the science name? Ron something, like one of the old wrestlers. There's so many cool people there. Round one. Anywho, fight. We're into this match. As somebody who's played uh, Montel a few times in, uh, in the cast of lobbies, uh, a pain in the ass. Uh, a player who's very aware of uh, how likely you are to defend any given option and the long key play is as easier it is for him to gather that data. However, defensively, Round two. he is just as susceptible Fight. as everyone else. And Joe uh, is an offensive monster on his play. That counter is easy. Yep. Being able to use animal gases and stand transitions to, um, to gather information from wow, the nice. on it and then get like really, really uh, kind of off tempo counter hits. Break. Yeah, I was just playing with the uh, lab wolf here for like an hour and a half, I think it was. Fight. I was fun. Play a little bit. I didn't break it. Nice duck. Ooh. Good slide, definitely. Hey, yo! We're doing some sick lay shit already. I love it. That was super fucking sick. Round four. Fight. 
On the, yep, that's when Montel will grab. He has a certain pattern to him. What I always say, it's a good idea to duck Montel, because you can get free launch if you know when he's going to grab. It's like, he has that pattern about him, where it's like, yeah, this is where Montel would grab. So. Regardless, he broke the grab anyway, so. Good for him. Took that round convincingly. I do not want to play against Montel in my first return. I'm going to get gripped up. <laughs> Oh yeah, you play, uh, you play at me, that's right. Yeah. We're gonna see the Jack Mirror? I doubt it. That'd be really funny. Yeah, Leo's a, a good pick into Jack, in my opinion. Better just, has, in my opinion. just has the uh, range and the dodge options to get big launches and the parries. Ugh. It's monsters. Sidestep one plus two. Here is so Communicator at sake. I got like a genuine mighty motion communicator watch from the Yellow Ranger today. It's heavy. It's metal. It's sick. I'm so geeked up right now. <laughs> yeah. I got Marty Grabstein to record a video for my mom. To talk in like the courage, the cowardly dog voice to her. <laughs> that that'd be yeah. That's fucking sick. Oh wait, he went straight to the fang. That's an interesting choice. Round to one. Set. Or at all. To be Fight. Honest. I don't know if I think it was I think here. Yeah. Not the not a thing has like. Bad matchups, but it's just like right. it's Montel's thing. Yeah. Well, no, I wouldn't say that, but it, you know. Well, it's, it's not that his thing is bad. It's not his name. I just think like against Lucho's lay. Um, it's a weird way to say that, but it's a bit too KO fair. But I mean, I might be wrong. Round two. Does it make sense? Yeah, you Fight. could always do them. I, I would not call Montel's Fang fair. Fang is never fair anymore. But... Well, no, Fang isn't fair, but like, against a, a character like Lay, a lot of characters are like fair. Nah. I, look at this. I don't think it's as fair right now. Look at the way he's controlling him now. Round I mean, three. but like. In a in a in a vacuum of who's more or less fair, would you say like Bang is less fair than King is? You know, I played Montel a lot. Yeah. KO. What was that? <laughs> what was that? I'm gonna go ask my mom to order turn. Should I ask uh, Scarlet's mom to also order us some Chinese too while we're at it? I would love to have Chinese. I need to get in the lab, that's what I need to do. One one. Uh, Lucho now has to deal with this thing for a bit. Maybe Lucho can force uh, Montel back in the king, but only time will tell. Yo, Mr. Pockets, thank you so much for the raid. Party of 15. I hope you had a wonderful stream, Mr. Pockets. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I think I wonder if. Montel had chosen Fang during their their first set on the Florida first attendance, and uh, makes me wonder if you know maybe he got some data from that and decided that Fang may be the appropriate choice for this matchup. Oh, he did not. Montel replied he did not use Fang, so this is a little bit of a uh, 
a wild card for Lucho, maybe expecting the king and now getting the fang. It might have been a, a pick that was uh, that was calculated based on um, round one. Maybe something that Monta saw in the last set. I'm like, hey, maybe Fang can do X better. Uh, especially here, oh, I was gonna say Montel did push Lucho in the corner there, and now Lucho is out. Oh, I love the back dashing by Lucho Han. He's aware that he's not completely locked down by the plus frames. Wow, good clip. Rage, both of them. He's gonna throw out the Rage Trap, no, no opportunity to. Round two. Fight. What is happening? Both of them playing the wonderful martial arts, Chinese martial arts. Wow, nice combo. And recovery too. Nice combo here. What can Montel do with the rage? Nice. Oh, spent. Oh, try to go for the side step four. Luckily, it wasn't I'm not getting in that situation. Break again. Wow. Ooh, fantastic patience from the show, Han. Yes, got bit by the snake. Well done with the rage shot. Never needed to really uh, extend himself any further. Just kind of get his chill. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Wow, look at the Falcon oh, break combo. Oh, just out of range for it. Uh, 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 uh. Wow. Look at the low parry. Round Being four. Shit. Fight. I know, down back three is a very invasive. Nice work, Nice punish. Nice strike. And the launch punish is terrible. Oh, what the hell? The pressure button. Nice back step again. Break that floor. What is that? Oh, he did the wrong combo. Oh my god. Oh, oh my goodness. god, get banged. Final round. That was the most banged shit I've ever seen. Uh oh, Montel has a huge move. Yeah, easy. Bang is working. He heard me talk shit about his fang. He said, nah, let me show you the work. <laughs> oh my god. That must be exactly why I make the comments I do. The little snide, little passive-aggressive comments to people. Because it gets them fired up. They'd be like, nah, I'm going to show you I can play this character now. <laughs> oh my god, I just had a thought. What? I don't know if it'll work, but I'm gonna try it. Hmm. I'm gonna be unhinged tonight. Uh. Wait, are you gonna pick Chloe or something? Why would I ever pick that character? I don't know. Did you wanna be unhinged? I can be unhinged on Jack. I can be unhinged on Josie. That's true. I can be on hands on Leroy. You could just play Josie like I do. There you go, you're on hands. I mean, you already know why I don't play Josie like that anymore. Yeah, well, you should start. It's fun. Playing Josie's I, fine if I don't plan on thinking. You should think. Nah, fuck that noise. Hmm. Then feel. Don't autopilot. Whatever you do, don't autopilot. <laughs> hey, am I not doing alright so far? 
I mean, you did better than you did yesterday. Oh, trade. I don't get hit with that shit. That's all I can do is, yeah, there you go. Pester. Yeah, he's getting pestered. Round two. Fight. The fang is in full annoyance. Full annoyance with that. Oh, why are you swinging? Uh, 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 uh. Uh, uh. Oh my god, that almost killed him. Oh, nice backstep on that one. Yeah, there you go. Nice handling. Round three. Dang it, fuck up. Which ain't get fucked up that easy. He's not that easy, bro. Nope, that's not wall. Nice. Yeah, he's retaliating now. Now you know what you gotta do, Marco. Fight. You do know what you gotta do, right? Down back three action. Nice demon ball. Very nice. Alright, we'll take that, whatever. Nice. He's baiting him so hard. Oh, hit him with that dragon hammer. Do it again. Oh, get that blue shit out of here. Final round. Final fucking Fight. round. Ugh. Wow, what a little day. Nice. Put a half cake there, actually. What the fuck? Yo. Nah, it would've worked though. It would've worked there. No rage on either side. The uh, counter hit trade. No! Oh, just out of range! You tried to totally poke this man. Oh. You tried to toe poke this man like that? That is crazy. You can't be doing that and then whiff because you look like a, you look silly. You might as well have slipped on a banana peel right there. That's yeah. why I think the best foot. I don't know how to deal with that. <laughs> I'm mean today. I feel mean. <laughs> He said, give me that big toenail, loot your home. Loot your home. was like, nah, let me back up a millimeter. I just had a thought. What did you think? I've been thinking. Oh, you've been thinking? I had a thought. I think, yeah. what the hell just happened? You thought you've been thinking? Oh. <laughs> I had a thinky thought. The thinky is the thought. Mm. I had a thought that was, uh, that couldn't have been made by an artist. A da Vinci. A da Vinci. Yeah. I had a couple thoughts, but that's not the same thing we're talking about. Da Vinci. <laughs> Alright, I am one. extremely off track. Fight. Going to an infinite stage now. <laughs> better get your brain ready for that set. You better be thinking about that set. What do you think I'm doing right now? Oh. Oh, okay. Well, then you're on track, then. On track, yeah. so you're off track. No, we finish. KO. I feel like Lucio Han should just kind of have down Round back one two. three. Oh, down back one three is kind of like there at all times. Oh, yo, he's just getting happened. He's getting pieced up. My man just got pieced up, by the way. That camp was going to be. Give me them cankles. Give me them cankles. Do it again. Oh. Okay. The problem with Lucho countering uh, Bad Campo right here is that he's able to put himself into a 50 50. 
Which if he if he guesses right, he's in great shape. But if he doesn't, then I can put him in a worse spot. He got pieced up. KO. Round three. Fight. Got twisted up like blended smoothies. Oh. oh, you gotta get up for it. Good luck, Barry. KO. He's taking it away Round from Round four. He's not allowed to have that shit. Yeah, there you go. There you go, there God damn. That, that whip punish is going to end up being really useful, especially if we stay on thing. Yeah. It's almost as good as Josie's 4 2 4. Actually, it's better than Josie's 4 2 4. KO. You win. That's actually such a good whip punish, actually. It's significantly better than Josie's dumb, uh, Josie's 4 2 4. Mm hmm. Wow, it's already three to two. So it's been intense. You know, I can think about it. This, is, this could be my pick. I can play intentionally, this is my pick. Yeah, you should be playing intentionally all the time. Yeah, I hear what you're saying. I hear you're saying should, you should, but I'm an idiot. And apparently a trash player, according yeah. to me. <laughs> no, you gotta be better than that. You gotta rise up. Wait, what the hell? Oh, we're back to, wait, hang on. We just won that last game. I didn't. I thought, thought Montel won that last game. I don't think he did. No, oh. Lucho Han won. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I was I'm saying a... I was saying what the hell about something else, my fault. Oh. Round one. Had y'all confused. Fight. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Wow, <laughs> these low fairies. Round two. Fight. K.O. Round three. Fight. Jump. That was insane. Oh my! Oh me! Oh my! Montel's struggling. Oh wow! Never mind, King shit. Damn, King shit. King shit. Yeah, don't be King shit again. And you got it. Yeah. KO. That's insane. Round four. It didn't Fight. even matter if you that guy was playing truthfully. Oh, Yo, that was paper? I respect the attempt. Yeah, he didn't even get punished. Oh, what the hell? Dog. New dog. Oh. 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 Oh.
out of the backstory. Final round. Fight. <laughs> Damn, don't get up like that. King shit. That's, I'm not saying king shit like, oh, king shit, like it's a Kazia player for Kazia players. Um, I'm saying king shit is I'm like, yo, that's some king shit. I need yeah. to get glasses, I can't see nothing but this dub, boss man. <laughs> I don't know why it detests playing against Kazia players so much. It's just not fucking fun. Like, you can't, it's, it'd be different if it was like, oh, I'm sitting here and I'm observing and I'm trying to find patterns and I'm figuring out what times they want to do it and when and you start, you know, finding answers. It's just like, okay, I'm observing, I'm trying to find patterns, I can't find patterns, there's nothing but chaos. I'm looking for the brain activity, if there isn't one, they've shared the brain cells. Get ready for the next battle, 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 battle. Maybe I'm bullying. I feel like I'm bullying. I feel like it's not fair of me to say that. Oh, it's okay to bully Kazuya players, actually. I feel like it's wrong to bully Kazuya players. They don't know any better. They opened up the game and they were like, oh, hey, the character thing is on Kazuya. Let me try him first. And they had no <laughs> reason to switch. <laughs> if it was on Heihachi, that's why there's a bunch of Heihachi players. It started on Heihachi and people were like, well, there's no reason to switch, so... <laughs> Oh, you got no launch? No grab either. There's troubles. No punish either. Yeah, oh. Oh, oh I was like trying to figure out when exactly that was gonna walk. Yeah, oh, okay. oh, yo. The back turn hop kick just evaded the jab. Oh, you know who I got to meet today? Who? Will Friedel. Oh, yeah? That was so cool. Oh, wow. Okay. Carly, you know who Will Friedel is, right? No, I don't know many people. He was old boy from Boy Meets World, and he was a voice for Unstoppable and Kim Possible. Uh, and he's a nerd, and he's been on Critical Role uh, numerous times. Oh, uh, gotcha. Let's see. Round three. Fight. <laughs> No duck on the uh, thingy. I punished there, but Punish. we got more. Finally oh, hit got him mashing. Oh, oh wow, I was trying to hit it. Hang shit? Really Only three master, four, two, one. Uh, not quite enough for the distance to get to the wall. You better be careful. Oh, oh shit, This is gonna kill. kill. Round four. That was such a good comeback. Fight. Oh my god. He's back in this match. Oh. Oh, I just realized the Duncan line Duncan. for David Tennant wasn't even a fucking line. It was a crap. Yeah. Oh, well, nice break. Obvious dice. KO. Oh no. That's an unfortunate trait. Yeah. Alright, close that so far though. He was really looking like he was about to do stuff. Dang, it's only 4-3 though. This set's gonna be close. Get ready. 
for the next battle. battle. I feel like a child again. <laughs> oh yeah, that's, that's lovely. When's I'm holding a time? fucking Power Rangers communicator in my hand. I've always wanted one. Oh, that is really sick. That is really sick. Like of all the Power Rangers merchandise, I could have stumbled upon. Mm-hmm. Round one. Fight. I wonder when the last time I watched the movie kid was. No duck. Yo, 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 I'm bashing. Yo. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Oh, oh that just killed. Okay, never Round mind. Two. Yo. <laughs> Fight. He saves all his floors here. Oh, Luke is gonna take one, right? Yeah, there it is. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, missed the combo? Oh, here we go. That was nasty! Excuse me! Call the police! What the fuck? Fight. We're not gonna talk about that. That was illegally for free. I'm gonna now, talk about uh, it. I'm calling cops right now. Uh uh. Uh, uh, uh for right in the Not check. Uh, four four two two. The break on the giant swing. Yo, jump. Position has changed. Never mind. We're going back. Down. Get down Ooh, there, boy. Down, scares. down three four. Nope. Mm. Uh, no work again. I thought for sure the tiger sweep was coming dead ass. I'm surprised he didn't duck actually. That's okay, cause Jesus. Armor move. We're playing Jesus. second eight. Let's go. Round four. That second hit did so Fight. much damage to Delonto. Oh my word. Yeah, he broke it that time. Nice cancel. We should be breaking these grabs. We'll be getting this combo too. Uh, the Tijuana Teddy Twister. Jesus. The violence. Future Beach said that wall combo is a pepper beef special. The secret menu item. You gotta ask for it. The pepper beef special deluxe. Extra spicy. <laughs> but it's too goddamn sick. That's why it's on the secret menu. You have to ask for it, and then you have to sign a waiver. Back to in Cave of Enlightenment, one of Lucho's main favorite stages. I believe the other one is steep. Round one. Fight. Starting with the magic four combo. Looking mighty powerful. Good lord, dude. Yeah, all oh, work, whoa, whoa. Alright. Oh, you could have punched that. That's okay, though. We don't need it. We don't need it. Right? Yeah, we don't need it. Round two. Fight. Wow, he just got slow by that slow shit. 
This Montel is around the lead. Okay. Are you using down back one? Round three. I was gonna say it as late as possible, so I didn't jinx him. <laughs> Okay. Neutral three. Alright then. Alright then. Let's go. Yep. Round four. Fight. Montel definitely looking a bit fired up. I say as he drops the combo. Oh. Is Lucio confirming down back one? Probably. That thing's really close. KO. Yeah, it's one of those situations with the friends, I imagine. Fight. It feels like it's too late. Yeah, yeah, it's one of those. If you delay it too long, they can definitely go dude. Oh. Oh. Yeah, here we go. Okay. He's dead either way. I thought it was going the other way, but... Man, I'm sleepy. Before you're set? I mean, I've been up for a while. And I haven't been getting much great sleep recently. Who really has? I'll be getting my homework done while I'm sitting here waiting. I should be laughing, too. Oh, well, yeah, I'll just, just like do all that, buddy. <laughs> Lab, do your homework. Get untired. Yeah. I don't have enough time for shit anymore. Yeah. So Damn, I gotta get laundry done tonight, too. Fuck. Oh, wow. That's Dude, fucked up from every direction. Get ready I'm not for the next battle. I've Yeah. He needs the clues anyway. He needs the homework anyway. Tech and his love, tech and his life. Who needs uh, his sleep? Money is life, and money allows me to continue to play tech, and so I need to do my homework. There you go. Oh, uh, well, it's good to see you have your priorities straight. I was testing you. Uh, DD Green, what are you doing right now? Yeah, hey, DD. Oh. Round one. DD Green? Fight. You guys hear me? Now yeah, we... there you are. Now I can hear you. Good, good. What are you doing right now? I literally just got home. I'm about to eat and attempt to commentate while eating. <laughs> Damn. Where are you trying to play? Uh, I'm down to just kind of uh, practice some stuff while I'm waiting for my job. Okay, I can do that for you. Nice. Oh. Nice one, two. Mr. Rich. Oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Red work. Red work. Yeah, alley kick. Round two. Alley kick, heavy Fight. alley kick. It's not something that was on my bingo card. Whenever I go to con conventions like anime stuff, I should start taking cosplay bingo cards. Because <laughs> gargles would not have been on my bingo card, but I saw a gargles in the study day. Oh, wow. Nice. Right? I saw a green psycho ranger cosplay today too, which was pretty sick. Punish? Oh yeah. Muscle bus. Mmm, that's your gooch. In Round half. three. Fight. Can't really be like this is your gooch on drugs. Holy shit! Fucking my man's up. He needed that heavy. He needed Ugh, that. Oh my god. It's not gonna get too long. No! Karma <laughs> move! Fuck your blue stuff! K no, he did the mid! I knew he was gonna do the mid! Oh my god. He said, fuck your blue stuff. That get the shit out of here.
Is it possible for this to be Montel is in the lead. He's the first one to make it to five, actually, so. It'll not be a six four, right? Yes. Okay. You just set lab. Thank him. I just set lab wolf. What? When is your set lab? Oh, uh, 945. Okay. Get ready for the battle. next battle. I got quite a bit of time. No issue. Uh, no, I mean, go eat first, I mean, you just got home. No, I can play you real quick, because I gotta leave at 8.30 to pay to my brother, so I won't be able to help you out after that. So, it's either right. battle or never. <laughs> That's fine, I'll, I'll get on. And plus, I gotta play Shima too, but I haven't heard back from him ever since, so I'm like, okay. I am here. Hey, D.D. Green, are you a Power Rangers fan? Um, used to be. What? Come on. I got to meet, Round uh... One. The, you remember the black yellow ranger from my yeah. I got to meet her today. Nice. I got a I got a communicator too. So what can let you was happening? Galaxy. Yeah. Galaxy. Yeah. Okay. We're trying. Okay. Four four neutral two. Bring that ass here, boy. Headbutt. Get out of here, Alex. Whoa, whoa, where you like that? Yeah. Oh. The way, oh. uh, the way Round you two. on and stole that moment Fight. for a second. Yeah, that was oh. a lot. He's moving, he's moving. Oh. Mmm, <laughs> down back there. Oh, down, yeah, down back All of it is nasty. Damn, 4 for you do this, grounded? Yes, it does. K.O. I kinda wish he got it. Got, like, Round got 3. Carry, but I guess not. Fight. Just late things. Trump is such a good button. Right? You wouldn't expect to see oh, him after no. a lot, but getting a lot of mileage. Like, even on block, it just creates an, a situation where he just neutral, naturally has, like, mental advantage. Speaking of mental advantage, grabbing it out of his animal stance. Oh my god. Round four. Is that a fight? Even though he just has a tiger, that was a jaguar mask. <laughs> okay. Gonna break on the giant swing. Right. Like, what do you do in that situation? At least? You can't just stick a foot. No break on the giant swing. I thought it shot me with it too. No way. Okay. Run and drop kick. Don't. Don't I thought it was gonna be run and drop kick. Fight. Oh, the folks! Death by a paper cut! That's nasty. Oh my god. Uh uh. Going downstairs. No, no 4 2 1. Thought we would have taken Ralph break right there. 4 4 neutral 2. This guy is going up. so violent. K no shot! Uh, no uh, shot! Great block! Phenomenal! I feel like I'm just talking. <laughs> I'd be screaming. Mm -hmm. uh, I just realized the venue for Galaxy.com is open till 2 a.m. Jesus. Lord. This will be open till 2 a.m. for the next two nights. Hurrah. Definitely long con. Might need to go to this next year and just be like, bro, I was there for like two hours and I spent like three hundred dollars. Gee, <laughs> wow, it is a problem. Yeah, 
Actually, no. I think I spent more than that. I think I spent like four hundred dollars. How else do you even get it? How did I get? I got autographs, selfies, got some merch. Um. Yeah, that's basically it. Autographs, selfies, merch. The autographs weren't even for me. They're for Round other people. one. Uh, Fight. Here we go. It's King Stage. Oh. I see. Oh. That's going in the wall. Round two. Maybe four one or three one. Oh no, four hit one. Oh, 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 that was and round nice. three. You have to take such Fight. proactive defense against like. Mm -hmm. so now we yeah. can. Yeah, my mic's actually a little bit tired. Oh, now stairs? Nope, no running power bomb. Oh, but just run up and launch him. Oh wow. It's okay, we don't need it. We don't need it, we have these. You win. That was a no round brown. On King stage. Is it six six or five six? Six six. Lucha one two to catch it to tie it up. Yep. Alright, six six. Very even set. The last one was 10 4, right? So we're already very like lemon. What happened? Lemon. Oh, le <laughs> lemon. Jeez. Lemon. Do you want me? Yes. Uh, yes, you already know. I, I really don't, but okay. <laughs> yes, you do. You know. Because you're a smart person and you know everything. I don't know. Yeah, I, don't know. I have this little book on my counter, and like on the front of it, it says "Rule Number One: DD Green Knows Everything." So I don't know. The book it's written in a book, so obviously it's true. Uh, whoever told you that, please go tell them to go hurt themselves. I read that <laughs> in the book. Please tell them to go hurt themselves. It'll be okay. And I gotta figure out another thing. The hell left four and a half days off. That's just me though. Okay. Round one. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Wow, you with the fang? Okay. Fang was working. It's okay. We figured maybe he caught on to his king too much and he needed to switch it up again. KO. Hey, hey. Look at that one. Round two. Fight. Oh, stream count is on. Yeah, it's six six I You gotta fix that. I got one KO Round three Fight I might have Ouch That's not a shoulder punishable Panther Q uh, 
Pretty sure it's mine. Yeah, that was mine. KO. Round four. The Lucho has been. Wait, that was actually a genius move because Lucho has been ducking after all the time to catch his uh, jabs. So yeah, actually that was just very intelligent shoulder. I remember that happening. Pressure, baby! He's not good at doing it properly. Do it properly, Montel. <laughs> Until I'm Mon Fang William. I'm fucking deceased. Until you learn how to do that properly, don't do it. Hey, Monto, do it again just to mess with Edie Green. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. No. Don't yeah, do yeah, that. Yeah. Actually, do it again and then do it right and then do it wrong again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds like living at dude. Yeah, we can see why this got voted main event. Been a good set. Ah, uh, jeez. Uh, 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 uh. Ow. I can't believe I can consistently get that combo now. I used to think it was fucking impossible. Round one. Oh, I was um cleaning out my Instagram because I wanted to uh, do it, and I saw a post I had made like three years ago that I was going live on Twitch, and my rank was first Dan. Oh, and I was like, damn. Okay, I went a, a lot farther than I thought it would be. Because back then, like, my homie... He's gonna make him watch the movie? Come on. Yeah, make him watch that movie. Yeah, sometimes in these long sets, I do that for myself to get a breather. Shit is exhausting. Like, yeah, I'm just gonna do the rage art, safe combo, wait for a couple of seconds to collect my brain again. I, I do. I definitely uh, do that in the screen between games if I get any frustrated. I'm like, all right, I'm gonna take this whole time. I'm gonna like round around my apartment and gather my thoughts before I go back in. Yeah, yeah. Punish that. There you go. Right now, Montel is definitely playing the death by a thousand paper cups thing. KO. No one expects a generic throw. Fight. <laughs> Wow. Yeah, that was, that was a good Ooh, Oh, okay. Yo. That was, that was Final good. round. Fight. I got my three. Oh, what is it? Oh no, no. no! Why did I put this special thing spring to the time over the thing? I'm going to be a cluster right here. You can get with that as well. Let's practice doing that. I hate that. What? The confirm? Like, that's whatever, I'm bad. <laughs> that, I'm bad there. That should have done something. Wait, you can confirm that? Yeah. Okay, that that's even stupider. It's not that bad! It is. Oh, whatever. 
Like, that's why it's bad. You should not get a follow-up after that. You should get a 50-50 at most. That follow-up is just kind of... Like, we're gonna have to, like... It's, it's, it's so bad. It's so bad. It's off. It it's off. I'm back. It is. That sounds good all. That sounds it's good a 13 all. frame hit confirmable string that knocks down and leads to a follow up for roughly 50 damage. 55 to be exact. Come on. Okay. This motherfucker. Round one. <laughs> Fight. People dead on the These back ones are starting to kind of be annoying again. I'm actually shocked that we got the same guy so quickly. You drop the combo. You drop the bag, Lucho, huh? Why are you dropping the bag right now? Oh my, I was just about to say he's fine, but he might not be. He wanted to hold you. And he wasn't getting good. He was fine like that. KO. Round two. Fight. Meeting these beef teriyaki sticks. Bruh. Nice, nice. Round three. Uh, Fight. Down two. Get chased out on the back end with the four hundred and one. Hey, full strike. Is that a high? What? The king. Uh, the AOP launcher. Not the mid. My mid. Hey, you I want to speak to you here. What a low parry. Nah, right. no shot. I need Round to practice four. that. Fight. Yo. Yeah, I deserve that. Slidey, slidey. Low, low. No one is expecting the generic throws. Oh my goodness. Final Fun round. Fight. This is German who's in the lead. He is harassing him with those generic throws. He has a broken one. What a step. Weird side combo. The Oki gets the, Oki gets the launch. He got all oh, the fang hole kick. You got no. You were pressing. No, Montel. You win. Montel got nervous. Pressed rage art. Hey. 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 Yes. Check it. Check this out. No, I don't want to. <laughs> Eight, eight, <laughs> eight, seven, <laughs> boost show. Eight, seven, game sixteen. On I'm the so sick of this shit. Coming up. <laughs> on top of that, Montel dropped the bag again. But no, what? But Lucho he dropped the bag. But Lucho he dropped no, the bag. He's just well. juggling the bag. He hasn't quite dropped it yet. There's still a few games left. He dropped the bag of that match. Nah. It was just a, it was just a creative difference of opinions. How do I deal with the character? <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna defend you because you deserve to be defended.
Everyone deserves to be defended. If I play like shit, I at least Round want somebody one. to defend me. Fight. No, if I play like shit, I need to get like thoroughly criticized. Constructively. Facing. KO. Round two. Fight. Oh, unfortunately. Ow. Die. Oh, time. Oh yeah, I forgot to save. His pain. Ooh. <laughs> I'm being bullied. There you go. Help! 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 <laughs> I help! KO. We do need to get Montel a couple better fang combos in certain situations. That combo. Is Oh! Oh, he tried to. Oh my God! You dropped the bag. Oh my God! He has the bag again. The okay, bag. Good. The bag is back. Oh, good break. Oh, okay. bag. We're juggling it. We're putting money in. I'm putting money in. Okay. Escape park. I keep forgetting right. to bet on people. Oh no! How? Four. A fight. Little Hanuman knew what to do against the head. He would have a chance to sit there. Oh, that side uh -oh. The bag is slipping out of his hands. It's slipping out of his hands. Wrapped, he's wrapped the cord around his hand. He's okay. Okay. <laughs> As the, the bag is firmly in his grasp. The bag is firmly in his grasp. He's firmly grasping it. SpongeBob is in the car. He's about to drive away. Wait, no. The car's out of gas. <laughs> car's out of gas. The car's out of gas. Oh, no, bubble bag. Sure, bubble bag. Car. Car. You guys trading into the Rocky Wait, Valley, fight. what the fuck? They're not done yet, though. They're not done yet. Gotta drive this bumpy ass shit. Uh oh. Okay, SpongeBob had a gas canister. They're trying to get a field damn bow bass, still shooting at him. Oh, oh, oh my god. god. Oh, he hit SpongeBob in the shoulder. This is bad. It's there. Oh, no. oh no! SpongeBob got hit in the head! Third time! Come back as one fuck! They exploded twice! You oh, win. Good. Watch all the no. All right, well, that's not over. That's all right. We got another hit. We got one more score. Mm -hmm. Hey, I'm a little at that bullshit. I hate that. Uh, you might I switch back to King. He should before. I should. He loses the say because he better be locked in the king. Otherwise, it's gonna be it's gonna be ugly real quick. Is it is it the character or is it the, is it like defending against each other? It's probably honestly, I think it might be just the character from Montel because he's not taking as much advantage of his punishment as he should when he's playing the Fang Lay matchup. The Fang Lay matchup is actually not that bad for a Fang. It's more of battle, battle. it's more of who has the harder 14 frame punishers? Mm. Uh, hang on, how I even? Bruh, I'm a struggle in my set tonight, goddamn. No, you're struggling against my Leo. That's they're between my Leo and who are you playing against? At who are you playing against? Batman. Oh. Round one. Fight. Well, I will do it right now. You. Are not gonna show as large, but you are gonna show them. Yeah. I still haven't figured out who I'm running. Hey! Why is that in minus nine? Oh no. Alright, we pulled him into the bank. Disarming the security systems. Toe's taking a while to crack. Oh, we're in! Oh, 
I ran alarms are disabled. Round two. Right now, but it does the same thing. Right now, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're, good. we're moving to the back of the bank. That's muscle buster. Okay. Uh -huh. Security guard standing up front. Has he noticed this? He's looking yes. in our direction. He's looking at your direction right now. He's staring at you. He's staring at us. He's trying to provoke you. That's uh -oh. definitely uh -oh. all rated. He's noticed us. Oh. Oh, no. oh this no, guy no, isn't no. working though. He's looking away. Oh, he's looking away. Okay, okay, okay. We're in the back of the bank. Round three. Got somebody. We're trying to get him open. We got to step the guard away. You're good. You're good. Oh, oh. We got somebody quiet. It's a mama too. Uh, he's gonna do what we say. Okay. She's moving to open the vault. She's putting in the passkey. Oh, she's putting uh, in the passkey. Get the money in the bag. Put the money oh. in the bag. Okay. Right now, the bag's right Security now. Security system looks clean. Oh no. We're moving quietly. Uh oh. Security card is moving. You notice the vault was open. We're telling her to say. We're telling her to make up an excuse. Uh oh. She's walking out to security oh. guard. Probably one you. Probably one co-worker. Uh oh. She's looking back oh, at no. us. K.O. Oh, 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 I think they got the cops. Round they got the cops. The cops are on the way right now. Like back up is called. Back up is called. Code red. Back up is called. We have a few bags. We have a few bags. We can get out. We can get out. What are we doing? What are we doing? Uh oh. Cops are responding really quickly. We still have time. We still have time. Okay. Still have time. <laughs> oh no. Bags drop. Bags drop. Threatening, oh, we're threatening a security guard. No. Security guard doesn't have a gun. He's gonna let us go. Throwing the bags in the van. Bags in the van. Are we having an issue? No! Oh, no. We're, We're having an issue starting off the van! Right. What the oh, fuck? Oh, oh, We're driving the asshole! They shot out a wheel! They shot out of the wheel in the van! We're struggling! We're driving on the rim! We get to the intersection. We're free! We're moving no. to the back streets! We're moving to the back streets! Help us do! Yeah. We got past the spike strips! No. You dropped it again! Oh, oh no! Cops are following us down the side streets! <laughs> we have to dish the van! Move out on foot! We can split up and get away! Oh, 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 we're getting away. A couple of us are away. Get one more left. Oh, he broke the tag swing. Oh, okay, we got away. We got away. Good score. Good score. We're free. We're free for a bit. You're free for like the next three minutes. <laughs> Y'all wait for the star count to go down. We didn't. They didn't find out anything about us. We're good. Crap. They need us for another score. Okay. Can we do another one? Can we make another score? Can you make it? On. Right. All right. This one's a jewelry heist. They're taking us to Zales. They're taking us to Zales Warehouse. Zales Warehouse. Why Zales? We already know the diamond. We already know the diamonds are lab grown, but honestly, there's no real distinction. So we can slowly leak them out onto the market and make you killing in the diamond trade. Wait, lab grown? Like they're a plant? No, like they just make diamonds in labs. Yeah, it would be lab made. They wouldn't be no, they're lab, lab grown because they're 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 lab grown. You don't just make a diamond. Diamonds take like a long time to be made. So they're they're basically grown. I'm just imagining it like a fucking plant. I mean, to be fair, it's closer to a plant than some plants are. It's gonna be made inside of something else. You have to create like significant amount of pressure. Mm-hmm. All right, all right. Round all right. one. Jewelry hype get started Fight. now. Let's open the place out. <laughs> They're closing down for the evening. They left a security guard in the building. It might complicate things. He's oh. complicating yeah. things. There's somebody walking around in the building. That security guard is actually an employee who hasn't left yet. Uh oh. Did they get the badge? Is that a name tag though? No, it's eight, nine. KO. Oh, it's the security guard. Okay. It's gonna really complicate two. things. Jewelry store is really small. We're gonna have to work a lot harder. That's all right. We're starting to work on the security system. We can get through the security system easily and get incapacitated guard. Oh no. We're having issues getting in the security system. One wrong move and we're gonna set off the alarm. Oh. Uh, got lucky. We're going along. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Uh oh. It's taking a bit. So I forgot struggling. 
Oh, we're in a dangerous spot. One false move and let's trick the scary Oh no. Oh no. He set off the way the rock. Cops on the way. We gotta get out. We gotta get out. We gotta come back another day. Come back another day. Come back another day. You ain't good. I'm about to get caught now. Oh, wait. We're getting away from the cops. They haven't quite caught us. They haven't quite made the escape vehicle yet. If we can keep our eyes, we can keep our eyes closed. And just move to the streets real black light so we won't know it's us. Oh no. Oh no, the security guard gave an eyewitness account. Nope. Security guard hold. You got the wrong car. You got the wrong car. <laughs> Alright, we're good for now. <laughs> it was the wrong car. Okay. Come back the next night. Let's see if we can try this again. Oh, they've updated the security system. We're gonna have to try a bit harder now. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, no. Okay, it's good. got lasers. Immediately. Immediately made. We gotta move fast. Oh, oh, the cops are there faster! Yo! They're actually oh, shooting at us. We're okay. Just get in and get out. Oh, oh the cops! The cops are there! The cops. Oh, shit! Is this it? That's it, boys! Get arrested! You get arrested! Sorry, guys. GG's. Sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. The fake heist was a, was a fail. Oh, wow, he left. Immediately left, too. Oh, shit. Oh god. I'm fucking deceased. Hey, we'll say it like this. It, it was an attempt. They tried <laughs> to get the money, they failed, security guards with lasers all came out, they were said, what you doing? Why do the security guards have lasers? No, security guard and lasers in the facility. Uh, okay. <laughs> it was all what? That went so bad, I think the security guards did have fucking laser guns. <laughs> that part. It's fucking like goddamn hair dryers that shoot out infrared lasers. Yeah. <laughs> like a jagger, he walks out from the back. <laughs> no worries. <we're laughs> we, we got jagger. Oh shit! <laughs> we got jagger. We good. Oh, royal. Imagine like no, you just waking, we? like you've had this place cased out. You have everything under control. And you just wake up in the like you just like you enter the store and all of a sudden it's this fucking seven foot tall robot that looked like some sixth grader drew it and just like turns a proton cannon on you doesn't say anything. <laughs> yeah, Christ. That's horrifying. <laughs> Fighting Shiva next. Uh, Can we talk about how like physically more imposing Jack Eight is compared to like any other iteration of Jack? Oh well, yeah, that is true. Like they are not fucking around. They're not. Even his new animations aren't fucking around. Like, <laughs> like I don't know what happened between the end of seven and the beginning of eight, but Kasia was just like, nah, nah, we're done with this bullshit. We don't. They don't have to look aesthetically pleasing. Get them ready for combat. Yeah. My dog, my dog Jack doesn't even have normal eyes, and he has a visor protecting his eyes. If that's not the most extra shit I've ever seen in my life, <laughs> pimp my Jack. <laughs> my dog was like, <laughs> my dog was like, Doctor Doctor Beskanovich, I require sunglasses. <laughs> Consider it done. <laughs> All right. So Shima, Shima requested this. And, uh, I'm not gonna lie, I expect meats. Expect what? No 10 O's though, Shima, you gotta get at least like 3 or 4. Come on, you could do it. I don't even know if I could get 3 on my men. Lemon's, Lemon's gym is actually a menace. I don't think Lemon actually picks gym. Oh, he'll pick Jin. He'll give him the work. Shima and him play a lot, so... Shima probably expects him to give him the work. But he might not start Jin. Maybe he won't start Jin, but I expect to see it. Are you saying Jun or Jin? Jin. Oh, okay. Hey, baby boy. <clears throat> My guinea pig is looking at me like I'm a weirdo. I mean, he's right, but... Yeah, yeah, that's that's what I figured. 
Yeah, there you go, Lemon. Yeah, don't disrespect him. Give him the real word. That's all I'm I'm old great great but I guess, girl, as I said before, Asuka, Tomboy Supremacy, cool. Otherwise, fuck that motherfucking trash dumpster of a character. <laughs> but why do you hate Asuka so much? Fucking tweet. I did no. it. It's my fault. No, it's did not you just your fault. No, it's every Asuka man. Every Asuka man. Dancer took me out of com my first combo breaker, double Jeopardy. Then I lost to another Asuka player through. Um, an online tournament, lost to an Oscar player at Evo, online Evo, and then lost to another Oscar player, and then I finally lost to you, Scarlet. You were the last you were the, one. You were the one that broke the camel fight. See, <laughs> I told you it was me. <laughs> I did it you know, more than once. That's me with Paul. My first offline tournament, I got fucking done the fuck up by uh, uh, LJR's call. Like it wasn't even a fucked up contest. I would try to dash in and jab, and I would get down for two. LJR is funny. He, he hates me. <laughs> oh, nice launch, Shima. I'm actually curious how Shima will do, because I've been playing him recently. He's definitely gotten a lot stronger. Like, look at this. It's kind of cold right now. I'm trying to make I, a statement. I swear there's a coin flipping app on the other screen of a lot of Casio players, and it just flips automatically by itself, and then they just look over the screen every so often to figure out what the next option is. <laughs> that is so fucking funny. Slow carry this man's dick grab. Is that a missile? I think I didn't catch it. I'm gonna try to be unbiased, but I really don't like my Indian copy. He just played the best attack kind of it. Oh, that's bad. Interrupted it! Nice! Oh! Round Are we three. thinking about defense attack in the Perfect. same way? I mean, I think I am. Uh, I don't know if I agree with it being defense attack. Or at least not the copies I play. I play against Cosmos who have really good fundamentals, and that's a pain in the ass. But at least I feel like that's like somewhere where I can actually start making logical reads based on situations. And then I play against Cosmos and like red and purple, so it's just like, nope, I just gotta be right over and over again. Yeah. It looks like Lemon has already made massive adjustments. KO. What up, Round Joel? four. He made game five adjustments. Man, it's cold. He's been the same ever since. Um, yeah. He's getting colder. Ugh, ugh. That's minus fourteen. Be careful with that. That's five. Ooh. How do I didn't know she was playing Lemon, that would have helped him out with no Lemon. Are you reacting down with this dude? Yes, he can. Oh my god, how sweet! Both characters have very reactable loads. The problem is that we can see them when we get up wrong. You win. Stature kick's kinda hard. I want you to at least get two wins on the set because I know you can get two. Yeah, I know. Or, get. Don't don't come in here expecting to lose. Come in here expecting to beat the fuck out of Lemon because you need to. Get three wins or don't come home, young man. Okay. Don't follow Lab Wolf's protocol. Follow my protocol. You can come home. We'll leave you some warm cookies and milk, but please. <laughs> hey, hey, Shaq's dad did that. And Shaq is one of the best basketball players of all time. You want to be like Shaq? Shima. Or you want you want to be like Shaq? You want to be like D.D. Green, huh? Get four wins or you're sleeping in the doghouse with no dinner. Well, I'll leave, I will at least give you a blanket, but you don't get that. <laughs> that part. Thank you, Mr. Poppy, for all that. <laughs> oh, y'all want to be like Shaq? Y'all y'all just y'all just don't, y'all don't respect the machine? I like how I made it worse. Yeah, Scarlet made it worse. Lab Wolf, you just made it sound like you just want to be an abusive parent. And I'm not an abusive parent. I I believe my children can achieve excellence, and I expect that of them. So you're going to make them sleep in a doghouse with no dinner? I'm going to present a punishment if they don't give it 100%. You're not going to sandbag in my house. No, sir. 
No sandbagging in your house tonight. No sandbagging in here. Okay. You either lose at a hundred percent or you win at a hundred percent. Round I, I, one. I respect that. I respect that. Fight. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Be like Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> Sit down. Be home. There you nice. go. Become the enemy. Go. Become the He's enemy. got the options, baby. Oh, no launch in the full, uh, down 444. Good punish. Become the Interzilla. I know you can become. Be you always got break there, though. It's a two break. Good break. Come on, Shima. Be like Wata. Even if you don't want to be like Shaq. Do you want to be like Bruce Lee? Oh! Oh! Clip him! Round two. Fight. Future beats, calm down. The only thing to do. You were talking to him. Oh, that was to, that was to break. That was to break. He should break. He should break the third. Oh no. Oh no. Perfect. Oh no, he's getting pieced up. Round three. Don't let that happen Fight. again. Or you're grounded. You know what? We're not gonna ground him. Don't let it happen again or 6 a.m. wake ups for the next month. 50 push ups, 50 sit ups, 50 pull ups. 50 pull ups. You got till the end of the night to get 200. I don't care how you do it, just figure it out. Why are y'all so abusive? Good lord. <laughs> it's not abuse. It's conditioning. It's not conditioning. That is it is conditioning. It looks, and I crawl through broken glass to get good attack too. I don't want to In the military, they said you're either going to be smart or you're going to be strong. So figure out which one you want to be. I'm Damn, going. look at him. Look at him go. Look at him go. Look at that sidewalk. Do you see that? That's motivation. Not by you guys, though. Y'all just try to... Can you, can you say where the motivation came from? No, we're just offering alternative solutions. Those are not alternative solutions. She wants to impress. Bro, that was an I want dinner while standing too. <laughs> yeah, that was an all what better fucking three one in the match. Goddamn, on the second game, let's fucking go. How come I'm the nice parent here and these two are like? You're not hey. a nice parent. You're coddling him. You I'm push your child to greater heights. No. You know what not... my mom did when my mom was teaching me how to drive? Every time I made a mistake, it added push-ups and sit-ups to the counter. When I got back home after that day's practice, I owed her every single one of those sit-ups. Okay. Wait, that's real? Yeah. That is true, 100% true. Oh my goodness. goodness. You know what happened after my dad tried to teach me how to drive his truck? I sat there and hit a curb. And you know what happened? My dad sat there and told me to stop the car in the middle of traffic, get out the car. And he made me do damn all those down ups for he made me do fifteen downs for every time I had a curve. I hit yeah, three curves. What? You figured out how to drive, didn't you? I bet you how to drive. Mm, but you hit the curve. It's obviously not. <laughs> oh I'm my god! Better now, so leave me alone on that. <laughs> Mister Pockets, yes, I'm abusive, but I'm abusive with love and hatred. More hatred than love, though. And you, you're just straight up abusive. I'm not straight up abusive. I'm, see, I like Shibo though. That's the problem. Mr. Pockets, you have not seen my abusive side yet. You can. Shit, I like Shibo like too. What's going on? Shibo will talk to me. He'll listen to me. And D Towns, please not spell my name like that again, please. Call me Green or call me Damon. I prefer that. <laughs> I'm going to do what we used to do. I'm gonna do what we were doing with uh, with uh, Azure last week when you were playing. You're not getting away. We were saying your name, but we we're calling you different colors. Oh my god. <laughs> like DD Periwinkle, DD DD Azure, DD Mahogany, DD okay. Mahogany, DD okay. Xanadu. Okay, first off, hold up. Mr. Pocket, you cannot say DD. You cannot say DD. You have no right to say that. You know why? Because you have no right to say that. As I'm watching Lemon carry poor human to the damn corner, yes, this hurts. But as I'm saying it before, ooh, that's not for me. Hey, at least you didn't get 10 out of 
As someone who has been 10 old multiple times in this. Anyways, ooh, that's very good. Wait, have I been 10 old multiple times? Yeah, I have been 10 old KO. Anyway, as I'm saying, Mr. Pockets, you cannot say DD. Any, you can, you have no idea that you beat me in the first ten, my friend. That won't happen. So you will never be able to have I say that. Pockets, pockets, run through. You set that shit up, Pockets. Another third PP is. Personally, I wouldn't take that. Yeah, nah, nah. He hitting because no. No, I'm being dead ass too. I will say it again. You unless he said he was dead ass. Unless you beat me in the first ten, D Towns have done it, Azure has done it, L Train has done it, Linux has done it. I did it. Yeah, Shut Pockets. up, you have done Pockets. it. <laughs> said, he said he was dead ass. You don't let that happen. <laughs> Scarlet, I love you, but shut up right now. This is the <laughs> right now. I was just wondering why my, my name was in that list of names, that's all. Yes, Jolter has done it, reluctantly enough. But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Anyways, as I was saying, to you meet me the first time, you have no right to call me DD. No one okay, else in that damn chat, unless you Pockets. guys meet me the first time. He just said you were as relevant as the Kanker sisters from Ed, Ed and Eddie. You just gonna sit there and take that? <laughs> Wait, you just gonna I'm take gonna... that? My dog. Yo, you know you're my boy, but you, you bruh. The Kanker sisters are relevant though. Mm. No, we do not, D Towns King. Do not say, do not do that to me. Do not do that to me, please. Yo, hi, if I can get you a sound bite from, of DD from Dexter's Lab, where you put it on. Oh, no. Oh, don't, no. oh, don't no. do it. I actually don't get that soundbite for you right fucking please, now. Please don't. Hey, just send, just send me the information of how to get it done. Oh, oh my man. god, details like, what, what, doing what, it. How oh, long can it be? Please. Like what, what file format you need? Just let me know and I'll. Oh my oh, god, oh I hate you guys. Yeah, I see why I said y'all were abusive. No, no shit, Scarlet. <laughs> Fight. <laughs> You're part of that abuse too. Huh? Am I? Part of that abuse. Yes, you are. I don't know about that. I don't want to. I was talking about Shima. Oh no! Oh no! You dare! No, you dare! If these be formats say less. Oh my God! I breathe. <laughs> Hey, details. Find uh, find a clip of Dexter saying "Edie," but he's like pissed off. <laughs> Not involved <laughs> to that. You mean fight? E oh, I got no. that. Uh... Hi. How can you help me in this situation? <laughs> we all encourage violence here. Oh, that's how it's like. The PP is good. Shima, come on. Don't make me talk about the doghouse again. KO. It's only 2 1. Round it's three. Oh, it's two rounds up, but it's fight. Not this guy. Veteran instigator. Damn it, the pockets, you're not wrong. Here we go. I thought you broke throws. He hasn't broken a single one, bro. No, I don't drop the bag like that. Okay, that's electric. Uh, 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 uh. Dog. Wait, let me use complicated wire? What the fuck? What complicated wire? He never uses that throw. No gym player uses that throw like that. <laughs> Except for Bulk. Yeah, I think the only one gym player actually uses that, and that's Bulk. They better give that third Oscar in Tekken 8. Oscar had it in T5, uh, I believe. Really? I think so. I know. Huh. I know either Oscar or Jin or Devil Jin had it in T5. Devil Jin had it. Okay, it was Devil Jin then. Damn it. Yeah, because oh um, they can't have the same input because uh, her back grab is parry, so it can't have quarter circle back as the input. Oh my yeah. god. Or hear me out, they don't give it to Asuka. Thank you, Mr. Pockets. No, they should give it to Asuka. You it's don't need a full grab game. game with that character. Hey, hi, I'm gonna send I'm gonna send this video to you. 
But it's just the Kazama throw. She needs I'm gonna, it. Bro. I'm gonna send a video to you. Go to... Oh my god, he's really sending the sound clip. Two Holy minutes shit. and 35 seconds and just listen. I don't know, it has nothing to do with the sound clip, but holy shit. I just want, I just wanted to live. Now everybody's understanding that sound bite and now I'm gonna be irritated. <laughs> Man's just trying to exist in peace. I just wanted to exist in peace. I just wanted to eat my food and commentate for a little bit before I had to go get my brother. Now I can't. Thanks, guys. Wait, you can't eat? No. Why? Shut up. <laughs> I'm gonna mute myself so I can eat my food. Pizza. Round one. <laughs> Fight. Be like ten minutes. Okay. Two. <laughs> Good. I swear to God, I'm gonna be the last off the player to see him do. All right, Shima. I'm still rooting for you. We might be doing banter right now. I'm just waiting for you to shine. Oh, by the way, I actually found it. Here you go. Nice block! Nice punish! Get his ass! Don't fuck up. Okay. No, you fucked up. Okay. KO. All right, nice. Okay. Nice. 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 Round two. Fight. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, stay tuned. Exclamation point. DD will uh, be in a high stream near you soon. That was such a good whiff punish. We can drop the bag. We don't drop bags in this house. Like waste a professional bag. bag dropper, I want you to be better than I was. Punish that, okay. Oh, sweet. Oh, no, teeth. No, 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 no. Okay, it's one round, whatever. Fight. Get his ass. No, why are you dropping the bag like that, son? Oh, he's dropping the bag, too. He's seen you dropping the bag, he's like, I don't want to do it, too. One. He's dropping bags on the ground, fuck him. Alright, get up, correctly. KO. Round four. Fight. Oh no. Okay. So I get being cautious against four four and block, but I mean she really got her challenging. Right. Limit's not going in his end stance, so she must gotta at least start making that a not, like a more preferable option. So maybe we could, like, like maybe you can start to challenge it and like kind of uh, stop momentum. Like letting him do four four for free is not the move right now. Good break. Nice, okay. nice, good job. Final round. That's what's up. Fight. Oh no. Just poke. Very nice. That was a little too early to bust, I think. Okay. Dog, you're not dead yet. Uh oh. No, 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 no. You fucking fumbled the bag, no! KO. No, 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 no. Run that back. What the fuck? That was like. Oh my god, he could have had that. Game. that. He might have that game. He really That's did, dude. As someone who professionally fumbles a bag for a living, that hurt me.
That that was very painful. Like Whew. unfortunate. Yeah. There's nothing to be done about that though. We're moving on to the next game. We shake it off. Yep. We put a, put that away for later. Or maybe like just very, very quickly unpack it, but don't hold on to it. For sure. For sure. I do wish I could go tell old me that, because it would have made me a lot more successful in tennis. Oh, uh, yeah, 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 true. Get ready for the you just like, you're like, fuck, I missed that. And you keep thinking about it, and it's just oh, yeah. throws you off forever. It's like, nah, you gotta, you gotta have no attachment to it. You gotta not care. You gotta yeah, care without caring. You gotta like. That's, that's a past you problem. Present you can't deal with it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, going to Souk. It's an interesting choice, stage choice from Seema. I have to wonder what the intent behind it is. Yeah, he has. He seems to back off in certain situations, and this is definitely a more aggressive Round stage. One. So I wonder if he intends to Fight. be more aggressive than that. Yeah. Yeah. All right, all right. Where are your low parries you were showing me yesterday? Maybe, uh, having trouble to find it. That's quite possible. Man, look at him blocking your bows. He won't block health sweep, though. You can use that to your advantage. Just make sure you throw off the timing of the health sweep. Like, dash up way. Sometimes just do it. Fight. Sometimes just kind of like don't do it. Like dash up like you're gonna do it and then don't. Shame is actually really good at that. I gotta give him credit for that one. He has the the, the wave dash play down. I get clipped with his four four three a lot and electrics. It's hard to step him. I should have let it rip. Ah, oh, you got punished. Round three. Fight. Yeah, I just wish this man could do a combo. It's hurting me. Still relatively early in the set. Only five games in. You know, the timer is taking Kashima, but. Uh, do another one. Yes. Do no, I'm doing that, yeah. Okay, he blocked it. I mean, if he had done another oh, one, he would have. Yeah, it's okay, though. Decent combo. He blocked. No! You gotta respect no. the frames in that situation. No. And so here's the thing like, if you're in that situation, you have the life lead. Time's winding down. You've. You just got hit with a while standing four. You look at the clock, there's 15 minutes, there's 15 seconds left. You have like, what, 25% life? There are so many ways that you can die in this situation. Mashing is not the correct choice. Exactly. Like, if you're going to mash, mash five step. I wish he hit confirm that flash punch. I mean, that you gotta do. Like you can, you can see Shima's potential is a little bit better than he's playing right at this moment. It, it's definitely he's landed some stuff that should have led to more. That's just a restoration, obviously. Yeah. Um, but the thing is, like, you don't have forever. Like, in a tournament, you have a first two. On rank, you may like sometimes get lucky, get a death match, or you can like adapt. But you often don't have that luxury. You often have a first to one. So you see that Lemon adapted to what Shima wanted to do in like a round. And took yep. the first game like into a greatly different direction after round three. Yep. And like Shima doesn't appear to have quite mastered that knowledge yet. 
Yeah. And I get if it's like minor adjustments that you just like haven't like. Have, I'm not gonna say I'm good at adapting. My pattern recognition is dog Round shit. One. But there are minor Fight. adjustments that I've made. Like if I notice, oh, uh, after a limit does fall before he doesn't do anything, you make that adjustment. Like you don't have to make an overarching adjustment. You don't have to be like. Uh, I'm noticing that he's trying to establish the pace of the game by using jabs and forward force to stop my forward progress. So instead, I'm going to use a combination of pokes and keep out to force him to try to play. No, you don't need to do all that. Just be like, hey, after he does forward force, he doesn't do anything. What am I going to do with that now? After he does jab, he just like... He isn't blocking L sweeps. Yeah, you have to like observe this shit. They have See, to notice, he isn't like, blocking L sweeps. My man hasn't ducked. Nice ball bounce. No, how did you drop that? How it should have been electric. I think I'm. Uh, oh, there's an electric. All right, well that works. Okay, oh. that for Round three. Yeah, I mean Fight. this man has not blocked a single health sweep. So you have to like notice that. Like if you're not blocking health sweep, you know that there's something else he's more afraid of. So whatever it is that you can figure out, he's probably afraid of four four three. There's no reason to like dodge four four three that present threat. So just don't do four four three. Like do like down forward four. Do like like maybe down one plus two. Hell sweet. Force low to become a scary enough option to where ducking is uh, more preferable. No, that's not what you do there. This pushback. Uh, uh, I'll tweet. Sorry, I'm back. Oh my god! Round four. Ooh. Fight. That was disgusting. I'm going. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I'm gonna hit down by four. Was that up four four an accident? It happened. Okay, so like we now know that the four nice. four three is starting to not really be as much as it used to. Oh, he finally got hit with it! Yes, that's true. You get to come home tonight. No, well, you can get home home, but we still haven't decided where you're sleeping yet. So keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Hey, he gets to come home though. He does get to come home. It's the bare minimum to be expected as a child of this house. I have to put all those hours into training us for you to just go softly into the night. I'm trying to see Lemon get his ass beat. Why? <laughs> because it's funny. That's not well, it is funny, but at the same time, <laughs> it's not that you funny. Can't, you can't take the high road in this situation, D.D. Green. Just, just let it happen. Yeah. <laughs> I really can. You, you've seen the boondocks, right? You know what's happening here. Just, I know just exactly what's happening. Yeah, I'm let it go. Let's let it go. What's going on, Drake? How are you doing today, sir? Nothing much. All I got my car at the shop. That's the good part about them today, I guess. Why is my perfect car like thirty-two thousand dollars? Like I found the perfect car that I want for my next car, and it's thirty-two thousand dollars. Damn. I want it though. It's everything I need. It has everything I want. <coughs> Round one, fight. Nice. What a timing on that. Okay. Yeah, he's gonna punish it. Just do more health sweeps again. He hasn't blocked a single one. Oh, please don't drop it. Where was the rage art? Okay, whatever. Round two. Bravo. 
That's a rage, my head. Come on, women, don't take this boy lightly. <laughs> Mom will probably be mad that I said that. He wouldn't do that. He wouldn't be taking him lightly. Oh. K.O. He's Christ. Look at him go. Fight. He said, I'm coming home, I'm eating at the dinner table. I'm I have homemade big chicken sandwiches. KO. Yeah, yeah, three rounds. You win. Oh, oh, sleeping in the house tonight. Oh my god. You know, if you can get five, I'll say I'm proud of you. If you can get four, you get to sleep in your bed. For now, it's still the couch. I mean, to be honest, I, I, I prefer to sleep on the couch sometimes. Uh, as Poke Chop would say, no round brown. <laughs> Did I hear that somebody is going to be uh, getting a nice, fresh, clean uh, sheets for uh, for the home? I huh? guess so. <laughs> Who said that? Somebody, somebody giving Shima some uh, fresh sheets to mm, sleep on the couch. Maybe. Fresh if, you, if, you can, if you can get another win, we'll give you fresh sheets on the couch. If you can get to five, we'll give you fresh sheets for the best. And you, and you get to eat homemade chickens. <laughs> what is the whole point of this? This is sounds like <laughs> underfed and everything. He's not underfed. He's been trained meticulously. No. It's called fasting. It builds discipline. Some people, I swear. <laughs> I know, no. right? The hell? Okay, you know what? I'm, I'm just gonna shut up. I'm just shut up. <laughs> SMH my head. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Fight. Yeah, literally, Keith, the other day I was gonna ask you what have you been feeding this boy? He really surprised me the past few times I've played him. His growth has been pretty great. And he's he's showing me that I'm not wrong and that I'm not just rusty. He's actually like well, okay, not that round. Cut, round the, cut, two. That, cut the feed for that. Um, we'll, we'll see it again. We'll see the spark. Ooh. Oh, you forgot Trig on it? <laughs> nice break. Yeah, there you go. Take his cankles. This man's cankles are free. Let him know. Oh! Launch the complicated wire. KO. Alright. Round three. Valiant Fight. effort. Yeah, that's right. Demon Fall is a weird situation. Oh no, he dropped the bag! He dropped the bag. Okay, so. Weird. Okay. Moving on. Round four. Hit his ass. Fight. Definitely make him use this. There it is. There's the data you need. Now he's in the mix. Nice break. Nice whip on it. Weird combo, but at least you got all the damage you needed. Oh no! 
That was a good way to find it. Ain't gonna kill you though. That's right, show him. You got Okay. You win. Hello, Hello, Gary. What's going on? Oh, you know, the usual. Yeah, hey, good. Fuck yeah, Lemon. Beat his ass. Jesus. I guess that's the usual. Wow. Oh. Nah, Shima needs more wins. Three, damn, okay. Yeah, he's putting in work. That's what I like to see, see. Mm-hmm. We got a Laura battle too. too. We do indeed. This is the Laura battle though. Round one. Fight. All right, team. Get it done. Launch is that? Okay, whatever. Knock him down. Oh he, oh, he missed it. Oh, he's getting smixed. Uh, okay. Mid. He's getting smixed. KO. Oh my god. That worked? Oh, okay. Round two. Don't press. Fight. That's yours. No! Drop the bag. Great follow up. Follow up. Oh, damn. Damn, bro. Lemon, look at your ass by an orange ring. What is that? What is this? KO. Yeah, Damn. Lemon, what is this? <laughs> Round three. This is Fight. no broken Shima. Run his ass into the ground, Shima. Let's go. It's Keith B. Student. He trains with me. Oh, uh, good sidestep. Yeah, that's all. Chin is broke. I oh, didn't break that one. Can't break them all. KO. Round two. Fight. Oh, you got blocked that. Okay, nice, nice. You knocked him down. That's step one. That's step two. Big ass combo. Not if he drops, drops it. Slow out. It's okay. Nice. I knew that was gonna be true. I'm glad you saw it. Dead, dead. He doesn't need to be dead, dude. Uh -huh. No. What are you doing? Orange drink, ass. ass. You're grounded for that one. Oh, I'm gonna cook you right now. Orange drink, ass. ass. Move right there. He's blocking the. You gotta throw in your forward forward threes now. Remember, what are you doing, women? Kind of ugly ass combo. All right. Yeah. The rank showing, showing. Hell. Gonna wake up, up rage art and hope for this. Oh, I'm a first Dan. Dan. Okay. Uh, what the yeah, hell? that was awesome. Awesome. Abshima. Fantastic. Fantastic. You're echoing really badly here. Echoing? Oh my god, he did it! He fucking knew it! He did it! You win. Oh shit! 
me check my settings. Somebody calls that to baptize. Oh my god, it's 6-4, bro. Let's go, Shimon. The rank's showing? Yeah. The rank's showing. I don't know. I don't know why it's echoing. Hang on. Oh, oh, not... oh. You're good now. Yeah, yeah. That's weird. Oh, because I didn't control the fucking... Yeah. I don't think I was wrong to compliment Sheena the past two times we played. This is impressive, actually. Four wins on women? Damn. He's getting chilly, that's for sure. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle, battle. Are you cold enough to get five wins, Sheena? Gotta hurry up. She might be cold according to flow and the flow guy. Alright. All right. She might be cold. Alright. Right. He's at least Man's a little bit in a hurry. Really. He got He's shit to do. Too. He's at least a uh, nice uh, 33 degrees. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Even make him late for wherever it is. Oh, <laughs> oh yeah, we're doing well, we're, all, we're all doing jump punches today. Game stop trading. KO. Round two. Hey, hey, he's not blocking that. Why are we doing jump punches today? Oh, he's yeah, blocking! No way, that wasn't a time. That's no way. Right. Oh, he's trying to do maybe the... Okay, uh, 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 uh. Is that gonna be... Oh, yeah, yep, yep. Nice okay, break. Okay, pack. Ooh. Uh, uh. Cheap ass shit. KO. <laughs> Round three. Fight. Oh, good one, though. Oh, not, not a good one. Oh, though. I don't know. How did that miss? <laughs> Too far, too close. I think he was too close because that was a very short combo. Alright, nice. Switch positions with that. You get the big wall. Uh, no, that's not gonna happen. Oh no, no. Uh, 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 uh. She fast has Kazuya shit. Wow, he swung there. One. Holy Fight. shit. Nice break, nice oh. long carry! He acts on all woke and he's trying to wave dash. dash. No nice job! On the electric, electric. Oh wow! That is that, look at that at all. Oh, uh, good break. Good damage for two hits. Uh, 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 uh. Cheap, <laughs> Hit him with the jump punch! I don't think you need to do that. Fight. I don't think so either. That's the new Tekken 7 meta. They just, they just figured it out both of us. No, no break! Not, not damn it. That's, yeah. that's, that's someone else. I hear it now. I hear it now. Oh no! Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Hey, Dre. <laughs> Hit him with a tag. Oh! Why would you do that? you do that? He is cold enough to get five. Holy shit! Come on, bro! What the fuck? 
see that. Are you serious? Oh, no, it's probably doing out too. Welcome home, son. Welcome home, <laughs> Yeah, what the hell? Welcome home, son. Alright, I got some words for Lemon. Hang on. Uh oh. Don't you do it. I'm gonna uh -oh. send him a Snapchat. Snapchat. Oh, no, not hey. Snapchat. Snapchat, Snapchat, full. Damn, Sims, we see you. <laughs> Damn, Lemothy. Lemothy. Well, that was after I even said, all right, I'm going to hurry up. You're going to hurry up and get that ass beat if you rush you your hurry down. hurry up and take this L. <laughs> yeah. I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> right. I need to hurry up and graduate college so I can get back to training. Come and on, like, on bro. What the fuck? Are you serious? When do you graduate? Next May. Next May. Damn. Get ready for the next battle. At least Tech Nate should be out. I have to leave in like eight, in like five minutes after this match. I'm gonna be leaving to go get my brother. Alright. Alrighty, Lemon. Take it home. And I wanna see Shima. that I wanna see that double law team tomorrow and tag again. Tag again. She might be a menace. Wait, you talking about me? You talking to me? Yeah, yeah. Well, I thought it was tag one. Yeah, yeah Marshall and Forrest are in tag one, right? No. So. Fight. Uh, oh, is it only Forrest? It's only Forrest. Oh, we're good. I'm with every character. That's tag two. That's tag two. That's tag two. Tag two. Well, there were characters in tag two that... Uh, there were characters that existed that weren't in tag two. Who's your second I'm character? K.O. No, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Okay. Okay. Round two. I played Julia <laughs> Forrest. Julia Forrest? Aw, oh, hell no. Hell no. That's an annoying, annoying <laughs> team. <laughs> well, I know Devil is. Uh, uh, yeah, I was gonna say, because Zilla, Zilla's team is Devil Kaviria. Yeah, he plays, he plays, he plays team top tier. Yep. So does so footwork though, he plays Ogre. Front. He plays Ogre. Yeah, I think they both play team carried. <laughs> Cheap. I think Zone Cheap. was the only character that wasn't in. Tag one, but Zone was the cast character, but I don't think that's that. And Marshall. And Marshall. Marshall was not in Tag one. I really realize that. Why did not come back? Was Michelle in? Michelle yeah, was Michelle's in. He won. Tag Round one. four. June was in. Fight. Yep. Who was in tag one? Was Armor King in tag one? Yes. The weird ass move list. Weird ass move list. He had the weirdest fucking move list in that game. Anna was in tag one. Protojack was in tag one. Yep. We could do double, could do double jack. Gun jack. Gun Jack. There are three Jacks, actually. Yeah, yeah just Gun Jack is not tag, tag two. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Tag one. Tag one. Tag one. Tag one. Tag one. Tag one. Yeah. Tag one. Yeah. Tag one. Tag one. Yeah. You win. He with his deck three. Or prototype Jack. In T That's P Jack two and uh, Gun Jack, Gun Jack, I think. Yeah. There was no Jack three. There was no Jack three, though. There was only prototype and Gun Jack. I think Gunjack was the replacement for Jack 3 after 2. Yeah. And now the no. Cannon Jack in Tekken 8. Now we, we got have, real Gun Jack. Now we have what, what people are calling him the Robocock Jack 8. <laughs> <laughs> so much. I love it. I like that idea, Robocock. Robocock. No, please. Like Why does that fit? So there, no, there are jacks. There are three jacks in Tekken, Tekken, Tekken. Oh, there are three jacks in Tekken 1? Yeah. Gun Jack, Jack 2, and Pro 2, and Pro 2. That's fucked up. Yep. Yep. Well, which jack is the best uh, You're jack. enduring that a bit too much, so I'm gonna need you to, uh... Um... Yeah. Probably Gun, I guess. I see Gun Jack. Bruce was in, um... Bruce was in Tag 1, right? Yep. Yep. I can't think of anybody who wasn't. Out of the first three well, Oscar, games. Wait, Oscar was. Uh, Oscar was Tekken 5. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Out of the point. You remember the uh, Tetsujin? Yeah, Tetsujin's in there. 
Yep. Yeah. Doctor B. Doctor B. Yeah. Uh, no. No, Doctor B was not. No. Doctor B. Doctor B is not in tag one. Okay. He was in tag two. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yes. Combat. <laughs> Take Combat four. second four though. Four though, yeah. yeah. Second five. Remember, tag one is everyone is everyone from three. Well, not everyone, but yeah. I blended three characters, one of which doesn't count because Gon was a guest character. I like how their uh, top stats are both ass. Just once one is ass backwards. Excuse me, they're su. There's uh, lemon su. Uh, lemon is uh, she Lemon is ass. us. Lemon is a traitor. The rest of the um, imposter. Shima, Shima is that? Let me see imposter. Round one. Oh, we so. have... Fight. Bust him out, Shima. You're doing good. There you go. God damn. Okay, we're able to run all electrics out. Damn. We're dropping bags again. I want, I want more to for him. Oh, we gotta whip punish that, punish that, and electric the electric. He's not watching again. Yeah, show him, show his ass. If he's just Round doing four two. four, letting you do whatever Fight. you want, murder him for it. Oh wow! I never see him lemon ash you to wave a wave away. Two, 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 two. Get three, get three. He got you. Round three. Fight. Oh, they stab! That was the most redacted electric I've ever seen in my life. Funny the only thing he's gonna use comes to tricks. Damn, that's crazy! Aw, oh, you oh, should stop it! Blowing everything! Oh, and now the bag has been thrown? Uh, uh, not quite. The bag has been thrown into the sea! Okay. Good dog. Get some rage. Uh, no, I got KO. The bag was thrown. Round was four. Chucked. That shit was Fight. yeeted! She was an Olympic. She was an Olympic hammer thrower. Olympic bag eater! Don't be nothing. Hey, let's pick the bag up. Pick, pick the bag up, Shima. Oh, okay. Oh. No, that's not right. Chill. Use your twin pistons! Wait, what? Wait, no, wait. That's a learned reaction. Jim's is, yeah, Jim's is minus 13, right? Well, at least they don't. Yeah, okay. Yeah, okay. Use your twin pistons! Well, even if it, even if time pistons was the correct choice, in a situation like that where you're like high stress, and you're trying hard to claw back after a mistake, keep it simple. Just do loss of Well, unfortunately, I have to go for now. I have to go visit my brother, so I'll be back shortly. Alright, man. See you, man. See you. Yeah. A good episode. Get ready for the next battle. Battle, battle, battle. I'm ready for the next battle. I'm battle. I'm start for another minute, minute and a half. True. Tr trash. So you just get ready for the next battle. Where is it? Exactly. Give me my T give me my T five DR loading times.
Round one. And fight. <laughs> Holy shit. Long time grab. Drop in the bag. Back at it again. Oh, you got him. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, good boy. Oh, I am once again Round asking two. you to punish that you can fight. <laughs> All right, back and forth the pressure. Ran random hot cakes from a mud. It does. Okay. <laughs> Oh, got him slipping. KO. Round three. Very good pressure at the wall. Fight. Always. I got punch. Nice. Fighting out of the wall. Good picture. Oh, he hopped that one. Oh, shit. So here's where we started. Yeah, so here's where we started seeing, like, the kind of division of experience. Where we started saying, saying, Gee, talk about. No. Uh, it's over. Lemon is showing, like, the, the easier ability to kind of stay calm and really evaluate what's happened so far in the set because Lemon currently has no reason to not duck against Weibu because we haven't seen Wave away before 4-3 like we haven't because every time Shima starts to Weibu Lemon just ducks he's either going to evade the electric or he's going to block the health sweep and there's no reason for him not to because we saw it like three times in the last round. Shimu would do Weibu, then we would duck, either against the wall standing four, duck, hop kick, duck, and just like wall standing, wall standing one, just like, just, he could honestly do whatever he wanted. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle, battle. Uh, Lemon's, Lemon's prepping to end it like a fucking anime character. And Lemon said, final time! Enjoyed the game, Shima, but it's time. <laughs> Play your last pathetic card. <laughs> my deck has no pathetic cards, Lemon. You can say my deck has no pathetic cards. Draw the draw the card. It's a normal monster. It's not the like right hand of Xavier. You just like, aw. <laughs> <laughs> draw this fucking so, three though. I have learned something that I didn't Fuck. know in the beginning, like when I was watching the Ego series. Do you know how, like, every Millennium Puzzle has a power? Yeah. Oh, every Millennium Puzzle has a power? I never understood what the Millennium Puzzle's power was. But, uh, I know now. The Millennium Puzzle's power is to affect probability. Yeah, that makes sense. I don't know what I'm talking about, but... How it's, how it's Round it. two. <laughs> so you remember Yu-Gi-Oh, right? Hey, you, you, you guys watch Yu-Gi-Oh! Season Zero? That shit is cold. It is, it is brutal. <laughs> that shit is fucking cold, bro. Was a menace in Yu -Gi -Oh! He made that dude Zero. light that himself on fire, bro. Damn, you put points on Nima? That was a bad idea. Hey, that's rude. No, nah, look at this! He's cooking this man right now! People can put points on whoever they feel confident. I feel pretty confident in Shima. He was showing me some stuff. Shima, Shima, Shima. 
She was gonna get murdered. Yeah. Oh, I knew that one was coming. Oh, we shouldn't have did it. Machine's not running again. Again, go. Fight. I'll promise you, Shima's gonna hit three. Gonna get hit three times in the last round because he's twitched at it. Three times he gets lost. Good again. Yeah. Okay. Oh, stop pressing. Wake up, hot kick. Hot kick. Shima's gonna twitch yeah. up right now. Oh, me and Brady are going to do it. Yeah. Do it. Yeah, that's a dunk. That's a dunk. See, he got him because he was dunking. Uh, not like this. Uh, just like that. Not like that. Alright, well, regardless, G fucking G is Shima. G is uh, got five on no Lin. Damn. Shima, you have, you have everything to be proud of for that last bit. Got tired. Yeah, yeah, you were pushing yourself for that. I'm so proud. Wait, is it my turn? No, it's not no, no. Uh, Atmu's fighting that bear player. Uh, CD CDDT. Oh, Reborn? The modern? Yeah. Well, I can barely contain my excitement. Oh my god. Uh, you already know what's about to happen. Just, yeah. There's, just, there's just, no way from this. Just, just for this. Oh, bye. <laughs> Alright, see you. Alright, now the peanut gallery is gone. How is everybody doing? <laughs> I'm doing great. I bought a book today. I should read it. Mm. I should yeah, it yeah. Be. Oh, I want to hear women talk about that. So honestly, <laughs> I'd be Wait, proud yeah. of you, Smoke Shima. Honestly, I think yeah. everybody here is proud of you. Round of applause, Shima. The the how long has Shima been playing now? Like what the fuck? Shima's probably better than me now. <laughs> you want to set that up? No, God, no. I'm not ready for that. <laughs> nah, I need, nah, to, I'm not I need to practice for another year before I get to Shima's level. Almost two years. See, look, and like he's getting points okay. on some, some, some big players here. Killers. Yeah, like that made me want to set against Shima. Nah, I'm not trying to play nobody. I, I am trying to play you, Shima. Play. I'm always trying to play you. I want to see you improve some more. That was... You need to stop dropping the bag. You need to punish better. You need to stop yeeting the bag across the stadium. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, if I have one piece of advice, I would say hold on to the bag with two hands and never let it go. Yeah, just... Just firmly grasp it! <laughs> Mm -hmm. uh, I feel like the Shima that we saw tonight would have beaten me if I was playing against him. Jeez. Like, I can I almost say that for sure, that Shima tonight probably would have beaten me. That's crazy. You need to step up your game. I do. I have a lot of work to do. The fuck is you doing? Full. Oh. Full time job and full time school. <laughs> that's, just, that's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. You're right about I that. I think it's pretty straight up and down. Yeah, yeah. It, that makes sense. I'm going to export this. Export it as a JPEG. <sighs> oh, I was talking with the mic uh, muted, so I'm waiting on a, a friend request from CDT, so give me one second. Mm -hmm. uh, CDT. I think my friends list might be full, so give me a second here. Um, I didn't see your friend request come through, so just give me a moment here. I might have to uh, clear some of the cobwebs here in my friends list.
Alright, uh, CDT, try again. Alright, awesome, thank you. Got him right. Okay, go ahead and get started here. Thanks for everybody's patience. Got Atmu and CDDT. Wait, what's the next part of this assignment? I'm sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately doing homework. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I've been forced to do something I don't particularly enjoy, so I'm trying to make it work. Indeed. I will be back to um, watch your set, my boy. Okay. There we go. Alright, channel predictions are up, folks. Admu here has a double header tonight. I think this is the first time they ever had one on this channel. At least back to back. But yeah, really good stuff there between Lemon and Shima. Shima, I'm very proud of you. Getting those five wins was no easy feat, and I know uh, Lemon wasn't going easy on you, so really, really give yourself a pat on the back, a handshake, or both. You did a really good job, man. I agree. And you're the monster in the making, Shima, so. Definitely, uh, you know, I would say celebrate the weekend just because you did a really good job. I think you've definitely made this set very lively with your adaptation. And of course, you know, Lemon just had to uh, increase his uh, skill level more just to uh, end things. And, and that's okay, right? But at the same time, um, you really held your own there. So good stuff. All right. Starting off with this next set here. CDDT, well, renowned bear player, OG player, uh, originally one. hailing from Pennsylvania. Fight. Not sure where he's at these days, but definitely not only a strong bear player, but also a maker of bots on PC. So here we go. From round start here, CDDT showing off a lot of the set play that he's got with the bears. Wow. Starting Round off with the perfect. Amazing. Fight. Oh, wow. Maybe he's been taking no prisoners today. That's such a good move. Oh my goodness. Twin Pistons wake up. Wow, look at the oh, inherent really? defense there. The hind legs. The barrel roll. Wow, good low parry. Clutch by Atom. Tying it up. Round three. Fight. Alright, let's see. He's trying to attack the legs there, but Atom out of range. Catches him with the shoulder. Wow, nice down two there by Atom. Oh, and the counter hit by CDPT. Wow, there we go. Down Using the bear four. stance very well. Fight. Match point for CDPT. Wow, good shoulder catch. That move again, missing with that down back 2 3. The low. Wow, good conversion. Power crush. Hey, we got to go Wow. Good float. Oh, trying to go for the jab, but gets crushed. You win. I think that was a good showing there by Atmu. Working on adaptation to. CDT's offense. 
understanding the ranges, especially with the um, those hind legs falling a little behind in the normal stance, so a little bit difficult to hit that leg. We've seen this uh, first match in, on the wall of stages, infinite, so let's see what happens if we end up choosing a wall stage. Would that change things? I personally feel that uh, Leo doesn't have too much of a difficult time against the Bears. Though just knowing uh, what to punish, how to punish it. Oh, Atmu changes over to Jack. Um. Surprising change here, and we're back on infinite stage. If I may. Mm -hmm. oh. Round one. No. If Fight. I well, we got Biggs versus Biggs. That's one thing. This matchup is not too bad for Jack. It's not like a one or a bad for him. I think he is advantageous in certain areas like punishment, like that for example. He can punish their uppercut. Right. KO. His range kind of helps Round him out with two. some of the uh, other things like he found like one consistently reaches his legs which is what you know I'm trying to do is really be down by the back of the three low which missed him. Oh nice power crush by CBT good block but it doesn't get the punish or the lift or the float. He's got those combos though. CBT's uh, outfit here kind of blending in with the background. Of course, Quincy wins a nice power crush again. Offering to sacrifice some of his health. Okay, now we're running one plus two there. KO. Round check. three. Fight. Alright, Jack Hammer. Oh, there we go. First sign of the debug. Going for the ulti, doesn't get anything. Plus frames. Oh, unfortunately, too slow. That move, Round that string four. is really quick. Fight. The older games where Kuma did that, it was a very slow move, but in this game, they sped up the animation. Again. Cannot interrupt them between. Spring kicks a bounce. Oh wow! That was an entire down one. I know, that was a good risk. Oh! It hits grounded because it's a fat it hits bear. That's right. KO. Very nice. Good presence of mind by Admiral. Final round. Fight. Okay, go for the lows. Power crush. Small punish here. Nice. Oh! Could have let it rip, but Admiral here punishing with the down four two. Again, stays on the have to get up. Okay, CDP throwing out some running two. Oh no, the trade! Oh, oh no! Whip on multiple. scrambling at the end there, really trying to uh, take the damage. Some things didn't work out due to trades and whiffs and CDPT taking that. I think Atmu should uh, stick with Jack one more time just to see how it goes because that was rather close. Not a bad choice. Ready for the next battle. 
switching over to Mishima Dojo. Figured finally walls are in play here. Now, of course, the one thing you have to remember uh, with bears, they have uh, tendencies to kind of fall a little bit differently at the wall. Uh, sometimes your staple wall combos will end up putting the bears behind you, and they might be very well Fight. able to get a free attack. So you need to be careful, make sure you have the bear specific wall combos. Get back one there against the ET. Really good usage of the power crush. Wow, good launch if I have. Again, stay in the ground. And the debuff comes out. ET rage drive spent. Oh, good up one plus two. Oh, and ducks. And who takes the uh, the guess two. there? And Horsey doesn't guess right. Again, rock winning. Oh, good launch. Even though that's not punished, still, still got it. Wow. This is the, the keep out hug. Bear Jordan. Nice punish. Good punish. Nope. Punish. Okay. Oh, no punish, but no punch. Got the mix. Round three. Fight. I should make a list of composite characters. It's Bears, Leo, Leroy. Who else? Let's go for the cross chop. Alex is the composite. Oh, no punish on the hug. Can Paris actually get anything significant over that? Should be able to. Yeah, they could launch. Okay. Oh, they can launch. Oh, is it, uh, was it back to, or is it down for two? Fight. They can launch with their, their bear pistons. I actually don't know what the input is. Is it down for one, two? Uh, down for two, one. Oh, uh, okay, I was right the first time. Interesting challenge with the down for two there. Okay. Wake okay, up, that's attack. a jack move. Oh my goodness, that hit. There we go, see, that's the problem right there. That staple combo bear? for jack puts the bears bear? behind them. Bear? Oh, punish that. No, that's not the punish. Debug! Don't wake up. Uh, wow. Punish there. Wow. One. Final round. That was a fortunate punish there. That's a minus 13, but... Got CDT not being able to block the time. Nice spring kick. Jack Hammer does hit ground, and so this is why Jack has a little bit easier time dealing with bears if they're on the ground. So knock down some good. Nice punish good on the punish. Oh, he's wow. sliding in! Damn, the last round was grizzly. I see what you did there. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so far C V T taking a three. Uh, again, Admu here not uh, doing too terribly with Jack. Just a few minor things that are not working out in their favor. I think if there's any matchup that you should prepare for, and, and any walk of life you, you play in Tekken is the bears. It's like, like I said, their special circumstance with their uh, body. Get wall combo is a little bit different. You gotta make sure that uh, you use an appropriate wall combo that keeps them at the wall versus makes them shift behind you. Even if it's a lesser damage combo, it's better to keep them at the wall because there are some things that are guaranteed with the bears after that combo is done because they can't get up in time due to their... Uh, Body size. I thought, I thought you were gonna say if there's one Round matchup you one. should prepare for in life, it's bears. Fight. And I was like, Do you think I'm planning on fighting a bear at some point <laughs> yeah. in my life? You just going full Leo DiCaprio? I know, right? Well, thankfully, you don't bear encounter yet? bears that often. No, I have not. Oh, it's, it's, it's hilarious. Ooh. 
video and we were trying to... Okay, this is very scrappy wow. right now. Get dunked. Nice. KO. Down three. Round two. You see if he can just uh, changes up his offense using the rolling and the hunting bear stance to mentally freeze at him. Oh, oh small punish. Wow, G clef. Put in the wall. Okay. Down for two. See if he can commit it to that duck. Nice catch there. Oh no! Tries to go for the slide there. KO. Round three. Fight. Plenty of time in the world to punish him. Bug. See if he can saw it twice there. And block and punish. Nice punish. Oh wow. Challenging, even though Jack is plus on that move, I hit. Punch on the clock now. Oh, the string. Oh my god, here we go. Oh my goodness, twice. KO. I see like a sonic fang like combo at the side wall splats. Oh, my name is Lars, bra. I'm an Arthur character now, bra. <laughs> That's basically what Kungo was saying. So. Somebody send a medic. Uh, I personally don't care about this guy, but hey, I should get mad at me if I just leave him here, so can somebody help me out? Does make me kind of wonder how Kuma is using the cell phone, right? I mean, he's probably got some, some sharp nails to point at some speed dials pre-programmed into his phone. It's one of those uh, old children's phones where the buttons were like massive and soft. Yeah, so it really wouldn't matter either way. Right. I was kind of thinking, like, he wouldn't be doing very well with an, an iPhone. You know, any, any type of phone that's just all glass interface. It's got to have the traditional push buttons. Didn't you know uh, Siri can understand multiple languages? Including, uh... Does Siri understand bear? Uh, it's actually bear Ganese. If you just say bear, it's kind of disrespectful to the culture. Hmm, okay. American <laughs> <laughs> Round one. Fight. American. American. Bearish. <laughs> Admiral here switching over back to the Lail. And the, the language probably would just be like her sign. KO. I think yeah, probably her sign. Wow. I think that would be like the overarching Fight. language, and there'd just be like different dialects, like grizzly her sign, polar her sign. Yeah. Oh, what a hop game! The bag. The bag. Uh, sure. KO. Round three. Fight. Good with punish. Punish on a spring kick. No punish on the down forward too. Oh, why did that hit? Uh, isn't that launch? She's gonna get the wall. Oh, just barely. KO. Round four. All right, going in the uh, fight. Wow, I'm sleeping. Punish that. No punish. No duck on the second hit. Is that punishable? I think it's punishable. It's gonna get the wall. Uh, bear. Bear. Wow, man, CDDT definitely doing some work here with the bears. Five straight. 
Uh, I gotta convince my supervisor to go with. Um, because I don't know if I've discussed this with you at any point. I know a lot of people in chat already know, but I'm a lab tech. That's where the lab in my name comes from. It's like, it's it's lab tech. Mm -hmm. uh, um, and lab week is coming up. It should be at the end of next month. And we're trying to figure out a theme and some activities. And uh, my supervisor was like, yeah, we're going to do a theme where we celebrate everybody's culture. We bring in some dishes. You know, we're not going to follow the, the theme that the ASCP, which is like the overarching lab governing body, has put out for lab week. And I was like, what are the, what are the theme they put out? They're like, uh, saved by the lab or something. And I'm like, wait, hold on. That's actually gas. Can we do that? <laughs> <laughs> Let me just paint the entire lab to look like the seven. Uh, wait, not the seventies. God, that's so old. It's like the early nineties, where like the 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 little cup design was on everything. I need that. Round one. And can I come in like with the old Fight. Charlotte Hornets windbreaker, which was actual gas? Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. the catch there. Nice combo. There you go. Nice that combo did a there. Rip. Yeah, on scale damage. Oh, catches by the string. Oh my goodness. Go to the wall here. This might hurt. Nope. Still alive. Oh no punish. Oh. oh my god. The bag was chucked across the Round screen. Round two. Fight. You gotta stop hitting the back today. No, no punishment. Power crush. You know one thing I do wish they bring back in TA? What's that? The Power Rangers customs. Don't make me happy. Because, like, everybody had them. Well, at least all the males had them. Wow. Shoulder. Round three. Right, Amu takes a round there. Fight. Looking good. Oh. Had it! Didn't commit. Is that on counter hit? I believe so. Yeah. And even then, I believe uh, even if the, the the second one hits, the third one's guaranteed. Oh, yeah. Any hell speed by Atme. Plus frames. Wow, good boss damage too there by CGT. Hmm. Oh, tries to punish the power crush with the jab, but transitioning into that bear stance gives him a you low crush opportunity. Fight. Or high crush. But you opportunity. have to use like 13 or 12 frame mid to do so that. You gotta use a mid, yep, exactly. There's some characters that have an option select, but some characters kind of have to be a little bit more meticulous. Good patience from reborn. Oh, I put the bear punching off. Punching the bear. Oh, break dance. Oh, my oh this is gonna kill. Still alive. Bear's Arc of Barrage. Oh! Oh! oh. You win. Tries to go for, I think it was the punch parry, but didn't catch in time. Sometimes those uh, parry windows are a little quirky. Bearzerker Barrage. Bearzerker Barrage? Bearzerker Barrage. Yeah, that is, uh, what move is that? Is it down back one plus two? The other move? For uh, bears? Yeah. Yeah, it's down back one plus two, and then the last hit is a two. You gotta press yeah. like thing down back one plus two, down back one plus two, and then two. Bear like a barrage. You yeah, know, bears have like one plus two, just mash it. They have bears like a barrage, bear Jordan, bear roll. Um, what else they got? Bear sweep. Bear sweep, hunting bear. Uh, uh, bear bear shay. Which is like the rage drive where you flip them over, Trevor Shay. Mm, okay. You know, you launch. You know, you use a Trebuchet to launch. It's a Trebuchet. Or maybe a Trebuchet.
Round one. I'll workshop it. Fight. Alright. Can you duck that on hit? You can duck it on hit, yeah. It's only guaranteed on counter. Oh, nice catch with you down for two. Good job playing within your frames there. Oh, doesn't catch quite. That being a mid is wild to me. Block. Oh, nice flat. Oh my uh, goodness. Are from barrage. Good flip over. I said you could walk over. Oh no. Uh oh, sold. No. Oh, no. come on. I think that was a miss input there. Fight. I was hoping for Atmu to go for the range strike from the pressure. I was I thought it was gonna be low. Oh wow. String again, catching Atmu. Oh. Starts to duck the uh, potential high, but gets the mid instead. Oh my goodness. The bear fly. Right bear. Three. Fight. Another match point opportunity for CBT. But Ammo here with the combo going to the wall for sure. Oh, key charge. Oh, key charge. Oh, for the counter hit. Nice. Is gone now. Looking really good while wow, Ammo here. Verge of perfect. Perfect. Nice. There it is. Round four. Fight. Ah. Wow, nice. G clef. Nothing for the G clef, baby. Oh, nice launcher by Abu. Nice, good combo. Nice damage. Dabbing it. That's such a good one. here. Oh, nice wall bounce. Good timing here by Atmu. Final round. Match point for both, but Fight. Atmu really needs this win here. Here's your work. Oh, missed a punish on that. You know, these are a bunch of knowledge checks here by CBT. Just throwing things out here, Atmu not responding appropriately. Discouraging from using it. Look at that! Wow! Thing. Wake up with pisses! I know, right? The range of the character. And it's more the confidence by CDPC to make that, that move work. Look at the pressure here. Oh my goodness! Huh? Oh no, Ammon is dead. Ray oh my god, he's going to the wall. Oh my goodness. Wow, good oh conversion. Oh my. You win. That hurt my soul. Oh, Atmu almost had it, but once again, stolen by CDDT, able to convert with the Rage Drive, wall was available, damage was dealt. Atmu was... No, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> I'm a terrible person. Oh, goodness. All right. Reborn, sizable lead here, 7-0. First of three situation, and honestly, it's kind of looking a bit dire for Atmu here. Yeah, it's definitely a diff difficult matchup for Atmu. I would say, um, you know, regardless of the outcome, I hope uh, they go back and the do the tapes, battle, battle. Uh, lab up a little bit more bears. I know I will be labbing bears uh, this weekend, just, just to see this character again could potentially be a, a difficult time. I want to make it easier myself, so I want to make sure I re review my punishment, all the weird shenanigans they have, etc. Ready for bears and Tekken 8? Round one. Oh yeah. Fight. They're definitely going to be coming back. They're a stable character at this point. They just cannot be not I don't want to talk about panda fighting Kuma and Heat. Last of the jokes aside with that. Wow, there we go. KO. Nice one by Adam. Round two. Fight. Yo, what up, oh. Cap? What's going on, Caps? Good to see you in chat. 
Wow, nice catch there. Uh oh. Everyone's barreling down. Wow, almost caught the whip on it there. Bad one. Round one of three. the stronger power crushes in this Fight. game. There's so many strong power crushes. I'm so afraid of, uh... I'm so afraid of power crushes in the second eight. Because they... They torted power crushes to be your defensive option. Oh, nice catch there. What situation in Tekken am I going to be in where my best choice is a power crush? That's horrifying. Oh, I'm going for some bear shenanigans, trying to go for the. I mean, there's a number of bear shenanigans happening right now. Don't get launched. Because you might die. Keep it compact. Keep it compact. Keep small. KO. Good job. Round four. That move was on the, the fringe of dying Fight. right there. Uh, Reward's taking a lot of really aggressive wake up options. Oh, here it is. Very okay, nice. Pelling patiently here. Oh, gets hit by the running move. No duck on the string. Nice catch with the quarter circle four two move. Nice. Nice slow parry. Oh no. This is critical. Oh, nice catch there. I was gonna say, that please. What the hell's going on up here? He finally, not. they finally got a point on the board. I know, desperately. That was good, that was good. No, no 10-0 scenario tonight between these two. Apps, they are not new. I mean, it's played Quite a few first attempts. No caps, if attendance was your grade, you might fail. I'm just saying. Okay, hey, I, need to, uh, I need to submit this. And then move on to the next one. Well, Scarlet, did you already have your food? Your dinner? Oh, yeah, I had that during the uh, Lucha Han set, actually. Oh, okay. That was, that was good. Yeah. I decided to, uh, I just basically got the, uh, beef teriyaki on oh. the I got, like, four of those, and I had some egg rolls, and that's all. Okay. Egg rolls? Yeah. Egg rolls. Good. What is this? Wow, see, so you see, switching to Kazuya. I don't know if I agree with this choice. Are you hmm. playing with your food? I, I, de well, I definitely do not agree with this choice. Fight. There's no reason to switch off of bears. In fact, I, I, if Abu doesn't 3 0 right now, I'd be really surprised. Yeah, I have a feeling CDDT definitely wants a more fair set. Alright, so switch into a secondary. The CDDT is over there. I've seen Abu switch to uh, Jack of so not out of question for the CDDT to change the character. Oh, they got those pain K cancels in the combo? Goddamn. What the hell oh. is Damn, drop the combo though. What is it with the seeds dropped on the bag of the day? Oh, nice jump! Although, it's maybe awful. intentional. Alright, now you gotta take that this that now. Nah, no, you did not. Nah! No. Round two. Nah. No. That's ball. Catch there. Down back two by CDT. Guaranteed steel pet. Right, that's a good poke. Down back two again. Wow. Power crush by CDT. No, no absorbed. Now this time absorbed. Locked and loaded. Emma's playing with a fly right now. Wow. Oh my Look at goodness. the catching of the crunch. Round three. We saw that earlier with Chiba. I was in I was in the middle of a sentence. They're gonna get hit with an electric and then they immediately got clipped with four Oh. Oh, oh no. Nope. 
Those punches and stagger low. Down for two. The corn is currently making me eat all of my work. Wow. I'm trying low parry on the wake up. Good defense is actually my Oh, you had the fuck up boy. You didn't got full problem. Okay. Okay. Reborn made me eat. Uh, oh, that's, uh, I'm choking on my words. <laughs> <laughs> he said, nah, my Kazuya is cold. Reborn made me look like I was dog at this game. <laughs> I mean, I am, but Reborn made me look like it, though. Yeah. He just embarrassed your ass. Absolutely embarrassed. I honestly can't imagine showing my face anymore, to be honest. Yeah, I don't even know what you look like. Mm -hmm. You will never know because I am, like, removing my face as we speak. <laughs> You're just tearing it off. Yeah, it's just gone. Sorry. Oh, shit. Well, as long as you don't embarrass yourself, uh, yourself in your next set. I will. No! You, you, have, to, you, you have to learn to explain. You have to make these things. Flywolf, if you don't win six, you're not allowed to come home. Well, he does some camping. <laughs> wow, the kid immediately gives up. <laughs> That's why I wanted to get the Super Outback, so when I get kicked out, I have a car to camp in. <laughs> I'm gonna cry. And cry. Round one. <laughs> Fight. Hi, talk some sense to this boy. Well, I would hope that uh, Labyrinth would do his best. Uh, because it's been a while I since I will played, never so. not do my best. I'm just telling you to temper your expectations. No, my expectations are that you should win some matches next set. Like a few. At least. I mean, you can win uh -oh. a few against me. Huh? I said, you win a few against me, you can definitely get quite a few Round on that, two. man. You training Fight. me and being out for my blood are two different things. You know, you're right. I should have played you like I was trying to kill you. Yeah, it's different. You were, you were helping me warm up and you played as such. So... I've I've played against you when you were out for my blood, and it's a very different experience. I'm also rusty, but that's round three. That's fair. Fight. I understand. Wow, look at the electrics here. We saw that earlier with Shima. Now CDT definitely showing up with them too. Nice string there by Atme. All right, come on, Atme. The block on the deck. Oh, that could have been this, Don't let this man disrespect you. Leo has the ability to cover so much ground with these buttons. Yes. Leo is a very well-rounded character. See the key with rage here. Oh, that could have been oh, oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. Look at those grand Oh my goodness, Atmo here. Another trade. And thank you so much for the raid, YSO, party of 12. Hopefully you had a wonderful stream. Thank you so much for playing with the viewers here. Right, another opportunity for Atmo to win here. I love the reason why his name looks like that. I'm pretty sure it's because, like, most things you can't have a three-character name because it would just be, like, why so, like, normal. Final round. But, yeah. Fight. <laughs> you have to be like that. But it looks really cool, though. Out of the block. No, no. Punch. Late on punish, no launch, though, on the uh, down 4 4 guy wow. again. Wow, oh, here we go. That move. What's happening? This, this should be the nice. round. Yeah, there. Oh, nice low parry. Wow. Here we go. Not gonna let him disrespect you like that. Good defense there by Atmo. Just shutting down everything towards the end there. There is. Mm -hmm. Eh. 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 
I wonder if CDDT is gonna try uh, Kazuya again or uh, a different character. What are your thoughts? Uh, I honestly different character. I would, yeah, I would like to see Reborn just go back to the Kuma, but not yet. Not yet. Maybe I'm a weirdo. I don't know who else he plays. I don't. I think he plays a lot. Like he probably has like eight characters at least. Here's my bucket. If I remember correctly, yeah. He has a Miguel. If I remember correctly. Um, I don't know the variety of characters he has. Although I I, I know that he has played in numerous characters. He's he's an OG player like myself. He's been around the scene for a while. I remember playing him uh, in Tekken 5 a long, long time ago. Yeah, they did. Alright, Feng Wei. That's right, different character, not back to the Bears, yeah. Round one. Fight. Starting up with a little spacing here. Atmo with first blood. Oh, nice launch there by CD2. No opponent? That, was, that should work. Different pokes here. Atmo here repositioning CD2. That's minus 14. Oh my goodness. Wow, good low parry there. Fight. Both of these players, these characters do have a back tempo step of some sort. That move. Leo has the pseudo back tempo step. Oh, nice nice. Oh my god. Three seconds left. KO. Round two. It's time for the parry. Oh my god, that buck to launch crowd here is massive. Yeah. Oh, dumped the combo at the wall there. Wow, the counter hit there. KO. Nice one by Atmu. Round Tying it up. Three. Fight. Yeah. Uh, watch your whips. Both of them playing really up close here. Doesn't commit to the house speed. Oh, gets caught by the second hit of that string. Atmu looking pretty good again. Oh no, but the launch by CBBT. Pops and I go for the wall carry. Oh, good catch with the wall. What the board. hell was that? That was ugly. Take the combo. There we go. Oh, no back, back step there. Both I'm playing now a little bit further now. Engaging in close combat. Oh, had it! If he committed oh, to that God, second hit. Wow, Rage Art, please! Rage Art. Is that too far? Oh away? no! Oh my goodness! Oh, oh no! Round four. Round two. Fight. That is not the time to be doing that. I mean, I know you, I know uh, both you and Lab were talking about throwing the bag away, but I, I mean, yeah. it's, it's, it's out of the stage right now. Dog, it's in the ocean, bro. Ocean, yeah. That shit sunk like a lovely. You don't have to go back down there and get it. Good low parry there. That bag had gems in it. Oh, oh nice! Oh, okay, gosh. okay. We got the bag back somehow. Fight. Somehow it didn't fully sink and we grabbed the oh, string out of the water. Step there by that move. Yeah. Oh, the second hit. I'm getting caught by a number of these strings. The late strings that CDPT has been. Oh! Hey, we got the launch. Oh, wait a minute. They cold. Look at this Harry. They nice cold. combo. Oh, but oh. the block. 
They thought they were below 32 degrees Fahrenheit. Hey, patience here. Wow, good catch with the counter. Recover I... kick? Nice. He's in rage. Good block. No, oh, block. no punish. Wow. Okay, thank God. A lot of close calls in that match there. We took the bag back from the jaws of death. Those bags contain infinity stones, you know, don't want to throw those out. Yeah, well, yeah, for real. Alright, so if the trend continues, as I foresee CDDT choosing a yet another character out of this bag. Definitely. It's going to go on until it's closer. He ain't going to switch to berries till it's like 8-8. Eight, eight. Mm -hmm. That move still has uh, two more lives left left to uh, to work with. Can't afford to, to slip up at this point. Get ready for the next battle. Alright, let's see what the surprise pick is next. Josie! Oh, Josie is on the screen! There it's you fucking go. Someone's good. happy about that. Let's go. I'm sorry, I mean, I don't want to see this. I want to see this smoke. Round one. Oh, going for oh, a bit the leather wrap Josie girl. here. Oh, nah. Nah. They done. Go with the poke nice and with punish there. What the hell? Oh, I tried to cane the thing. There yeah, here we go. Nice. Good catch with the counter. To the wall. Alright, well. Fight. Adam here working on building some momentum. You can try and see. Win with some secondaries. Launch that shit. What? Okay, that's fine. Oh wow, good interrupt. Yeah, they both the wall for sure. Oh, almost. Fucking up with the crazy angles. Okay, that was quite the maneuver. Alright, Abbott here trying to be aggressive. Oh, great block. block. Round three. Still won that round. Fight. Okay. Wow, nice parry. Yeah, put this shit out here. Oh, no combo though? I think I see a little rusty with the character. That's expected. Now, okay, good conversion. Look at the wall. No, doesn't get the uh, combo there. Fake out by Abby. Nice wall bounce. Oh, oh it's got the big combo. Oh, look at the damage. Oh and my god. Five words, one plus Round two. Four. <laughs> yeah. He tried to side roll out that bitch. Abby said, nah. That was a good call there by Atme and the series of events that led him to that win. GZZT really trying his best to take this round to stay alive. Lots of small pokes here, but the counter hit oh, that makes was all that was work go away. Oh, you missed it by hair. Nice counter. No. What kind of combo? Break. break. Nice ball switch. Let's go for the magic four. Oh no, oh, my that was goodness. Crazy. Nice don't counter. Drop this. Please don't drop. Okay, there we go. Going for we the rage drive. Yeah. Alright. Three straight for that move. Uh, Alright, well.
Definitely something that we were looking forward to seeing Atmu making a comeback here of sorts. Extending the set's life. That almost vibes like something I would do. It's like, alright, I didn't 10 0 you, I'm gonna play a secondary. <laughs> Yeah, I think CDDT doesn't want it to be a quick set, right? So trying out some different characters and if, they, if, if he wins with the character, so be it. If he loses, he gets to try different characters just to make it interesting. Not really should be seen as a negative thing of sandbagging. You know, just really want to have fun. Doesn't want it to be a, a complete wash. Oh, but we're going to the panda, folks. As oh, as as may have spoke too soon on that. He's done Send playing. Back to a bear. He's uh, I I you got for you got those. Round one. Huh? Oh, the Going for the oh, hamster? Is it like a hamster or something? What is this? Yeah, yeah, it's fucking ham tar. Ham tar? Oh my goodness. <laughs> Right by that other hamster. Oh, look at that reset. No tech. You get do we talk? Oh. Wait, do we talk about the other hamster show? Oh, which one? I think I know what you're talking about. I can't remember. Yeah, we don't. We don't talk about that show. Uh, okay. Fight. If you know, you know. I should probably get ready for my set. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Going out those 442s four four and he's safe on the lockdown. The Bears 442 is minus 18. Uh, says based off a of red pan. Okay. I don't know my animals too well. It's a hamster. Hamster, okay. Lapple says it's hamster. A, it's a hamster. It's a hamster. It's a hamster. Round 3. But you All gotta right. face hamsters, Jolter. <laughs> well, this hamster is working, working here against Atlas. Oh my goodness, what in the world, camera man? What just happened? Is that weird? Nice block. Good block. Oh my god. Oh, drops the uppercut and the back one. Oh, damn. All right, so uh, CDDT starting out really strong with the Kuma, then went the scenic route with a number of secondary characters, and now looking to finish his tour with the with the panda. It's a oh, cat. It's a cat. Interesting. Oh okay. my god. We're all wrong. I, I personally didn't really have a guess. I, I, well, I said hamster, I think. I said something along those lines. Oh, Dang. A cat. Alright. We all got an F. Time to watch some uh, national Get graphic. Ready for the next battle, 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 battle. Matchup knowledge on, on animals is really poor. <laughs> oh, yo, wait, 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 wait. the Paul. Wait, you're relying Phoenix. on the Paul. Your lifeline is Paul. What have you been doing? You, you this, is a, uh, one. this is a this is a Fight. tribute to Future Beats. Oh. That was good block and punish. Although uh, it's nice to see Admu have all the characters aside from Jack and Leo. And then Paul does have those strong combos at the wall with the death fist against Biggs. Power crush. Dude, it went. I hate the bear's legs, bro. Now this one is a red panda. I, I, I suspect oh, this one is a red panda. The other one is a red panda. The other one is a cat. I don't want to a cat. Or Tanuki? Yeah, yeah, it's Tanuki. I see, yeah. Well, yeah. either one. You know, you kill an animal class, okay? Round two. Ah, 
Yeah, if it's either of those, we get an F life. We get an F life. If this is the Tanuki, I have to question it. Yeah. I'm just wondering though, look at that Supreme Pizza on that in the back. Yeah. Really wants me to grab some pizza right now. I'm making me hungry. I usually do. I mean, I had a little something, but not as savory and fulfilling as pizza. Uh, yeah, oh, nice punish. Oh, going for the drive. Yes, going to the wall here. Oh, here boom, boom, boom. That was not good, man. I really almost had that shit. I'm Round right. three. Set point for reborn here. Fight. Good dog. Punish the death this I did not to. Nice punish on the shredder. I believe Paul can punish the uh, bear up the That's a smash. Oh my goodness. G Clef Cannon. That's it. Oh, with the counter. That'll do it. Still alive. Okay. Okay. It's about to say, don't you dare play with your food now. All right, good games right, to both C D D T and that. Yep. All right, everybody have a good night. All right, I'm gonna good go, stuff, uh, Black Wolf. I gotta go get good my luck on your set. You gotta go do what? Get my sleeping bag. Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Good oh. efforts there by Atmu, though. Really trying to hold it down. Bears, definitely a, a bit oh. of a challenge for Atmu. Yeah, who the hell plays Bears? Atmu's only fought three of them. That's, that's understandable. You gotta fight a lot of Bears. Uh, if Atmu uh, is in the chat here, uh, do you need a break for uh, any moment of time? Or are you good to play uh, right now? Let me know. I'm happy to give you a few minutes to be needed. So Jolter redeemed the conflict. Well, Jolter, I want to say again, thank you so much for all of your support on this channel. Uh, also, you know, personally, thank you so much for checking up on me every once in a while in the Discord. Uh, I know you're very caring and uh, looking forward to having you play back in the first attends sometime in April. Right, with your first set uh, being against John Snoop. All right. Oh, he's fighting John. All right, cool. I haven't seen John play in quite some time. Uh, how can I compliment Jolter with something that I haven't said? Uh, yeah, I'm also looking forward to your return. I'm looking forward to playing with you again. So that's always a like, really hilarious experience. Uh, Yo, and S Shima. Gifting five tier one subs. Thank you so much, Shima. Five five gift subs for the five wins we see. Uh, one against eleven. I'll take it. And thank you so uh, much, Shima. Yeah, thanks, Shima. You cold for that. Um, but yeah, Joel Terry, great friend. Uh, I say the same things every time. It's a compliment to give you like seven times now. <laughs> what else do I? Say? Yeah, it's, uh, you know, um, once Jolter ends up participating in the first 10, we'll likely have a lot more to say. He's been yeah. taking a high this with Tekken, doing other things, enjoying life. For sure. Um, yeah, I can't wait to beat your, beat your ass again. Yeah. There you go. <laughs> and speaking of, uh, you know, coming back here, Scarlet, I, I see you're making a little return on Tekken. Yeah, I have been. The so retirement is, uh, life is uh, getting a little boring. Want to get back yeah. to the, the fray? Yeah, I, I just kind of felt like playing. I kind of still feel like playing, so it hasn't stopped, I guess. So, it's interesting how different it feels. Wow, so uh, Lab Wolf immediately goes with the Jack here at Moo, sticking with the Leo. Round one. 
Alright, Channel Predictions are up, folks. Yamu again playing in this double header against Lab Wolf. Me and Joker should be like a returning player to it. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be fun. I haven't played against him on the real stuff for a while. Well, I'm kind of playing a little patiently here. Gotta watch some whips. Um, yeah, I've been playing uh, Lab Wolf Jack the past couple days. Um, I gotta say, it's, it's looking pretty decent. Um, oh yeah, here we go. Wow, good low parry. Oh, no, no parry. You're cold. Going to the wall. Oh, there we go. Look at that damage. That was unscaled damage at the end there, too. Oh! Yeah. Yeah. Let's get them on the I am back. Welcome back. Thank you, Zula. Happy Friday. Hi, can you schedule that? Yeah, uh, let's see, I can probably do that. I know Jolter, you said you wanted to play UT. We got John Snew on the 14th. I mean, who do you want to play? Do you want to play Scarlet or do you want to play UT? You're asking for a lot of players right off the bat, so I want to make sure you schedule it. KO. Remember Lab Wolf. Round three. That, that quarter circle four on plus two is 13 frames. Oh, since he plays, I love the Jack 8 trailer. I love the stance. Something different to, to, to play around with. Not too pleased about Jack Hammer not knocking down. I thought that was uh, rather strange, but I understand that looking to keep the opponent standing and adding some mixes to it, so... That's Jack with a mix-up game? Yeah. KO. Alright, that... Round Jolter, four. Uh, Fight. Alright, Jolter. I will uh, arrange that set for you. I'll make it a note. And Scarlet actually returned to the first attempt. It's also... Crazy in itself. I'd better be man than that. No. Hey, look at my garble. The first job is looking really good. No, no, no. no, 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 no. Is it, he can't, when you can't, the that matchup is that you can't really step Leo because you're Jack. So you have to play more honest than you should. Thus, this is why it's a potential, it's, it's probably a bad matchup for Jack more so than Leo. Yeah. But Jack can expose more BS of Leo. The leniency, the, if she commits to a string, it's either high or she's minus 12 or worse. And on top of that, the only thing that that Atmu was not doing and that I didn't do against Lab Wolf was back one four step, back one four step, one back one four step, basically loop that because you can down forward two million reaction on that at any point in time. Which is what I was stopping. So basically what he has to do is he has to learn how to he has to play snowball attacking. You just basically slow the game down. Let's, let's slow the game down. Then you have to harass with pokes whenever you get a chance to. Don't worry about the factor of that. Just worry about the factor of hey. the with the Kasumi. Uh, interesting. I needed to go get a drink there, so I'm going to do that right now. Round one. Fight. <laughs> And you want one against Leo, especially Admiral. Oh, please. Dab. Yep. 
Round two. Fight. <laughs> That's also minus nine and safe. And a full wall spot on a normal hit. I accidentally crushed this fortune cookie when I sat down. I wonder if that's bad luck. That is actually bad luck. Sure. <laughs> I hate life, but that's okay. Oh, that's okay. I didn't completely destroy it. This cracked it. Get ready for the next battle. Almost like I broke it open. It's gonna be harder for him. Well, it's gonna be harder for Admiral, honestly. Because it depends on what pressure he wants to go with. Does Josie want to go with the switch stance pressure? Or does he want to go with the low pressure? Does he want to try and keep Mozzie's mids? Or does he want to be nutty and go high? Because Josie can do all three. Mm -hmm. Pretty easy, actually. Round one. Thank you, Matt, for that. <laughs> I will tell you, Lab Wolf did not pick Josie once when we were playing the past two days. It's not even once. He, he picked Josie on me and he did not like the killing of it. Like, you can just poke me to death and then you can just go in. You don't have to worry about my pokes, I'm too slow. Yeah. Yeah. There's, actually, there's actually a big boy combo that happens besides that one with the counter here, by the way. <laughs> K.O. Round two. Yes, I know. Fight. Yes, I know. I know. It's why I wasn't that good in the magic show. I started adapting to you, which means which is why I hate the magic show. I'm like, oh, I gotta do a player and it's not good. K.O. Uh, Round top. three. Fight. The problem is right now is that... Uh, I have a question. Why did level pay Jack instead of going into You know... Only Labo can answer that question. Because Labo from Leo is not a good matchup. <laughs> you know, I probably should have looked out my dusty Leo to practice with Labo, but really dusty. I didn't feel like cleaning it off. 
like that thing is so sort of dusty, it hasn't been used in so long, you just kind of want to throw it away. Hey, you're retired. You should be, you should be keeping your head up the snuff. Even if you don't play the game, keep your head up the snuff. Bomb. But I retired my Leo before I even retired. Don't matter. I like me seeing this thing, yeah, I'm retired a law. She's just there picking up, like, bars. And ever since they nah, nah, fam, I retired a law before I retired, before I actually retired. So I'm good. Like, no, it ain't. Oh, he's alive. Loud fortune cookie crunching intensifies. <laughs> like, damn, that must be loud if my mic was picking it up. Yes, it is. I'm terribly sorry. It's all good. Get ready for the next battle. <laughs> to sit there and spend a good amount of gross money. I got a good amount of gross money, right? Scarlet, what's uh, what's your fortune? Oh, um, I got three because I ate three of them. One of them says, I would rather attempt something great and fail than attempt to do Round nothing one. and succeed. Fight. The other one says, um... Good clothes open many doors, go shopping. And then this last one says, if you don't program yourself, life will program you. Wow, those are very deep words there. Thank you so much for sharing. I thought they were pretty good fortune. Uh, speaking of pretty good, Lab will be pretty good in this round here. It's funny because I did buy clothes today. Because, um... KO. Uh, Dax linked me a uh, brand of Sacrifice shirt. Fight. They have like a version with a uh, Dark Magician girl and she has like a scythe and they have skulls and shit. It looks really cool. Good old Yu-Gi-Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was a whip punish to down 4-2 to down 4-2 didn't work out. I'm gonna link that shirt in chat because I think it's really dope. The um, Dark Magician Girl shirt for Brandon Sacrifice. It's a band. Oh, that was natural. KO. Round three. Fight. Yeah, here's that shirt, guys. If you scary. Oh, this shirt. Hey, so you have us. I'm not bad. But I'm a size of something garbage. <laughs> my, my, my size is uh, 2S or 3X, and unfortunately, I don't have it because, uh, yeah, it's uh, you know, KO. Yeah. Round four. I'm trying to lose Fight. weight, so I kind of ordered a large clothes anyway, because I'm going to lose like 80 pounds in the next like six months. Oh, the worst part is? Well, I can't gain weight. <laughs> <laughs> oh, damn. I have been at... I went from 218 to 209. Yo. That's crazy. Oh, uh, come on, my bull. This down forward. Don't do okay. Yo! Let's fuck you go! KO. See, all, like I said, all you have to do it is out fundamental Leo in terms of this matchup. Even though you can't step for crap, you can always sit there 
Yeah, DD Green fundamentals with down forward two into down forward two. Yeah, that's fundamentals. <laughs> that works. You'd be shocked. <laughs> You'd be shocked on how much that works. Yeah. Why I do would wall, be. Why do wall players do magic one down forward two? Because it works. <laughs> I've, de I've definitely been hit by it. Exactly. So now that you know. Now that you know one of Law's top 10 most deep darkening secrets, I'm oh, sorry, darkening secrets, I can't tell you number one though. That, that, that's refusal. I can't tell you that. <laughs> You're not yet prepared for this knowledge. Lunar phase? Oh, wow. Oh, that would happen. Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. I don't think I've been hit by that Law one, but I have been hit by the Jack thing, just so. Yeah. I've been hit by it. I can tell you about it. Not fun. <laughs> no, it ain't fun. That, that, that mess is painful. Hey. hey, you remember Oscar up forward three into down back one two? Yes. That, <laughs> that always tells that. Round one. Oh wow. He, he went. Oh, 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 I don't want to. Yeah. It's. Uh, <laughs> Jack off. <laughs> oh, One. Balloon on a Friday night, jacking off. Yo, that low parry was cold. Why didn't you rage her? Why didn't you rage her? Okay. Made me nervous. Round two. Fight. If Lavo does if Lavo can do one, I will get the sub. He's done it to me a couple of times. Uh -huh. I do hope to see. Yeah, one! <laughs> I he probably has to land as well. KO Enzo the debug round three fight more debug the crouch throw that was oh my god at me Jesus Christ calm down on this poor lad he has homework too why did I do four K Sorry, I'm watching. Let's play to watching this. <laughs> that, that is that is gross. Oh, oh, that is gross. I do that. The back. Oh my God. Bugs. Fight. First a debug and then we see maximum none. No more. One. I forgot how high back this game is. Oh, that's punish. Okay. Debug. Okay. Debug. I again. Oh, he got hit. Perfect. Why? Final round. Fight. Yo, cheap. The fuck? Jack one, Jack two, 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 Jack 
Oh, oh, he tried it. He tried it again. Huh? Oh, you're free of Blackle. All oh, the time. Time up. <laughs> he said, I am the real Jack. Oh, dear Lord. You take five, you get 2.5k, and you get it for just guessing wrong. Welcome to Multi Blood. Oh, that's <laughs> my shield. What are you watching for Multi? I'm watching um, Crossover Arc Day Zero. It's the it's the New York vs. Midwest 5v5 Multi Blood, just to get current code. Uh. And I'm watching Seal vs. Seal, and if you ever heard the term Maximum None, it is the most garbage thing you can ever think to ever do in a fighting game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know how Akuma has Demon Flip, it has options? Yeah. Now, take his Demon, now take his throw out of Demon Flip. Apply that throw to a character that is chumly on heroin, and she can move while throwing you. And as she moves on throwing you, she can throw you up or throw you down for a very hard knockdown. And you have to guess. Uh, and she gets 5k, which is 50% in this game, for just doing it. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. Yeah, that's Very what it is. That's crazy. what the last one is. It's kind of garbage, but it's so funny. <laughs> because the way how she looks is so goofy. Yeah. Yeah, you can launch. Come on, level. You can get more than one. Yeah, remember the level. You're gonna have to go camping if you don't get four. Remember level, just like how you did Shima, if you ain't winning more than four, you ain't you're worse than Shima and you are in the doghouse. <laughs> There you go. Now you're getting the hang of it. Oh, won! He already won! He did a one. I will he dropped the combo, though. Don't matter. He did a one. I will resub. Round two. Fight. Uh, one. One back? Oh my god. That move is bullying. No, that move is bullying. That move just, just throws off his Robocock. <laughs> that just establishes dominance. And you see two jacks. In, you see two jacks going, Round going back three. and forth. Fight. They are trying to establish dominance from one another. Yeah, that's why it's called. That's why it's called a jacko. Yes, and I hate that term forever, by the way. Like, infinitely forever. <laughs> you can't handle that, they them Robocock. <laughs> Leave you in the hospital. Sweet. Tweet that in more context. Fight. We are as you come in here and join us. <laughs> oh dear lord. KO. Alright, good good level. Final round. Good, make it final round. Fight. Come on. A bunch of jackhammers. One. I'll plant in the seeds, bro. <laughs> Abby tried to plant the seeds and get launched for their trouble. Oh no. Yeah, there you go, Labble. 
Let's get it. Why was Raylo banned? Who the fuck banned Raylo? What the hell did he do? Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle, battle. He, I mean, he's unbanned now, because I was like, wait, what? Weird. I bet it was KJ. Round one, fight. Oh, I haven't got this devil. I don't know. Oh wait, it's only like four to two right now. The neutral. Is the dick dab punish on the down forward three? Oh, nice break on that tackle. That was clean. Level with the clean neutral right now. Very clean. Staying out of there. Yeah, keep them out. Keep them out. Fuck. Fuck it up. Round two. Fight. <laughs> Oh, damn. They slaying, too. After that block, though. Go ahead. That bull's not playing around anymore. Uh -oh. He got their head, though. Oh, the move drive. Yo, yo, what are you doing? I, I have no idea no what, what that was. I was like, oh, okay. Who is that for? Oh, the dark greeting. Reboot. Oh. <laughs> the charge. Punish that. Yeah, there you go. Oh no, planted the seeds incorrectly. <laughs> no, he didn't plant the seeds incorrectly. He missed the seeds. All he did was put his hands in the soil. Why? Great. Not the lows. Round Ooh. four. Fight. I mean, I like. I don't like Jack A, but I do like him because he has cool the mood that I'm flexing him now. Now you would be flexing on him whenever you can let him your ass. Green is Jack. It's like Jack. It's like that meme. It's like Jack. Cool the Jack. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Damn, I mean, it's kind of taking control of it. Oh, caught, caught some debugging. Oh no. Oh my. Fight. I for one am glad Jackhammer doesn't walk, knock down on normal hit. I'm so glad that that's not a thing anymore. I was so fucking annoyed by that one. 
Yeah, for real, that's an annoying ass move. There's like no reason to not do it over and over again. Like, look at this! See? There's no reason not to do it over and over again. There's literally zero reason. Look at this! Yeah. Your whiff punning. Your pressure. It's your timing thing. Is it like? All right, level has made it three four. Good. I expect Leo to come back out at some point. Maybe even now. Uh, oh, that was a good one. Maybe even now. There is enjoyable fucking. Uh, we were watching them jack off, but uh, I told you it was Leo. Can time. we stop? <laughs> Can we stop <laughs> that, please? <laughs> I will never stop. I'm a fiend. Round one. Anyway, it's okay because Leo's on the screen again. So. We won't have to deal with that immaturity. KO. Yeah, they, they were Round pocket two. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> That's beauty green too. <laughs> hey, I stopped it. Oh, yeah. And you kept it going. I didn't do anything. KO. <laughs> Round three. Let's go, Lapple. Beating that Leo ass, too. One. Oh, shit. Okay, come on, Memphis. I ain't getting a little too on the nose, baby. You know, down for one was a mid high, right? Um, tell you the truth, Future Beast. Yes, that is me. I get annoyed by someone like loud, obnoxious chewing. KO. Yeah, I actually get annoyed by people chewing obnoxiously loud and they mean to do it. Yeah, but that's true. I get annoyed by that. I'm not yeah, confused. like. My best friend Dax really hates it when you like hear the lips smacking in the saliva. He hates that shit. He will yeah, like fuck yeah. you. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm with him on that one. Sorry. I mean, it's true. Yeah, it is kind of gross. I can understand why it would annoy somebody to that degree. But it's like, um, I also have another bestie, Michael, who I've known him for several years. So. He would often eat chips, and you can hear like the chip crunching. So it's like chip crunching is kind of like just background noise to me, and it's sometimes funny because he would make jokes while he's crunching chips to make it even funnier. So chip crunching doesn't annoy me. It's just his like background noise. He was doing that the other day in a call with me and Dax, and I didn't even notice it. And then Dax said something. I was like, "Oh yeah, he's eating chips, isn't he?" <laughs> Just like a normal thing. Get ready for the next battle. Yeah, crunches are nice. The lip smacking and saliva is disgusting. I, I agree with those takes. Like when I was crunching on those fortune cookies earlier, that was satisfying. It's like crunching his ASMR. Round one, fight. 
See if Lab Wolf can keep up the matches in them. This is doing really well. Well, shit. Happening, okay. Oh, nice attempt. Round two. Fight. Ooh, great work on it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh, play the speed. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, I need to punish that one, actually. No one ever uses that skin. KO. Round three. Fight. Punish. Oh, oh. Oh. It's like that's fundamental. How fundamental the layer. Wow. I didn't. Nice work there. Punish. Oh, uh, uh, I'm gonna plant the feet. Uh, get up. Uh, uh, you know I want. I'm starting to talk like I'm playing. Shit. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm gonna awaken the real wolf. See, now Lab Wolf is learning the matchup. It's all learning as he goes. He's learning. Red for you, Lab Wolf. That was very well played. The past, the past four games have just been more progressively well played. It's actually kind of insane. Lab Wolf going to have to take that trash player out of his Steam name here soon. Why does he call himself trash player at the Lab Wolf? Why does he call himself that? When he realizes that most of the people that most of the time he's actually a decent player when he actually decides to calm down and think. <laughs> Uh, yeah, it's just kind of one of those low points. I mean, I've had several myself. I get it. It's just, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know, help. Yeah, send, send Wab, Wab Wolf. Oh send no, Wab help. Wolf, your love and support. <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Wab wolf. Buh. <laughs> oh, we got another one of my isms in there. Fight. Wab wolf. Buh. Damn. He beat in the ass, buh. He beat in the ass in the quote we three. Perfect. Round two. Fight. Lord. Damn, alright. That move's not out yet. Nice. Honest that. No, I got healthy. Ooh, you gotta block where I'll wake up, Blabble. Blabble. Uh, uh. Nice. I'm like, in things that he's 
done to me during our sparring sessions, and I'm like seeing him apply them in their like realized form. It's actually quite impressive. KO. Like my goodness. Round four. Fight. Like this is what happens when you play like that against somebody who doesn't win. Or do I have to see the real monster? Yet? Have I yet to see the real wolf? Nice dodge from that move. Gonna get a wall flip over. Not gonna block that. Okay. Oh, final round. Fight. Ooh, ooh, still get that max damage. Ooh, that hurt way more than that dinky little jab. Oh, that low parry was disgusting. Drop the combo. Yeah, time for fundies here. Oh, not in range. There we go, plant the seeds. Big damage. At least you didn't get count hit. Oh! Yeah, I ducked that. Oh my god, Atme was adapting to the annoying lows, but it's not over yet. Okay, cool. Spring kick, though. Spring kick. What? Yep. Yo, goddamn! Spring kicks! <laughs> Probably a misinput, even though it won them that match. Oh, you mean uh, Wabloof? Yeah, I agree. I don't even remember the input. I think it's like forward 1 plus 2 for some reason, but I don't play Jack. Ah, oh, damn bad. Oh. Oh, yeah. Uh, maybe fucking that up with the uh, plant seeds. I don't know. The score is a dead 5-5. Five, five. I'm just kidding. It's actually very alive. Round one. Because we are hyped Fight. in here. Waiting to see how these players continue to adapt towards the coming battle. Yeah. I guess Black Wolf did sleep in the house tonight. Oh, you got it. There you go. Yeah. Oh, jumps combo. You gotta stop abusing these low levels. Oh, you could have launched. Oh, not launched. I could have, could have punished it. KO. Yeah, Round yeah. Two. Fight. Misty observation. Yeah, I'm waiting to be liable to launch at me to one of their low carry attempts here in a moment. Looks like he's throwing it out a little bit more liberally at least. Yeah, very much more liberally. Oh my god, you should have did it again, 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 again. What the hell? Honestly, would love to see Lapo with some throws. I, I don't think we've seen a lot. Oh yeah, that was, yeah. he has a full throw game. KO. Round three. Ooh. Fight. Come on, keep fighting. You gotta find the mind games now. You gotta find them again. There you go. Oh, here we go, debug. Nice. Oh, Ooh. jump the combo. Or the follow up. No punish on down for two. Babu could come back from this. Good block. Oh. 
Whoa! I got a reaction Round to the health sweep. Oh yeah. I'm yelling a little too loud for 10 p.m. That's all right. That's nice good though. Jackhammer. Enjoy it while you can. Pick and hit cannot knock down with Jackhammer. Again, again, again. Final round. Fight. Did that joint bug? Wow, jab him to debug. We like the. It's just like my training sessions with him. He's good with that jackhammer. Look at this pressure here. Oh, Abby getting out. No break on the throw, but no splat either. Gotta watch the pressure here. Oh, no. Too oh, slow on the punish. That was optimal, though. Oh, look at that. Oh, that was gross. Oh, tackle, reverse. Yeah. Oh, reverse on the tackle. Break. Right, breaks the last block. Oh, oh my god. god. Nice block. I really thought. But no, Lab Wolf is now in the lead. There you go, Lab Wolf. Make me lose my money. <laughs> What a you set so me? far. I thought at some point Labo was going to go with the Josie, but uh, I heard some uh, that, that he was only playing Jack for uh, for the remainder of the set. Or... Really? Little birdie told you? Yeah. It seems like he's going to go with the Jack all the way. I, I don't see any reason why he... He shouldn't, right? I mean, he's yeah. doing really well with the character. Took a little time to warm up. And plus he's been playing Jack with you, Scarlet, so it makes sense to stick with the character he's the most warm with. Mm-hmm. Get ready for the next battle. Shima Dojo, smaller stage here, good for both characters in terms of wall carry. Wall pressure galore here. Round one. Fight. Fight. Try to go for the down for two. It's interrupted by App. Oh, watch your whips. Ammo here with the pressure, nice, good catch with the string. Lab will try to fight his way out of the corner. Pushing ever so slightly, but Admin pushes back with the down for three. Oh, that's good punch. Oh, 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 and the oh, oh. No, you gotta watch for that. You're minus a billion after playing the seeds. Round two. Fight! Machine Rage! Not punchable there, that was good duck by Atme. Yeah. Going with the low, then the mid. I'm not going out like this. Atme said they're not going out like this. Definitely, not like this. Definitely they are not. Oh, okay. Oh, I couldn't let that rock! Should've oh. committed, that was it. Dang. Alright, well. If Power 2 2 got the big three. buff of damage, it's like a 30 damage whiff punish. It's like a 30 damage 12 frame for an apple. Why would you not let that rip? True. It's 14, but yeah. 14, my bad. I mean, this is dark. Oh, oh! Okay. Can someone please duck down for a one one with Jack, please? Like, please. Come oh, nice. Oh, oh. That's oh, okay. Round four. They just on tag. See, that, that's the one thing I know I always, I sometimes have trouble with is the 4 4 4 follow up after 4 2 encounter. Oh, that was He's got some other uh, good moves that are more reliable in case dashing is not. Uh, Quite the snuff. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, 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 drop. Oh, oh man, that would have been better. Unfortunately, at least he got the uh, the concept now. That would have been super day. 
Land another dragon, land another dragon. Oh, was I gonna speed? Yeah, my ass blocked that. Uh, I'm not even gonna lie. That's okay, you're not in rage yet. Just one more hit. That was, as I say, oh, that's 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 <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Tying it up again, Atmu says, nah. -uh. Holy shit. That's a good ass. Just four. Level, stop saying you're trash. Let's go. I think the closest set we had tonight was actually our first set between Luchahan and Montel Chilliams, but oh, yeah. this could definitely be a contender. Watch it be double Luigi last pixel, bro. I'll be I'll watching. Yeah. Oh my goodness. This is just what the set is. It might just be Leo versus Jack the rest of the way. Get ready for the I don't think Atmu would switch here. They already demonstrated their deck. I'm watching this and I'm watching the Melty Blood set and it is 6 0 right now in favor of New York. Midwest is looking free as hell right now. <laughs> Damn. Round one. Fight. With the fresh ass, black and red and gold, pirate, layout. Ooh, okay. Nice. Oh. Nah, Pockets. Lab Wolf isn't gonna play Jersey, unfortunately. There we go, Lab. Oh, Abby, you're pushing. Oh, oh no. no. Look at those up four threes. Uh, Gotta watch for those auto pilot down back ones. Fight. Up back three is really good in this game. 20 frames, minus nine, ball splats. You just gotta hold that. <laughs> Even though her turn ends if she passes again, you gotta hold that. Alright, well, Lapo here is sticking with the mids now. Gonna train uh, Atlu to respect the mids. Now I'm going to the lows. Dude, punish. Punish. Oh. Wasn't confident. Oh no, tries to make the guess. Not a low. Oh. I'll punish. Great drive. Oh, no, didn't just commit. Just wow, shot. that was very risky. Round three. Very you run risky. up and plant the seeds. Fight. You'll never see that coming. Helping Mother Earth. Oh my goodness. Look at time. this combo here. Oh, that was amazing. Low carry there by Lab Wolf going to the wall. No splat yet. Oh, good break there by Atman. We're not gonna get tackled. No punish on the shoulder. This is so Going for the fake out there. Oh, oh gets caught oh, by Jackhammer. Yeah, yeah, just, yeah. I would have blocked that because Round I knew four. exactly that that was coming. Fight. <laughs> That's good. I was like, yeah, do down back one. Level here at match points here. Oh, good catch with the shoulder. Oh my goodness. Can you foul down? Do the right combo, please. Oh no. Oh, what the hell? That's that was the right combo, huh? Why are you the fuck up? The only thing I can think of would be the, the sidewall or he's too slow. Oh, nice. No one punishes that. Oh, no, oh, oh, no. Oh, wow. Oh, you went for the hard time. I mean, uh, yeah, you went for the hard time over there. That was actually the hard one. Alright, Lab Wolf here taking the lead again. Starting to see a lot of these back and forth oh, actions. No. First to three for Lab Wolf. Bat moves still in the first to four situation. Jeez, Lab Wolf. My man is talking to his coach while immediately just bullying this poor large Chia player. We are free as hell in multi -block. I'm not even gonna lie to you. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. 
That's funny, so. Like, he's literally just having a conversation with his coach about what to do for a punish on, like, two things that he already knows how to punish. And he just having a, just a casual conversation. <laughs> and he's funny. winning the set, mind you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, that's, that's brutal. That's brutal, dog. Nope, and he, he just lost that round. Oh. Round one. What's the score? Fight. <laughs> oh, now he. Oh, he's starting. Now Admiral is. Oh, wow, that's low parry. Okay. Tried the hard shit. Funny. No, no way. There we go, block that. Yeah. Ooh, nice apple for three. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Oh, oh, yeah. no. Oh. What a great Sabaki, wow. Round two. Fight. Phenomenal. Fantastic. Excellent. Brutal. Perfect. Perfect! Round three. <laughs> Fight. Lovely. Alright, I'm just trying to see all the way in there. Nice launch on that. Oh, what in the world was that? I yeah. thought one was not the correct uh, move there. Oh my goodness. Oh, Round four. a perfect for at me this Fight. time. The revenge perfect. That was gonna get tied up. That was uh -oh. extend the lead. Oh, uh, down 4 2 to catch him coming in. Oh, see it though. We turn the up four threes. Can we please do no down four one one please? No, we will not, but we will punish that though. We can punish that, we can't do down four one one please. It's all scripted, it's okay. It's all scripted. Oh. <laughs> it's scripted. Oh, okay, here we go. Lap will with the ray oh get stabbed on. Oh, oh, you're tying it up. Five. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. All right, grand finals here. First to three. Come on, oh, brother. Lower brackets. I need some chocolate bars. Chocolate? Where did the chocolate come from? I just had myself a Godiva chocolate what? bar that uh, Nikki got me on on her way back home from shopping. Great stuff. Turned with the chocolate. Mm. Mm -hmm. Round one. No, Gira Delis is also Fight. pretty good, Mr. Pockets. Gira what? Gira, Gira Deli, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but it starts with the G and with the I. Or the Gira Deli, I don't know. They're pretty good chocolates too, fine chocolates. 
And like back in uh, this uh, suit pick as well. Super really good, like the small stages. Oh, jackhammer! My stepdad made some brownies the other day. They're all gone. Well, I'm out. Nice whip punish. See the lap over here, really playing the spacing game, just not really going too hard and uh, closing the gap. It kind of stays outside a bit. Mm. Punish, uh, ring the or get punished with the whip there. And lap over here at match point. Could this be a no round brown? Look at the uh, folks here by Emily, they're trying to pressure. But spacing here. Caught by the jackhammer. Oh, trying to go for the random down for two there. Adam did not fall for it, but gets a launch. Weird combo. Okay. Go for the sets. Challenge back for Oh, another jackhammer. Throwing it out there. Can you get clips and your movement? You gotta be careful. Small punish there on the whip. Dabbing. Indeed. Throwing out the mids. Trying to get him yes. to respect the mids. Oh no, my god, gets clipped. Oh, spring kick! Oh! Oh! Didn't get up right. Round four. Yeah, he stood up and uh, could have recovered in time. Better try to hold back, I think. This input on the up four two. Punish. Oh, well, that was valiant. Punish. Yeah, blowing out the mids. Lab will playing like me now. Board one is actually pretty good move. Pretty decent tracking. Oh shit! Oh, nice duck. That's the wow. unfortunate part of that the power, power crush. Do a fast Final enough move round. there and you can recover. And duck it. One reason why I don't like Oh, here. this kid's grabbed it. Round start. Hey, why not? Crazy. Again, we have an. Oh, trying to go for the grab there. I respect it. You grab me, I grab you. Oh, no, no, Chief. No, not there like that. Alright, well, that. Uh, at me looking pretty good. No, why you gotta do that? Oh, my goodness. He's trying to probably kind of go for the, the race track, but keep missing for me. Oh, uh, down four, nice. Wow. Atmu here taking the lead once again after so long. Not out of the woods yet. We still got a nice, sizable set left. I know. At uh, Lab Wolf cannot lose composure here. It was doing so well, tying, staying in the lead. Can't afford to lose this one now. That move clawed it, clawed their way back to the lead here. Only needs two more. What a set. Indeed. Yeah, I, I don't think uh, Lab Wolf here is not playing. Uh, he's playing quite well. I think there's a lot of missed opportunities for punishments. Uh, could have been some you know, better optimization of combos, but of course, he's still learning the character, so some of that is still expected. Definitely would like to see more throws. Um, but I know the times he's throwing, Atmu, ducking, so got to train him some more, uh, train them some more on the mids, and keep at it. Right? Jackhammer is pretty good. Round so. one, fight. Look at the lows here, Atmu here with the pressure. The pressure is not good against Jack. So he's got that stance. Good pokes here by Admu. Keeping it simple with the mix. Nice low parry. Good timing, good timing. 
Mm, 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 oh my goodness, look at the damage. Mm. That wolf here. Working yeah, his way mm. through here. And yeah. not phase at all. Plenty of life to spare here. That would have been dangerous. Oh my goodness, jack him. Do the debug. Not, not yet. Oh my goodness. Oh, not yet. Probably was trying to go for a mix or some sort. Catching with the uh, jackhammer and figured, oh, maybe I might catch him with the launch. Didn't work out. Alright, now I'm going for the full crouch thing. Yep, now he's looking to do something different. Nice! Oh my. Going to the wall here. Really, yo. Nice. Okay. Got a block at the win. Missed the whip on this opportunity. Oh, Atlas trying to go for the low. Gets Round interrupted three. by Jackhammer. Fight. There we go. Look at the pokes. Yeah. And that was good launch of that. Yeah. Go into the wall. Getting the stop that blue shit. I want that in my face. Okay, tries to interrupt there. Alright. There you go, there you go. Oh, here oh, we go. No, cheat, wow. no, no, don't get up, bro. Oh, no. Round four. Fight. And Admiral here looking good. Alright. Oh, you gotta do some. No, that could have been a launch, but that's okay. That's something, right? Yeah. There we go, we're playing normal technique here. Look at the pokes. Nice whip on this shit. Fundamentally sound. Oh, drop combo. <laughs> Fundamentally sound. Drop combo. Oh boy. Oh, at the mm. bad step. That could have been really bad. Oh, this is oh, really. No. Oh my good. Look at the oh lightsaber God. here. Final Unbelievable. Hail Mary. YOLO down forward two. I I've had it. many of those in my time. Get I that blue shit out of here as well. Oh, see, again. Gotta make sure there's a, a bit of a timing with that 444. You can't do it right away, so you really need to wait a little bit. Oh, you could have just popped. Ooh -wee. Ooh wee. Oh no, watch. Back step here, at me here, looking pretty good. Still, oh my oh, goodness! Oh. Look at the the whip punish. Look at the damage. Which sides here? What we got? Right. You better watch out. Oh no! Nah. Can't be whiffing that, that over there, chief. Cannot be whiffing it that over there, chief. And to uh, lab alert, trying to play a little keep out there, but Atmu was very content with staying back. Didn't need to overextend at any point in time. And then yeah. Maybe for App, oh, oh, not Apple, maybe for Lab Wolf to make a mistake. Indeed, indeed. Okay, so first time in a while we've seen a player uh, go up, you know, two over. Right? Once the Lab Wolf started catching up, then it was a lot of back and forth. And then finally, Apple here extending the lead just ever so slightly. Apple here. Potential set point. Apple still got that grand finals to think about. No more lives left. Indeed, indeed. For this uh, match to load up here, our next set is actually another Florida player coming in. Uh, Future Beats versus Sensei Blaze. Looking forward to that set as well, since Future Beats has been challenging a lot of the higher level players. Did quite well last week. Fight. Yeah. Oh, nice counter by Atmu. Another counter. How many counters will they have? You can't start the final, your potential final match like that. Oh no! Well, Admu begs to differ. Like Round two. Wow! Like, this is perfect. Yes, let's, let's let's try to get Lab with some energy, folks. Raise yeah, your come hands. 
collect yourself. Yes, collect yourself, but not in pieces, please. Keep Jack <laughs> intact. Chanting the defense. Play saw no. Long is oh, lucky Jaiko. didn't get all. Jaiko put the three. YOLO down for two. Now Fight. starting to freak out a little bit here. He needs to go back to his roots with the fundamentals like he did earlier. Mm -hmm. Oh my goodness, nice match there. This is the time where you oh, look at this combo here by Adam. Going to the wall again. Can break the wall. Nice. Nice. Jack and Hammer, alright. Signs of life, baby. No, no, that was unfortunate. Oh, oh. Hate that to see it like that. You win. That was just. Oof. GG's. Yeah, wow. That was a wonderful set there. I mean, we saw how uh, convincing Lap Wolf looked for most of the set there. And then finally, Atmu made a uh, good comeback towards the end. Yeah, he got seven labels. That was quite the run. Yeah, so no more camping in the Subaru. You're, you got a you gotta spot in the house. You got a warm, home-cooked meal waiting for you. Very proud of you, Labble. Good stuff. And of course, Atmu, very, very good stuff with your set today uh, against Labble. Over bet on uh, at move, uh, we'll get some uh, some good points. As uh, the underdog was determined to be at move in term, not yeah, at move in term of points. Your jack is not ass. Oh my god! I'm gonna, mm. I'm gonna hit you in the back of the head with a newspaper libel. Not ass. <laughs> oh Jesus! <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get things ready for the next set here. Yeah, uh, I want to yeah, say that exactly. uh, Future Beats and uh, Sensei Blades might be ready to go. Yeah, exactly, Sonic. You feel me? The funny part is, he was even doing pretty good at conditioning in the middle there. Like, I, I, I was seeing some shit. That was good. You said that Jack was ass? Get that ass banned. <laughs> That's the way to do it, Pockets. Even though I've never done that in my life, I don't think. Maybe like once. They were because. Oh no, I've had, I've had uh, a, a couple times, like a few times, I've had IHOP at like two or three a.m. Because uh, I used to have um, high school friends, and we would play uh, Commander Magic: The Gathering, you know. And then we just decided to go to IHOP at like two or three a.m. And it was great. That shit was fantastic. Oh, the memories. Alright, they they debating over here. Alright, well, it's been a nice high. I'm going to go get some sleep before work. Um, mm -hmm. Also, awesome. yeah, try not to schedule my sets too late now, because I do like to get sleep before work on Saturday. Sure, so uh, earlier sets then. Um, so... I know for Jolter, he typically cannot do sets until 9.45. So that is that too late. That one works. That? Okay, great. I'll make sure to set that up for uh, the 21st of April. Yeah, I, okay. I'm good before 11, I would say. As long okay. as it starts before 11. So. Got it. Okay, sounds good. All right, Scarlet. Well, thank you so much for coming through and commentating with me for a majority of the evening. Uh, have a wonderful night, and we'll see you again next week. 
Yeah, it's been a fun time as always. See you next week. Take care. Have a great see ya. Yeah, have a great night, everybody. All right, you too. Mm -hmm. Bye. All right, we'll get our next members in here: Future Beats and Sensei Blaze. Starting a little early here, which is nice. You know, we can finish early. Get everybody uh, some time back in their day. It was or fun. Though. Hey, I'm back. Hey, welcome back, Lab Wolf. Yes, I I enjoyed that set thoroughly. I mean, I was pleasantly surprised by your Jackson. I haven't seen it in a while, and it yeah. was nice to see you go up against Atmu, who also plays as Jack, and had to use the main in order to deal with your Jack. Right, so. I understand we had a little bit of a jack-off situation, which was fun in its own right. But then you made him uh, transition back to Leo. But then uh, uh, transition back yeah. to Leo. And uh, it worked out really well for the most part. And then finally you start catching up and getting ahead. And then they finally were able to uh, adjust and we, we saw the result there. Yeah, the last, um, the last few games were just kind of really uncomfortable because Abu really did not want to deal with lows. Like the low periods were frequent and numerous. Mm -hmm. And I was like, uh, well, I could just start using 441. I could just use 441. And it worked effectively to a certain extent. I got a couple of missed inputs. And there was one where I got the spring kink against the wall. And then I did down back one plus two instead of down forward one plus two. I was like, ah, damn. Um, yeah, I, I, I saw that too. Back. I was like, why is he doing down back? And I was like, you know what? The only thing I can think of is just getting confused with the. Inputs, yeah. maybe, you know, switching sides and getting too too conditioned to do down forward when he was yeah, really in second I definitely, side. Yeah, I definitely messed that one up. Because uh, that was my game. I was like, ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Um, but no, Admu definitely ended up just kind of straight up beating me in the next couple games. Um, I I won early in the set. I would win entire rounds just with like because Admu would uh I would round I would hit Admu in the ankle Fight. down back one and Admu would just back to back. back. After a first couple games, I was like, okay, uh, well, I know this is a weird this typically, so I start adjusting. I do down back one while standing to down back one, dash forward, down back one, and like started like trying to find timing to approach because uh, Abu would approach with quarter circle four, uh, quarter circle four one, would approach with like I think down back four one. I'm not really sure. I need to the lab and lay a little bit more. But I started getting a feel for low timing. Um, but later on, I started really giving up lows in order to try to trade damage, and it was not the best game plan. Um, but yeah, that was fun. I, I glad a lot of my like theory crafting and like thought experiments started paying off. As I said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, totally understandable. Right, we're seeing here um, between these two players, between Sensei Blaze and Future Beats, saw that Sensei uh, Future Beats taking a more aggressive approach here, and we're now seeing the uh, uh, coming out of the flash. Oh, Ooh, I thought that was a, that was supposed to be a spin, but didn't have enough uh, frames to get out. There we go, ultimate tackle. Just going for the punches here again. What's oh, going no, on? Can Sensei Blaze like not break the tack? Nice, I'm going to do with tackle starts to use the back one and up forward four to kind of stop him. So Apparently, Future Beast thought he was playing hard up for a round. Okay, really doesn't want to do it. Nope, down for a while. Okay, wow. Future Beast on fire here already with a no round brown. So I know Yoshimitsu has some tools against uh, Paul, right? I think he, uh, Yoshimitsu can comfortably punish Demo Man and Phoenix Smasher, so you probably won't see too many of those uh, unless he does them unpredictably. Um, I am going to predict that over the course of the set. Sensei Blaze is going to allow Future Beats, not allow, that's the word I'm saying, is going to push Future Beats into smaller buttons because Sensei Blaze is going to extremely heavily punish like the 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 death the death fist 
the Devil Man's because I think Sensor Blades is gonna find the times where Future Beast wants to do it and lock in on it. And like by the time game six or so rolls around, it'll be more risky for Future Beast to use them. Uh-huh. But that's just a random prediction. I don't know where that came from. Get ready for the next battle. 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 I have apple juice. Uh, Dragon's Knife, let's go. Nice, uh, well-rounded stage here. I do not have orange juice pockets, I apologize. I know it's more correct to have orange juice than apple juice. I apologize for my, uh, inability to live up to your standards. Uh, One thing about oranges here, uh, my... In-laws actually have an orange tree, uh, and uh, we've been grabbing some fresh fruities off the tree every once in a while. And let me tell you, organic oranges that have been tampered with by uh, any chemicals is so good. Round two. But I digress. Fancy plays here with the rounds. You sure want Azure to be your mod? Azure likes grape juice. I guess the question is, what kind of grape juice? What kind of grapes are you talking about? If they're uh, fermented into wine, I like that type of grape juice. There we go. The grape and the throw. Look at the okay. Look, we, we got little shenanigans going on. The antenna are like throwing me off so hard right now. There's only two of them. Why are there only two of them? Why are there two of them? Look at the little, little, little back dashing by Future Beats. It's like, yeah, I got, I got these. I got a sway back character and I got the crew. Round three. Fight. Does anybody know what uh, controller Future Beats is playing on? Is he playing on That's a stick, the pad? Oh, wow. Ammunition, though. Hit? He plays on hit. Oh man. No idea. That's why I have oh, no, it's Yoshi Oki. It's Yoshi Oki. No break on the 1 plus 2. Oh no. Oh wow. That was. That was a get that blue shit out of here moment. Child Mr. J. Beach Beast absolutely should have that round drop. Look oh at that God. wake up hop. Okay, interesting throw. Okay, look at the size step threes here. Oh, what? Oh my goodness. Look at the cojones on Future Beast. No, not Iron Mountain? It's like you gotta make sure you're blocking. Nice. Whip shoulder to punish. Okay, we got the pressure here. We can go to it. I knew it. I knew the flash was coming. Oh, too oh, far. Just range of force creep. Oh, you got delayed. Future Beast has done really, really well not whiffing in this matchup. Like, I was just sitting there wondering, like, okay, Sensei Blade is going to get a whiff punish, but then I noticed, like, Future Beats just, just isn't whiffing. Mm -hmm. It's not even that, like, Sensei Blade is waiting for a whiff punish, there's no whiff punish to be waiting for. Future Beats yeah. is playing a spacing game very, very well, and is, um, bullying, kind of, right now. Yeah, I think, the, uh, you know, pretty much uh, some, some things that Sensei Blaze is doing well is interrupting, uh, but, like you said, the whiff punishes are not there, because Future Beats is not giving him many, if any, opportunities to do so. But folks, uh, we do have a, a little bit less than three minutes remaining for the channel predictions between the two players. So definitely put your vote in, throw in some channel points to support your favorite player, character. If you don't like a particular character or player, throw some points in for the other person. Even if you don't know. Right now, Future Beats looking to be the underdog in this set against Sensei Blaze. And 
And of course, to keep in mind here that Sensei Blaze is not a first Dan. Definitely way above that level. I think at least Ryujin, if not Titan King. I believe Sensei Blaze is the Emperor Titan King. Round one. Fight. <laughs> Oh, oh, look at that! Throwing up the down for two. Evade the second hit. It's got, you know, that that's that's an indication what? of a high crush. What is this doing? Perfect. Oh. Perfect. Round Seven two. golden letters. Fight. Oh my God! Look at the duck there. I think uh, Sensei Blaze is now okay. Good duck. Okay. Both of them displaying their knowledge. Oh, you going to no sword stance on that combo? That's pretty cool. Here we go. Oh, trooper roll. That's such a good one. Damn it, rage. Oh, nice. Ooh, flash to interrupt the rage drive. That's sick. Round three. Nice. That's such a risky. Get that blue shit out of here. Risky, but. Mentally damaging. No dog. Nice partnership. Consistent. Oh my goodness. Good job using the armor move to uh, confirm the whiff. Oh, unfortunate. Round four. Fight. Oh wow, look at the counter! Oh, there's no wall there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, nice power crush there by Future Beats. Tackle! It had a lot more range than I expected. It would be really nice to simply be able to just escape the tackle in the, the get-go. I'm breaking the throw. What are you doing here? Oh, yeah, nice. there it is. Don't drop it, please. There we go. Very nice. Final Good comeback round. there. Fight. I just had a thought. Why don't Yoshi's use Kencho more as a neutral? Nice whip punish. Man, just out of range. Future beats punish here. Look at the damage. Oh my god. Look at the damage. Look at that. Nice oh. patience there. Future beats on point right now. I know, he's, he's looking to finish his set quick. He's like, I'm tired, I'm gonna go sleep. I know that feeling, honestly. Oh, but there, you know, sent, uh, Future Beats here. Three, three matches already in convincing fashion. I don't know if these two have played before in any fashion, but you can definitely see that Future Beats has had some Yoshi experience in some shape or form. And then Sensei Blaze, I'm sure he's had many an encounter with, with Paul. Is there a um, really good Yoshi in Florida? I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't say that there is. It's, there's there's gotta be some uh, Yoshi players. In oh, Florida. dude with a hoodie. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. He's oh, fine. dang. That. Yeah. Him? Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, he's fine. If you're gonna get Yoshi experience against anyone, it's probably him. Yeah. yeah you can see, that, you know, Future Beats' his matchup win rate personal on ranked is sixty five percent. Oh yeah, he's comfortable. He's very comfortable. That's funny, that's uh, uh, that name, Dude with Fight. Hoodies, is hilarious. Does he always wear a hoodie, even during the summer months? I think I, I lost the Dude with Hoodie in the tournament once. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh trying to go for the punish! Try to punish that string. Okay. Get your beats checking with the chat. Round two. I fight. Don't really know enough to 
enough about you so you can like, okay, why aren't we seeing this or that? This matchup seems like kind of uncomfortable for Yoshi. Like, how do you, how do you as a Yoshi player keep Paul off of you? Doesn't Yoshi have a Master 4? Yes, he does. Round three. Fight. Magic Four uh, combo is actually pretty strong as well. Uh, no punish on the shoulder there. Okay. Oh my goodness. That's your play. Right. Losing opportunities to punish appropriately. I'm gonna say something that may or may not be. Considered. Oh, what the hell? Nice. I'm gonna say something that may or may not be considered as a uh, I think Sensei plays. Wait, does Sensei play play law? I thought Sensei plays play law. Yeah, Sensei play is in the special law here. Round four. The law, Fight. the law, Paul matchup is very, very good. Oh my goodness! And you get a, you get better, better lows to harass with. No break. Oh hey, yeah, Yoshi doesn't have a kick jack. Nope. Two players, two characters in this game do not have a proper kick jack. Oh. Good KO. Hey, show some future beat. Man. Future beats 4-4 four, four, with four wins. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. I don't yeah, think we've seen like Sensei plays like with any, uh, yeah. any good answer against Future Beats Paul. I feel like this should be a character switch. You think so? I think he'll uh, try out uh, the law and see what happens? I don't know if he will, mm -hmm. but I think he should. Because at this point you're not, you're, you're not finding purchase. Like, what is, what is the reason for you to continue in this situation if you're not finding purchase? Like, at least take a step. Like, I don't think Sensei Blaze has picked the stage this entire set. Like, at least take a step back and, like, choose a different character and see if you can gather more data that way. So that's what I did against, um, that move. Like, I lost him to Jack. I was like, I'm seeing some stuff, but let me see if I can replicate it on, uh, his enemy. I saw the same things I already back to Jack. So, like, just take that second, go to law, see if you can find some sort of purchase, some sort of, like, answer, something to hold on to. And if you find that you don't like that other pick, but you get information, great, fantastic, stick with it. Well, I mean, you might need to just move. Like something. All right, so I've been uh, notified that the fours in Future Beats tag is actually A's, represented as A's. Future Beats, ah! Future Beats, A, A. Future Beast. Ah! Alright, got Round it. One. I will remember that for the future. Fight. Oh, nice counter there. Buffed in the elite race, recent patch here. Counter the buff. Oh, hi, Wow, nice. No sword stand flash. KO. Good. Good catch there. Good version. Round two. Let me see if I can fly it. Fight. Hey, something just happened. Let me see if it'll happen again. Good break. Oh, nice. Good combo there by Future Beats. Oh, now is good. Good patience here by Sensei Blaze. Not trying to challenge. Patiently waiting for the launch. The break again. Good block. Oh, good but block. doesn't come in. Punish. Oh, no. No, you're dead. Sorry. What a punish, but okay. Is that supposed to be a punish? Three. That's a punish. Fight. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
and since he plays, may able to uh, get on the board here in the set. Nice punish. Gets hit by the second hit of that string. A break. Looking good. Nice down one. That one is a really good round closer. Strikes quite well. Safe on block mid. Oh, I pinned out. Oh, got combo. Nice. Whip punish there. Flash is so fast that it can catch him with a punish on that recovery. Nice, okay. Cutty Boy is looking good. Nice combo. Mix. Don't count call out yet. Oh, yes, we can. We can call. Count him out now. Nice. Good shoulder on that. Wait, is Yoshi Roomba more disrespectful than Keyshard? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I think the Roomba is fine. It's a new, it's a neutral pop off, in my opinion. I personally dig the Roomba. I like the Roomba. I think Roomba's cool. All right. So, uh, Sensei Blaze here, preventing future beats from. Obtaining five wins stops the bleeding just a bit. Let's see uh, if Beats is going to have some, right uh, now. some adjustments or if Sensei Blaze can continue this. Azure has to be having the worst day right now. He has to look at Yoshi and Paul on his screen at the same time. Ready for the next battle. Oh, hey, it's Jumanji. It's the Yoshi expert. Hey, Jumanji, how do you like this matchup? Where's the ball? Round one. Fight. And uh, we were graced by uh, one of the Yoshi gods, Jumanji. How's it going, Jumanji? Look at the down for two at the same time. Oh, my goodness. The hive mark. Oh, my goodness, yep. Don't, don't be touching Yoshi's ass. You gotta be careful. It's happening. It's party time. Oh, man. The future beats. Damage. Not out of it yet. The rope. Nice oh, punish. Oh, could have finished the round. Don't. Oh, I know. Oh, my goodness. God. That hurts. Round two. Could have launched the Iron Mountain. Chose a different punish. And paid for it. That's my folks. Nice punish. Look at the damage from that string. No! Not quite. Not enough. Yeah. No! Not happening this time, though. Try to go for a full cut. Okay! Great. Okay! Okay, we're, we're, gonna, we're gonna call it even. We're gonna call it even. Call him out of the trooper roll. So, question, what was, who has the fastest rage drive in the game? Fastest rage drive in the game? The third, oh, rage drive? Yeah, I thought it was Yoshi. Yoshi Mitsu's is 14. Similar to the CB2. Raw race drive, I'm pretty sure it's Steve. But Steve's fastest is uh, 14 as well. Oh my god! He dropped it though, and he got flash for troubles. Oh, oh Fang Wei is also uh, 13 Fight. shoulder, right? Fang? Yeah, Fang's is 13. Keihachi's technically is like 14 or 15, but it can come out in 10. Now, uh, Steve's rage drive is 14 frames. It seems to be this a normal Sonic bang. 
Wait, Sonic Pink is 14? I thought it was 13. KO. No, it's 14. Final round. Zafina's Ray Trap is also 14 frames. So I, w I really want to say that uh, Bang may have the fast one at 13. You know better than that, you should have killed him! Oh my goodness, yep. I believe that's guaranteed uh, after the one throw, so you cannot escape it. If you try to get up, you'll get launched, you stay on the ground, you'll get hit by the CD1. There might be roll? a window where you can side roll and might miss, but I don't know the timing of that, if it actually works. I don't think um, it works. I think it only works if you roll immediately to the left. Like, it has to be like awkward angle camera shit for it to work. Yeah. Like, I saw I Musician play up against a, um, not Paul, but he went up against a Josie player. And all he, and when he got the one throw, he did CD1, but she rolled the other direction as soon as the throw was over, she just rolled. And CD1 whiffed, and she got up four three plus four ready for the next battle, in battle, the back. Battle. So I'm assuming you have to like right win the animation and just roll to the left. <laughs> <laughs> Round one, fight. Interesting response. How's that I got hit. Nice. What a low kill! But, but he dropped the bag. No, he didn't. This is the bag. Oh, good luck! Oh. I think uh, he probably should have gone for the fake out. Fight. I know. I mean, Future Beat's definitely aware of that situation. Oh. Hi. Oh no, this is gonna hurt. Oh, never mind. Oh, the bag. Commentator's hurt. Bag hot pocket. Oh my goodness. KO. Round three. Wait, isn't that fight one yeah. minus twelve, not minus thirteen? For who? Yoshi. Isn't his down four one just minus like his down four one is like the first thing? Isn't that just yeah. minus twelve, not thirteen? Down for one is that minus? That down for one was like minus two or three. Yeah, you're talking about his mid down for one, right? Yeah. What? I still know this the frame. KO. Oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, see unblocked. Round four. Uh, I'm pretty sure Fight. Yoshi's down for one is just like a standard 13 frame down for one. Uh, it's a standard 13 frame minus four on block. Oh, okay. So that was like, why did you just do down one plus two there? That was like... Oh my goodness, look at that. Use the Iron Mountain to go underneath the string. That's so Okay, side step one. Oh my, look at the conversion. You should be ready. I think this has happened a few times. Oh, could have flashed. It doesn't take the list. Oh, that's it. That's it. Nope, it's alive. KO. Oh! Wait, you. is that actually Final just, round. you can't do anything about that? I don't Fight. think you can. I, Again, you get the side roll, but it's a unique timing. Yeah, it's a very unique timing. It's very weird to side roll. Yeah. Because is that only roll. at the wall, or is that just a, in general? Just in general, because you can do it for free anywhere you as long as you roll to the, I do roll to the opposite direction. Oh my goodness! Oh, look at oh my, oh my god! Oh my. Jeez, every guess of blocking yeah. is incorrect. 
every time he got up, he was like, guess, 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 exactly. guess. <laughs> That's why Paul uh, really thrives at the wall, contrary to some people's belief. I mean, he's got a legit mix-up game. You guess right. You know, you can go to town, but if you guess wrong, it's it's going to be a hard day for you. And you know, sometimes the way Future Beats plays, uh, he doesn't play with, with any fear whatsoever. He'll, he'll challenge you. He'll throw out shredder kicks. He'll do... Iron Mountain, you know, anything, you know, if you risk it and it works, great. If it doesn't, you know, he doesn't think of it as a bad thing. He'll just keep trying. The unshakable mental is like such an in insanely strong weapon. <laughs> as we're saying, you know, watching Yoshi players having to guess at the wall. Yep. Honestly, maybe uh, Sensei Plays would opt for a wallless stage, right? We haven't seen these two players play in Infinite, have we? Not that I've seen. Well, my wish is my command. All right. Well, there we go. And I'll say that, folks. I don't know. I may have special powers, but... Uh, yep, you are officially a genie. You are now a god. How does it feel? Feels great. Feels great. Feels good. Good. Love it. That's why uh, the, the chocolate bar that Nikki got me is a God Diver. I know it's Gold Diver, but it has God. So. Oh, there we go. No walls to worry about here. We can play freely. Like go for the back sweat. Oh, no, no. Back fist. KO. Round two. Fight. Nice catch there with the double kicks. Oh, with the back three. Nice. Oh, delays it. It's traded. Wow. You should be trying to go down for two. Oh, get stabbed! Round just stood two. there. You just said it took You know what? Ban that effect. Ban that specific hit spark effect. Because I couldn't see the sword at all. I was like, what yeah, is we happening? We got concealment going on here. Oh, wow. You chased him down with the Iron Mountain. Where are you going, sir? Okay, nice. Okay. All right, Sensei plays doing work here. Round four. Infinite stage looking to work out a little bit better. Watch your whips. Everybody trying to do something. There you go, Dave. You gotta be careful. Watch your whips. Okay, Sensei plays trying to do a little pressure here. Ooh, good catch on the second hit. Another good catch on the second hit. Cutting them legs up, no breaking the throw! Okay, sky roll there. Oh my god, look at this. This is place of oh, oh, what the hell are you doing? Oh no. Oh no. Oh yeah, I knew it! I knew it! Final The future beats! Fight! The future beats! Oh my goodness, you, you gotta love it. I mean if you ever watch your future beat play, you have to expect that, right? Look for an opportunity to make a comeback. Future Beats is ridiculous and crazy. What if they made Paul's down for 2 minus 10 and Tekken 8? I they would laugh so hard. It would be my favorite thing in the world. They might as well make uh, Pop Beats minus 15 all around. Oh my goodness. Amazing future beats here. Very crafty with his resets there. Uh, by the way, the TSA has ruled that peanut butter is a liquid. 
what? Well, peanut, peanut butter is what? A liquid. Peanut butter is a liquid. Okay. Yeah. But so, what uh, about butter itself? Like uh, milk butter. I think it's a liquid. Okay. Oh, yeah, uh, four ounces of peanut butter on the flame. That's it. You can't have 4.1 ounces, only four. That's okay. If for some reason I was that desperate to have peanut butter, um, I, I may as well seek. I might as well ask the flight attendants to get me some peanuts and I will grind them into peanut butter. Just give me a mortar and a pestle. That's allowed. It's a solid. <laughs> I'll grind up some peanuts, make peanut butter for myself. Give me a crunchy, you no, know, uh, give me give me some bread. Like, sir, you can't have liquids. Can I have a tomato? Yes. Can I have this blender? Yes. Can I have these spices? Yes. Dope, I got marinara sauce. Let's go. Well, Azure, there's this very simple process. You guys just check it in. Right? You want to bring your peanut butter to take the shell down? Check it in luggage. Check your luggage at the gate. Round one. You're good to go. Fight. Okay, listen, if I show up to Combo Breaker with the wall from here, are you guys going to trust me? If I you come to Combo Breaker with a Waffle Maker, I will know exactly who you are. Based on. He's <laughs> walking through the venue holding a Waffle Maker. <laughs> yeah, now I, I uh, suspect that they'll have you know, people checking bags and stuff like that, so. You won't be able to pass through the metal detectors with it, but they may allow it for some reason. If I check the bag, then it's fine, right? Yeah, if you check the bag, you're fine. Yeah. Oh. Or just wear a t-shirt with a waffle maker. We'll know, I have know who you are. I have you? One. Okay, there you yeah. go. Wear that. <laughs> And now I know who you are now, boy. 100%. I have a hoodie that has like a waffle coat in the back of it. Ooh. Oh Here we go. Thank you, Blaze. Look. Oh! Nice! That was a good setup. Now, don't count future beats out. Oh, you can punish! That's okay. So close there. Always gotta watch out. I was just gonna find like one old woman who's just like standing there minding her own business, but she just so happens to have a waffle maker. She's gonna walk up and give her a hug. Hey, Lavo, what's up? Oh my god, Charter Beats. Honestly, Lavo, I think what you should do is pass out some t shirts with waffle makers on them and confuse the heck out of us. That would be a nice life. Like, where's Lavo? Uh, where's Waldo? Where's Waldo? Oh, nice! Just dip down a little bit for the little uh, full crouch mix action and caught the win there. Very nice. How much does it cost? Get a t shirt. Alright, so Sensei Blaze here has a little bit of a of an uphill climb. Future Beats sitting comfortably with three wins above Sensei Blaze. Just needs four more. Can risk playing a little crazy from time to time. Sensei Blaze definitely needs to be on point. Using some of his own mix ups, capitalizing and block punishment. Can you imagine, as a person, in order to avoid a puddle, you have to do that same Get kick that Yoshimitsu is doing? And again, it amazes me to no end that whoever comes up with the names of these moves, in, in some respects it's genius, in other respects I think it's uh, very lazy, right? So, double cat spin. I mean, for Chloe's uh, running 3 plus 4, double cat spin, I mean, come on. Not, Is it not, worth not paying $260 for a meme? Fight. Well, it's up to you. Only you know the, the value of the meme. Look at this combo, nice. Oh, and caught him on the unscaled there. That's a place you could attack, but you're, when you attack, you're kind of in danger of your demo, man. I have a better idea. 
Oh, no, oh, missed the whip. Oh, to... KO. Future Beast, like, let me try it. Round two. Fight. Oh, pin her up there. Oh, had the Punisher, didn't believe. Okay, oh boy, any problems here. Nice. Look at breaking the oh, balcony. Full combo, let's go. Going to the wall. Nice. Look at the. Oh, nice. could've, oh. probably could have gotten the, the, the back turn. Oh, oh uh, wall, the not wall. Gonna deal with that anymore. Oh, watch it. Still, still in Future Beat's favor here. Okay, good. Good catch there. Round three. Two one string. Fight. Safe on block. Counter hit. Uh, guaranteed. All around cannot interrupt either. Hello. Sorry, I'm gonna hear me. Hi. Hello. Alright. Wow, future beats here with the pressure, but Tensei plays with the sweeps. Getting out of the of the wall situation. Oh my goodness. Tensei Blaze trying to dash up after the jab and future beats need to run the down for too. You know, but you have to remember too that Future Beats also has a down for too. Great. You know, Future Beats definitely throwing out more of those than Sensei Blaze. A nice four. response Fight. there, catching with the chip on the wall with the rage strike. Punish? Nice, here we go. Oh, power crush. No punish on the Iron Mountain and no break. Oh, they're adding a really, really good one. Oh, so play this carefully here. Nice. I thought that was going to be a rage drive, okay. but absolutely... Break and throw. You need to be careful. Oh my goodness. Got it duck a little bit too long there. I have not seen him CD1 Death Fist yet, although I might, maybe I missed it, but I did see him back 2-2 two -two it. Mm. But not the, the Phoenix Smasher. But I could be wrong. You know, I could get a 50 pack of Waffle House stickers for $7. What'd you say? I can get a 50 pack of Waffle House stickers for a $7. A 50 pack of Waffle House stickers. What are you going to do with those? I think the better question is, how are people going to respond to what I do? Get ready for the next battle. battle, battle. What are you planning on doing with those? <laughs> you know, if I knew, then it wouldn't be a surprise. If someone mods a Waffle House, why hasn't someone modded a Waffle House stage yet? It's a Mugen and it is in. Um, and I think oh, there's round a mod one. I don't think it's a complete yet. fight. I'm surprised they haven't made a Waffle House stage in Tekken 7. I mean, just the pure mods can do it. They've done everything else under the sun. Yeah, like they've created entirely new stages. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like they I made like a uh, like crazy uh, Egyptian stages, and it's it's beautiful. Nice, good break. Oh my goodness! Super oh no, you gotta break them too. Oh, okay. Oh oh. Round two. I had the, the spin there. Fight. I don't think Sensei Blade's trying to go for the jump back, but then Future Beat just mashed. Caught him out of the air. Nice. Guaranteed. No, that is not punishable. Nice interrupt there from Sensei Blaze. Oh, gets hit. Oh, no! Could have gotten the uh, follow up after that. Thing. That was counter hit. Maybe, maybe it wasn't. Um, counter. Oh, yeah, since he, uh, Future Beach was like, nah, I'm gonna chill back here. You come to me, I'll throw in a nice solid mid. Fight. Future Beats on match point. Nice down for two. Oh. 
good punish. Nope, gets bopped in the head. There you go, good reversal. You cannot reverse that, that's fine. The ball doesn't have a secret uh, reversal tactic to punch it, but you cannot reverse it. Oh my oh, goodness. Oh boy. That's it, the huh? classic. Let it charge up. You see that Paul Phoenix does not have sleeves, so he can't destroy his sleeves in Tekken 7. Tekken 8 he can. Hi, how you feel about that giant trailer? How you, how you feeling? Are you, are, are you... Are you... Are you Jimmy's Russell thanks to that Jack trailer? Oh, I'm sorry, I, I missed your question there. I loved I loved Jack trailer, honestly. I'm a, the Rage Art definitely set it off for me. I think it's a really cool one. Uh, I, I would love to see more of his original moves, see how they now interact with the opponent on hit and block. Of course, trailer is a trailer, so I can't expect too much, but at least I got to see what the jackhammer looks like on hit. And to my surprise, I was like, darn it, it doesn't knock down anymore, but let's hope it gives him some massive plus frames to introduce uh, mix-ups. And I hope the stance, the new stance, actually has a low built-in, or maybe you can transition into standing moves. So like, stance into down back one would be his normal down back one. Or something to that effect. Uh, if it's all highs and mids, then it, it may not be worth it outside of combos. But I do like that one uh, power crest. It's similar to uh, almost like the Devil Jin's, uh, you know, ancient power type of deal. Mm -hmm. And and it, you can activate heat. That's crazy. Reminded me a lot of um the Gigas. Uh... <laughs> I don't know what it's called, but the Gigas Fire Crush, where it's just like, oh, if they block it, you get a dual launcher. Mm -hmm. Round oh my yeah, goodness. it's the howling. That's the Fight. howling. Uh, why did that hit? I don't know, but we got some place here with a different fit here. Trying to show us the drift. Oh, kind of has small punish on that string. Feels good, Blaze. It feels like we need some more uh, citrus. K.O. Round two. Got little, are those fighting? Is that cheap? These almost close. Oh no, I, I'm like this. This man can hide in the forest back there. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Kill. Okay. Oh, the pressure. Round three. Fight. Yeah. I really like the mixture of Jack 8's, uh, you know, he's got some prototype Jack moves, Gigas strings, and other moves. Boom. Oh yeah, he's, he's ready for this. Oh my goodness, oh, Sorry about that. Get this. Uh, uh, right. You win. Oh, like, did I just catch you having fun? That part, that's all I saw. <laughs> Alright, potential set point here for future beats. Looking pretty good here. It feels like Tekken is going to definitely either pare down the roster a lot or consolidate characters that won't be coming back to introduce new concepts. So we know we have an idea that Gigas isn't coming back. We have an idea that uh, Devil Jim won't be coming back because a lot of his things have been spread out. We have an idea that um, we didn't see anything significant in the Nina and Kazuya trailers. Uh, but we can um, we can act on existing knowledge that could be likely to be coming back. So maybe they're trying to like shrink the roster to a point where they don't have to re-release four characters like Lei and Anna, even though it would make a lot of money. Or if they do release Kuro characters, they change up their gameplay enough to where they're like. An extremely Round unique one. character. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, Labo, if I had to read Sensei Places, I'm, uh, reply to Azure. Can't do that when Paul is more safe, safer than the president. <laughs> Um, oh, sorry. You, you've seen no, that video, right? Yeah. The one with the AI president play like Tekken. Yep. Oh. 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 No, but uh, to your point, Lab, I do uh, agree in, in some of your points there about the consolidating yeah. the cast and because of uh, showing uh, various moves uh, from all the characters in the 7 I kind of wonder if it. Oh my god! Look at the key charge. Okay. This guy is powered up. Okay. Like, we're, we're totally worried about the Yoshi Roomba that we're, we're forgetting about the real, the real, the real pop off here. The real Roomba. Oh, oh my, look at the, oh, almost counter hit there. Sensei Blade's like, no, bro. Not like this. Okay. Imagine just frames key charging. Oh, look at the key charge. Okay, yes. Yeah, starting to see some I... of this. Since he plays here, also chose his game because this is his kind of. Uh, I, I don't know what how he would put it. Not to say his power up stage. Oh, my goodness. Like press. Flash. Again, did the trick. Break. Oh my goodness, nice catch. And round hit itself is killed. <laughs> Fight. I know, right? You're in the transition to the rage part. God, there you go. Set point here for future beats. Nice. Oh. He's looking pretty good here. Tends to play not in rage yet. Can die by one hit. But... Wow. Oh, wow. There we go. Oh, is that gonna re work? No, too far. I knew it didn't dash in. No, no, help. Help. Oh, wow. Feature oh, beats get that away. I felt the most. Don't charge that they blaze. He's down 9 to 3. Oh, nice punish, death max. Wait, is that, wait, is that actually a punish? Yeah, it is, yeah. 14 yep. frames. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh, no. I just all need a 14 oh. frame launcher. Oh. He doesn't, but that's okay. DJ Beats here, this is enjoying himself. He charged. There it is. Why does Paul need a 14 frame launcher? Because he. It? No, he doesn't. Everybody <laughs> says that. No. No. Zhao Yu needs a 14 frame launcher. No, she doesn't. Yes, she does. What the fuck she else? She breaks the game. What no, do she mean? doesn't. No, it doesn't. You haven't fought a good Xiao Yu yet, have you? I have fought a good Xiao Yu. And no, I mean annoying. a genuinely good Xiao Yu. Not a cuddle Xiao Yu. What are you talking about? Okay, Karosha, okay, I can give you that one. Fair enough. What the fuck else is that? Like, listen, that character pokes the shit out of you, mixes you up, shit's fucking annoying. I get it, I do. But like, on paper, that character needs something. That, okay. Paul does not need a 14 frame mid knee launcher. That actually tracks to the other side. Yes, I know. He's had it since season one. We're not gonna act like he needs it, though. He's been had it, though, so it doesn't matter. I mean, we're not gonna act like he needs it, though. He can have something oh. for a long time. It doesn't mean he needs it. I can play in the filler set, by the way. Law doesn't okay. need us. Law doesn't need a 14 frame unblock launch punishing uh, mid. But the thing is, Law's is launch punishable if you don't confirm it. So, what, 3 plus 4, 4? Yeah, you can, get, no, you can die if you just do it for no reason. It's minus 13 if you block it, but yes, if you don't duck it, yes, it's Yeah, dead. that's the point. The fuck but, are you doing against that knee? 
literally nothing because it's minus nine. Exactly. That's what I thought. Because it's a good poke, but yet it has crap range, and you can just step it. It tracks to the weak side, doesn't it? A little bit, not fully. It's enough to matter. Yes, it is not to matter, but it's not enough to be like, okay, this is, this is scary. Like, no. no. I'm wearing my communicator. It makes me happy. <laughs> I feel like I'm a Power Ranger now. Wasn't uh, the Yellow Ranger's uh, name uh, Aisha, right? Is that the one? Yes. Oh. I'm pretty sure it's Aisha. She was nice. Aisha also ended up being the Yellow Turbo Ranger at the beginning of the Power Ranger Turbo. Got it. Um, she's a very sweet girl. She's short. She's very sweet. She looks a lot bigger. Did you get any autographs while you were out there? I had a number of autographs. Oh, okay, awesome. I have never I been to a, a, a con like that before where I got to meet uh, voice actors and like that, so... You definitely, definitely should. I'm, yeah. I'm, yeah. I nearly cried when I talked to Marty Grabstein. It was, it was like, kind of overwhelming, actually. Uh... Cause, you know, uh, Marty Grabstein was the voice of Persia Cowardly Dog. And it's unreasonable how big of a part of my childhood that character was. Like when I started talking to him and they started doing the courage voice, like I started to tear up. It was it was crazy. Like I, he did a video like for my mom, like talking talking to her in the courage voice. Like it was it was really overwhelming. It was so cool. Uh Opaka, I don't know if you heard. I met Matt Hardy and Mick Foley at this one. And Mick Foley's getting old, man. It's been so long. Oh yeah. Like, you're getting I'm old. actually I'm actually still surprised that um, Ric Flair is still walking around, you know. I mean isn't he like in the eighties or something like that? Like he's he's, he's way up there. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, anybody know what Ric Flair's uh, real age is? Oh, hang on. Uh, I'm going to link some pictures. 74? Dang. Homie is old. 74. Uh, Jeez. Oh boy, Shy the Ruler. Haven't played you yet. That'd be fun. Shy the Ruler is very fun to play. I ran into him and ranked uh, a few times. Don't be rash. I'm ready to lose. Let's do this. Your butt is, Your butt is mine. Round you got the MJ mod, folks. Fight. First is seven filler set. Thank you so much. Uh, we are waiting for uh, Meech and Memphis Legends to return home from work. So we got the set going. Otherwise, we would have started with that set. Alright, there you go. Oh, we did punish them. Staying above. Pressure, power crush there. No good job. <coughs> oh, KO. Oh. 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 Round Shana two. Really looking good here this Fight. first round. Okay, nice. Don't punish there. Power. Oh wow, using the infinite kicks to interrupt by catching the low. Very smart. Okay. Wow. Okay. Good low there by D Green. Round Down back three. Feet. Fight. Make sure to uh, create a second account for Fang and be like down back three is life. What are these dudes talking about? They're talking about Sailor Moon. I noticed, but like, huh. they're. I'm not gonna say they're objectively wrong because Mars does kind of clear pretty hard, but like, we're not gonna do this. We're not gonna turn it. Mm. Ah! I think you have my three. I'll say that I am a fan of Sailor Mars myself. I mean, listen, like, you can't not be Round a fan four. of Sailor Mars. Everybody who watched Fight. that show when they were a kid had a crush on Sailor Mars. We get it. We're, we're past that point, alright? 
Uh, uh, hell yeah, was... Mr. Pox. Okay, hold up. I can't oh. tell DD Green's reacting to the game or our conversation. I'm reacting to both. Way. I'm reacting <laughs> to you guys first. Focus. But like, like I, <laughs> I am not gonna be made to feel like I am like lame or boring for being a Sailor Mercury stand. It's not happening. I mean, Mercury you're not is. lame for boring for liking Mercury. You're not lame for boring for liking Mars. No one's boring, boring for liking any of the Sailor Scouts. Uh, the wrong. If you like Pluto, you're fucking mid. So, I don't even... Okay. I, I'm gonna just... I, I'm not even gonna focus. I want to talk to you guys while I'm playing. I know I'm gonna get my ass kicked, so I'm gonna have fun with this. So, we're gonna run fan again. But again... What? If you, if you like Pluto, you're mid. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Unfortunately, I don't like Pluto either. I mean, yeah, because you have common sense. Like, I think Mars, Mercury, Jupiter. I think most of the Sailor Shams here are just like kind of safe bets, except for like the extraneous ones. So, like Mars, Neptune, Uranus, like, it's, they're just kind of out. Hey, is there a sailor Earth? Since there's been sailor planets, right? Except for the I mean, the that's moon. what that's what Usagi is. The sailor Moon is technically just sailor Earth. Oh, that's okay. That's just funny. Like every single sailor has is a planet named after a planet, except for Earth, which is Round considered one. the moon. Oh my god! Where all the planets have moons as well. So it might be wrong. Yeah. Sailor Moon, but sailor Earth. I mean, I have not been keeping up with the, the, the Sailor Scouts or anything I, like no. that. I mean, I guess the closest thing that Sailor Earth has to a Guardian is to okay. see mask, but I mean, it should, it's supposed to be Serena. K.O. Round 2. Also, can we talk about how 4 kids just made Neptune and Uranus, like, really close friends? Oh no, they, I think they made them siblings. We're not gonna, we're not gonna just sit here and let that happen. Um, in the English dub, and depending on which dub you watch, they're, they're either three. cousins, or they're siblings, Fight. or they're just acting like cousins, but they're really lucky. Either one. Yeah, no, no we're not gonna let that happen. Yeah, a minute. <laughs> ah, it's like... Oh. Uh, 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 uh. Can, oh. Can we talk about, like, how the Sailor Sentai were, like, KO. honestly, the most relatable Sentai to Round the American four. audience? Fight. They were forced to be, to an extent. I don't know if they were forced to be. But I feel like more American audiences would have, like, definitely vibed with Sailor Scouts over the Rangers. Come on, Rangers. This combo by Hidden Rain. Come I was ready for it. I was ready for it. Foreshadowing. <laughs> Oh, what a challenge, I, I tried to dash block and dash, but that didn't exist at all. <laughs> Wait, don't after dark, after dark hours start at like 9 o'clock? I feel like Tim is a little late. I think we get on here far before that. Well, it depends on the time zone. Sometimes uh, there's still light out at 9 o'clock. But definitely after 10. Yeah, we get very unhinged very quickly. It largely depends on who's on the couch, though. If if Mr. J is here, we tend to behave. If it's me and like maybe Azure, or if there's not somebody who's gonna keep me and Azure in line, it, it gets real off the wire. How off the wire? What happened one, there was like this one week where, uh, what did we talk about? It was really unhinged. I think we were talking about like, It started off with waffles. 
which most conversations with me tend to get ready for the next and i don't know what happened between waffles and the end of the conversation but it was just like i had to stay we went off on many me, tangents like... here and uh <laughs> i don't know who who brought up uh sailor moon i i just kind of went with it with people talking about sailor mars i'm like yes we all have yes. a common interest with Sailor Mars. I can obviously put my input on this. Oh my god! Round back one. four immediately. Fight! I uh, that. Look at that back four. Back four is such a good move. I leave that up. It's such a like you know you're playing oh my, my game. Oh, I got hit with that. Perfect. Senpai, uh, not Senpai. Uh, Shin Panda Round definitely hit two. me with that the other day, and I was just like, that's Fight. dirty. Why are you making force? Look at the dash. Just, I, nice. The catch there with John. Why are you going? Why are you going? Hey, that was damn. Mm. KO. Over the hop. Round three. I'm sad that it's with. That's the other moving to America. Wasn't that a thing we were talking about? Jacqueline, when are you moving to America? Okay, fair and valid answer. Yeah, I, fair and valid. I yeah, man, win. That one, that was kind of cool. Oh my god, look at the Hitman shuffle. KO. I'm not mad at that. That was, that was looking that was pretty cool. Are we gonna go fund me Tiago to America? I'm down. Well, all you really need is just a plane ticket. Get him in here and then if somebody can house him. Then uh, should be good to go. Nah, it gets more complicated than that, especially if it, it plans on being a long stay. Because then you have to like either get an extended stay visa, a green card, and then have to send Oh, yeah, yeah. I was just thinking financially, you know, not, yeah. not logistics in terms of uh, the stays or pizzas and all that stuff. Yeah. So Tiago says, winner, you pay me for it, so I just don't Final buy round. financial stuff. Fight! I was trying to cut that, but okay. Oh, today I learned that uh, as a tourist in Japan, as of October 2022, you no longer need a visa. Oh, you can say that. Okay, so that was last year. That's good. Yeah. Uh, like, so, uh, last like 90 days, right? I don't think you need a visa at all now. Before you know what I read on the embassy website. Which is huge, because me and some buddies are trying to spend two weeks over there. Yeah, that's good. The moment I tried the slide. Oh, wait, let's try to live all of my anime fantasies. Oh, counter! It's alive! Nice oh, face. I knew it! No! I felt it coming! Uh, foreshadowing! What the hell are you doing, DD Green? Oh, no. Oh, unfortunate. You've been very unfortunate. That was a rather slow mo, but yet smooth criminal hit. Exactly. Spoiler alert. I do need to look up the visa requirements for Taiwan and Korea. Uh, going off another tangent here, uh, anybody playing the new Resident Evil? That, uh, that just came out today? I am not, because I didn't play the original Resident Evil before. But, I will watch someone else play it. Yeah, I'd rather watch somebody else play I'm terrible at Resident Evil games. Like, I'm the guy that will waste it, the first clip on the first zombie and have no ammunition for the rest of the game. Like, I'm definitely not that bad. <laughs> I'll run into these zombies, like, trying to give them hugs from, like, after, you know, during a family reunion. No, that's not me. I can't do it, folks. I'll watch. Get ready for the next battle. 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 I'll watch, uh, I'll watch Azure stream.
When's the next God of War stream? <laughs> Good Round question. One. Good question, Mr. Pockets. Fight. Even I don't know when that's gonna be. Man. I've just been so engrossed in Tekken and IRL. It's funny, um, you know, when I go to, uh, I go to Dave & Buster's once a week now. It's really fun. The best part about it is trying to get those, those jackpots and bonuses. Like, I've gotten accustomed to uh, winning some of the games pretty easily. Some of the games are locked. Like the spinning game where you, you spin the uh, pirate's uh, wheel or something like that. The ship wheel that you see if you can land a thousand or five hundred. Those are fun. And then Nikki, she's just incredibly hooked on the phone. Like, I'm like generating tokens for her to play and just trying to strategically do things and the spots to push down more fun. It's, it's fun to watch because I can see that this game is something that brings her a lot of joy. Fight. And I was like, let me save, no, let me save up money to buy a phone pusher game. Okay. Uh, play all day. Uh, actually, now that I think about it. A motor to kind of start things moving. You would typically, you probably need a little bit of like a slow motor and then kind of move the shelf back and forth. And then Round kind of three. Everything. Fight. Yeah, I think I can, I can make that happen. Yeah, Shy the ruler looking pretty good with the lead. Are you swinging? Oh, nice. Oh my god, at a magic four. The return. Round four. Fight. Yeah, game, uh, game works. You know, definitely had its time, but Dave and Buster's is still pretty hopping around here. It does kind of get slow during the week because, uh, with the exception of Wednesdays, which are half price off on all games, not just uh, non redemption but redemption games, you win. Uh, it, it generally you see uh, small pockets of, of crowds during weekdays, maybe during dinner time, perhaps. And then weekends. Weekends are pretty popular because people are, people are out and about. Evenings are pretty happening. Um, but I, I like to try to avoid those crowds. Yep, weekdays are great. Like I said, Wednesdays are awesome just because it's, it's half price off. And uh, 12... 12 chip games are equivalent to like six chips and basically can play twice as much. More bang for your money. Get ready for the next battle, battle, battle. And I, I guess the uh, the more uh, rewarding aspect of Dame Busters is if you sign up for their, their app, you get to level up based on the amount of chips you spend uh, and then you get uh, new rewards as you level up like sometimes you'll get more bonus chips after hitting a level you'll get um, discounts on food free appetizers all the all that good stuff so not like we really go there to eat but it's it's nice that, that they try to give back fight one time I got um, a number of ten dollar coupons and at least they're trying to give you some of your money for Who's better at air hockey? Um, Nikki is actually pretty good at air hockey, and that's just because I'm really, really clumsy with air hockey. You know, I, I tend to try to hit the puck in her goal, and it ends up coming back at me, ricocheting back, and I land some big goal, right? So I'm not really uh, focusing on guarding uh, my goal when I'm trying to hit hers, and it just ends up uh, returning back to me, and she gets the point. Uh, because of my uh, my failure to uh, look at my own goal. Try to debugger the puck. <laughs> oh my goodness. You ain't wrong with that. Oh, are you swinging? Got a down back run. 
Now, uh, another challenging game that Nikki and I play is also uh, Mario Kart. Or whatever that, that Mario game is. That's actually pretty fun. I'm so bad at Mario Kart. And Snake Fang, thank you so much for the raid, Party of Five. Hope you had a wonderful stream. Thank you so much for the raid. Mm -mm. I, I need to come up with a shout out to man. Let me find the bot. The moment I was ready for the wall, he didn't made it. And uh, Mr. J, thank you so much for the wonderful compliment. Hope you've been doing well. Fight. Definitely sending his self goals is nice. Definitely enjoying life. Right. Oh, good duck there by shot. Counter hit by DD Green. Oh my goodness, nice Hitman too. Going for the Oki. Nice. The one pet peeve I have about Dave and Buster's, and I know this is not uh, our fault or most people's fault but every once in a while you can play those games that have those balls in them where you got to throw at the targets sometimes they don't have all the balls it's like it comes up with four or five when you're supposed to have 20 and you can rapidly throw but if they limit those balls if some balls are lost you gotta get uh you know uh cheated out of the game the experience so that that's kind of a pet peeve we play that game and we find out there's hardly any balls to make the uh the goals, and then it's like, okay, forget about it, I'm done. And it's also nice to get uh, free games, you know, people putting massive credits on a, a non-redemption game, and to forget about it, or have to leave early, and then I come in and sleep in and play some of those uh, shooting games, which are fun. Reminds me of uh, Call of Duty, Time Crisis, and some of those other games are, are pretty cool. I need to figure out how to play that on my computer. What game? Oh, yeah, yeah. So here's a secret about Skee Ball. Skee Ball is actually nice because there is a special hack with Dave and Buster's where if you have a fraction of a credit or chip, you can spend that fraction on Skee Ball because Skee Ball will accept any value that you have in your card, even below you know what you normally can do with the game. So if you want to empty out your card. Play a game of ski ball, you're good to go. People are like, I, what do I do with point three chips? Well, Round go play ski ball. Fight. Dance Rush Stardom. I've never heard of that game. They do have a combination of DD, uh, DDR and uh, I'm sorry, DD Green. DDR and Pump It Up. Uh, you remember the shuffling phrase high? The what? Round shuffling. Three. Shuffling? Fight. Yeah. No. Uh, that's what started with like DDR except for shuffling. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I would say most of the uh, Dave and Busters are, have standard games. A lot of them kind of don't deviate from the collection. Every once in a while you see some that Based on size and location, they may have less games. Like for example, our, my home location has a, a number of coin pushers, but there's some other ones in uh, the Phoenix area. Uh, they may have like three or may have none, right? It's, 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 it's kind of weird. And some 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 places only have uh, two of the Mario Kart arcades, and ours has four. So I'm really happy with the location that I live at because. It seems to be the, the bigger one out of the three locations that I have gone to. I Fruit mean, Ninja isn't isn't Dave and Buster's. Um, I haven't played that game too much. I like round one. They should be more Come back with the gloves or something. Because uh, wait, what'd you say? Who said they missed round one? I missed round one. Round one's decent. It's a good arcade. Um, in terms of round one, uh, we are getting a Street Fighter Six machine. 
and Michigan very shortly after June 2nd. That's crazy. Your product makes Michigan interesting. Yes, we are getting that. On top of that, we are also getting a new DDR Ace update for DDR A20. Basically, it is the 21st anniversary coming up shortly. So Damn. pretty much they're going to be adding more songs to it. And they're nerfing the timing on the arrows. So it's not going to be easier. It's going to be that much harder. You know, now that I think about it, why isn't there... Oh, so now... Okay, okay, Shy. Okay, let's see what you do then. Let's see what you do. What is oh, happening? with the law. 666 six, six, DD Green. Oh my goodness. I need to reevaluate my life. Round one. Uh, Fight. I would like to see... Uh, the Rhythm Arcade game in the vein of uh, Rhythm Heaven Fever. Because I played a Rhythm Heaven cabinet when I went to. Uh, when I went to. Not Momokana. That con up in uh, National Harbor. Uh, I don't remember what that was called, but they had a Rhythm Heaven machine, and I'm like, aren't there more of these? And both, both of these players here are Tekken King, right? Okay, I'll give you that one. You ducked it. Good job. Are you trying? I think that's a KO. Round two. I would play Rock'em Sock on the bottom. They, life. yeah, they used to have it at my location, Mr. Pockets, but they took it out. I remember seeing that one time ago, but they have the Hungry and Hungry Hippos one, which is kind of cool. I think I took the place of the rocket socket. Some ping pong, um, four way, definitely take Pac Man and older arcade games. KO. Round three. All right, Shy here looking pretty good with the law. Oh, nice counter. That worked. Well, yep, counter hit. That's why uh, Law does quite well with some counter hit traps. That worked too. <laughs> no! Oh, what a duck. Real largest pack, man. They have this fishing game called Wicked Tuna. I played that a few times. I got the uh, like 572 tickets one time catching the big tuna. We found out a nature Round man. Four. I should die. Like, I never go to the grocery store. He just goes out and comes to the store. I miss the SS. Oh, you could have did it too. Oh, nice catch. That was crazy. I went to West Point, and the Commandant of Cadets, when I got there, would always tell this story about this time he drowned a deer with his bare hands, and no one could figure out whether or not the story was bullshit, but it was so consistent that you can't just help it seem they actually did it. I need to confirm the truth. I can confirm the truth. K.O. Like, everyone who has ever Final gone through round. there while he was at the school Fight. has told the same story, and it's lined up, so I'm like, is, is, can he make this up? Well, I, I guess there's always a saying of, uh, picks or didn't happen, right? <laughs> oh, nice catch. <laughs> oh, foreshadowing here, what we got? Oh my god, magic four. What the hell? Oh, that hurt my soul. That magic four was clutch. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one. Alright. Shy knocking on the door of the victory. That was that was clutch. I'll give you that one. I'll give you that one, Shy. And plus, by the way. Fun fact about me: If you play, if you play me in a mirror match, I will suck at the mirror match. <laughs> That's a fun fact about me: I suck at mirror matches. <laughs> Can start meeting DD Green during the final round. That sounds good. Oh no, <laughs> fight in progress. Are we not going to see the final round? I hate when this happens. I hope they fix oh, this. No. Why is it always the potential final match here when you just don't see it? Now, because it's the filler set, I'm not going to bounce it like my normal set. 
I'm just gonna let it rock and we can just talk about other stuff. Relevant question. Bye. I feel like Tekken is really late to the party and I'm converting to lobby style rooms. Oh, it's too late now. I'm. It's fine. I don't care if I get muted about it. I'm just saying, like, I just like the mirror matches, but I love it. Um, no, like, like Guilty Gear Strive has a dope lobby system. Yeah. Like, they have a dope like rank system in general. Like, they yeah. have an like open rank thing where you could like sit down at a station and someone can. Like, that's dope. Why doesn't Tekken do that? Like, is there something restricting Tekken from doing that? Like, I, I don't know. Like I really don't know. Honestly, they yeah. should really take um, a chapter out of a lot of these games' books and make a lobby. Really, they have the time. They have the resources. They can do it. If other like, Tekken if other, lobbies go up yeah. like six people, nobody ever does it those because it's, it's 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 too long to wait. Or you could be running like concurrent games in a lobby sound system where you have like more than one setup so you could get like eight people in the lobby and nobody would be sitting there waiting for games if they're talking yeah. to each other in voice chat they could just be like hey i want to play this man really just game. did that this man and really just did that this man really just did that dang what did he do <laughs> he did yeah, raw dss in front of me just did the rage drive version out of it and then proceeded to sit there and just do down forward three and it popped before it. I'm like, are you serious oh dang you got hit I got hit by it. I'm like, who the hell just does that? Apparently, one person named Shadow Ruler. Beauty Green just turned into DBZ or Bridge King Kai. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Hi, who is your favorite Power Ranger? My of favorite things. Power Ranger of all time? Like, of all time. I mean, okay. I feel like I should say don't say Tommy, but like you can't just not say Tommy. I know it. It, it definitely is Tommy. I mean, I, honestly, when when I grew up watching Power Rangers, um, I didn't really have a favorite out of all five of them. And when Tommy the Green Ranger came out, I mean, badass Power Ranger that was evil and then turned good, and then even you know when he became the White Ranger, uh, that that was awesome too. So just the fact that he came back through several iterations of Power Rangers and uh, you know I would say he, he's probably the, the goaded one. That's the most legendary Power Ranger of all time. Yeah. You're like, right. you, you, you can't talk about Power Rangers without you know, mentioning Tommy Oliver or Jason David Frank in general. I like, The all black Power Ranger? What does that mean? mean Zach? Zach? Was it Zach or Adam? I, Which one are you talking about? Zach, and then there was Adam. I think he was Asian. He took over Zach in the, the, the next iteration of Power Rangers. And after that, I don't know. I am mad at that one. This trip. All right. This looks like Shy won that one. I really yeah. like um He decided to stay back and wait for me to go to Miami. I fucking win at him. That was my fault. Good job. I'm going to say that my favorite Power Ranger, outside of Tommy, Obviously, Tommy's the GOAT. My favorite Power Ranger of all time has to be uh, the red SPD Ranger, who at that time, uh, <clears throat> I had forgotten, uh, I had forgotten, um, uh, I had forgotten about Turbo, which was, Turbo was actually the first Power Ranger, uh, was the first Power Ranger series to have a black red Ranger. But at the time, I'd forgotten that. But the SPD Red Ranger at that time was like my first exposure to like a, a black Power Ranger. And like, I looked up to that dude so fucking hard. SPD ended up being like my favorite Sentai for a while. It was just so fucking cool, dude. Like they were like space cops and like they're like, they could just like arrest people with their badges. And like, they, it was such a cool, such a cool series. It was dope. And there were so many like good plot like good plot points during that show too. It was it was fantastic. Oh man. Oh, I gotta do some more cleaning. Why didn't Common Rider come back? Like America really fucking dropped the ball when it came to Common Rider in the States. Like they had a 
what did they call it? I think they called it Dragon Rider or something. And they just completely dropped the ball with it. It was just awful. They didn't know how to make a good Kamen Rider series. I feel like they should try it one more time. Like, make an actual good Kamen Rider series. Like, you, you have... Kamen Rider has so many good series. You have so many pick on with, like, really, really good aesthetics and storylines. Just don't... Don't drop the ball, please. And, like, America's really good at making shows that are focused around one main character and then utilizing supporting cast to buff up that main character. And they have all of the time in the world to just take their time with it. Pick, pick a common writer that is simple to understand aesthetically and just write it. Just write it. You will be a-okay. Just don't mess it up. It might be too much to ask. I should I should submit a script to Hollywood. I have so many ideas and I just never put them down on paper. All right, who we got now? Uh, right now we have Meech versus Memphis Legends. Uh, Meech is ready, but we're still waiting on Memphis Legends to return home. So I, knew, I let I him know. You I let him know. Yeah, I'm let him let him know. So uh, whenever he gets home, we'll be able to start. So we can still kind of converse a little bit until uh, we get our second player on the. You know what's funny? Uh, Memphis plays against Rick a lot on Monday Night Tekken, and every time Memphis gets in the queue for Rip, he says. I'm going to be home in 10 minutes. And half an hour later, he's still not home. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Every time. That's crazy. Well, I, I hope that this might be an exception. Thank you. Oh, and bless you, DD Green. Sorry yes, about thank that. You. Um, yeah, I hope it's an exception, but uh, he did say that he'd be back home around 12.20. So, mm. well, we'll see. And I'll just get things ready for the next set and then we'll just uh, kind of chill for a bit until Memphis uh, arrives and we'll get started. I was rolling through my YouTube, like the, you know, like the splash page on YouTube where it just recommends a bunch of videos to you. I was rolling through it and there was this video that said all Christian denominations explained in 12 uh, minutes, but I wasn't paying attention and I just saw a bunch of colors and I was like, is this a Green Lantern video? They're all just like little circles with colors, and I'm like, are they talking about the green? Are they talking about the lantern core? That's funny. The all black Power Ranger. I don't know who that is. I think he meant. Uh, I think he meant. Uh... The Gold Ranger? No. No. That's not... All black Ranger. I think he meant Zach. Zach. Oh, okay. Oh shit! Oh, I know who he might be talking about. Hey, Future Beast, was it the one with the gold trim? Is that what you meant? Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I thought it was the Gold Ranger, right? The and Zeo. Yeah, the Gold Zeo Ranger. Yeah. Uh, was that who you're talking about? Damn. Now that I'm thinking about it, America dropped the bag with a lot of Sentai series too. Damn, the I love I love the return of Jason too from uh, Power Rangers. You know, he he definitely came back on more than one occasion, and he became the Gold Ranger. Yes, he did. Uh, they, uh early in Power Rangers, a lot of Rangers ended up reprising their roles pretty frequently. I don't know why they stepped away from that. Like, it's like, I think the most recent time they did it was like Super Mega Force, which is awful to watch it. Um, the new Power Rangers are just awful now. The last Does anybody know when the new Power Rangers movie is supposed to drop? The 30th anniversary one? Yeah. It should be sometime in April. Okay. Also, um, April 15th and the 16th, Mom is threatening me at knife point to go to the stinking Mario movie, and I hate it. It's gonna be fun, dude. Don't. It's gonna be a fun movie. 
I promise you it'll be fun. Chris Pratt's gonna ruin Mario for me. I'm sorry. Ignore Chris Pratt. There's gonna be so many other characters in that movie that you're absolutely gonna enjoy. And just like enjoy the movie for what it is. You're you're going to watch a video game movie. Odds are it's gonna be ass. But just enjoy it for what it is. It's not that I'm not going to enjoy the movie. It's more so I'm going to be mad because Chris Pratt's going to be Mario and he can't voice act. This is whatever. We can't do shit about that. The Sonic movies have been good and they are the exception. We're not going to pretend like they're the rule. Because I get for every Sonic, there's like five other movies that are just dog shit. Case in point, the Monster Hunter movie. Oh, the Monster Hunter movie. Wasn't that the starred by that uh, Resident Evil yep. person? It was Mila Jokovic and another... Yeah. God, what's his fucking name? Every time, every time this dude puts his hands on a video game movie, it is ass. Keep them the fuck away from every IP. I am sick of him. Because every time he makes one of these movies, he changes the story, he casts his wife as a lead, and it's awful. I'm not dealing with it anymore. I'm not... Also, Ready Player One is not a video game movie, it's a book movie. We're not going to do that. Also, wasn't Ready Player One kind of butt to begin with? No, nah, it was fine. It was passable. Ready Player One is not a video game movie. It is a book that is about video games, and they made a movie about it. Yeah, you guys better watch out in Michigan. Uh, I, I, I shared a news clip about some rare fungal... <laughs> infection going on in the up somewhere so gotta watch out hope hope you caught up in your lore there i tell people wait wake up wake me up when it's cordyceps that's another off okay last of us was good because it was a series and it had time to develop the characters not a movie yeah i i like the uh, the series on hbo right now going through uh i was waiting for some new episodes to drop and they finally did so i'm gonna check them out this weekend is the Gears of War thing supposed to be a series for a movie? I don't remember. Uh, I don't know much about that. I know they were doing some Gears of War like live action thing. Um, let me think. What was the last good video game adaptation before Sun? I don't even remember. Cause there weren't, there honestly weren't really any good ones. Like Sonic was a breath of fresh air. Was there one before that? Resident Evil was blah. Before Sonic One, when it released. Well, yeah. I think I remember when Sonic uh, trailer came out. Like everybody was giving the backlash on the what Sonic looked like. That they changed it and uh, it oh, yeah. made it better, right? It was disgusting. <laughs> Thank him, Sora seventy nine. How dare you spit that awful? I'll be right back. We're not, we don't, we pretend the Super Mario Brothers the movie doesn't exist. Sonic was saved that day, yeah. I mean, I'm glad that uh, people voiced their opinion on it and it was like, oh, yeah, we gotta listen to these people, we gotta change it. Actually, now that I think about it, if we put anybody but Angelina Jolie in Tomb Raider, did that movie is pretty good. Like, the thing about it, if we had put Cameron Diaz into Angelina Jolie's place in Tomb Raider, would that movie have been as good? Angelina Jolie carried those movies. I think we'll ever see like a remake of Tomb Raider. Unlikely. Because like, if you think about Tomb Raider, actually was Uncharted a good movie? It was okay. I, I, I just saw it for what it was. I never played the movie or the game rather. So I just watched it and it was not bad. Hmm. Yeah, I don't see it. Resident Evil movies weren't good. Tomb Raider might have been the last one that was actually passable. Is there anything else? I didn't actually watch the Silent Hill movie. 
Silent Hill movie is good, misses the atmosphere of the game. Oh yeah, I remember watching the first one, I think. Did they ever come out with a second one? Good night, Tiago. Be safe. Alright, yeah. Have a good night, Tiago. Thank you so much for coming through. It's been a long time, my friend, so... Hopefully we'll get to see you every once in a while. Okay. Yeah, I figured they didn't come up with another Silent Hill movie. They probably didn't do them well domestically. Yeah. Oh, the tech. Oh, God, that for the Tekken movie exists. Ugh. Yeah, I, mean, I, I wish they would have done done Tekken better, or they just not make the movie at all, right? I yeah. mean, the the anime series, or you want to call it that, the short series was nice, but let's just keep it as that. Don't don't try to make it live action. His name was Street Fighter, right? I mean, that was just yeah. that was terrible. It it was more of a comedy than an action film. So if you take it as a comedy, great, have your laughs. Does Battleship count as a video game movie? No, it was a board game before it was actually like a video game movie. But hi, how can you forget the best line set of all time? The day that Bison came into your village was the most important day of your life. But for Bison, it was Tuesday. It was Tuesday. <laughs> that is a godlike line. It is absolutely a godlike line. But, or even better, Watch the Ono version of that line before he left. Here, I'll post it in the chat for you. Oh no! Like I haven't. I didn't actually watch the MK movie. What the new one or the or the, the new old one? one? Uh, the old I heard it was. Good. I know the old ones were decent, but I haven't heard from. The new I, one was terrible. I mean, like if you watch it for the act action sequences, fine, but the storyline was trash. To be fair, the storyline in the old ones was dog shit too. Like what the storylines in the old ones were like, like Sega Genesis era MK3 storylines. They didn't really have any, and they were just kind of making it up as they went. Like Jack's arms weren't cybernetic enhancements; they were just like casings that he just pulled off with his hands when he got pissed off. Yeah, exactly. They were just. <laughs> just, it, it was like an exoskeleton, more or, more or less, you know. But then, Sonya walks into the Sonya walks into the dungeon, sees Jack, see Jacks on the table with the ar and things on his arms. Assumes that his arms got cut off and they got replaced. We had no reason to believe that anything had happened to him. He just was there with metal arms. This new yep. character that most of the audience knew nothing about if he hadn't played the games, but like. In the games, Jack's arms are like just cybernetic replacements. Yeah. Now the new Mortal Kombat movie was it was kind of true to that in some sense, but how he obtained it was definitely not true. Right. I'm like, y'all can't forget that. Y'all cannot forget that. <laughs> the other the other phrase on the Street Fighter movie, uh, I remember when M. Bison, uh, when when Sigat was incompetent or something, and M. Bison called him out. Right. He said. I guess we didn't see that, did you? Right? He covered his one eye and making fun of his patch. I thought that was hilarious too. Yeah, those oh. those movies are movies, and then the game itself was awful as well. You want me to describe the absolute worst anime movie to you right now? Sure. Beyblade movie. The first one or the third one? Or the there was second? a Beyblade movie? Yes, there's three of them actually. There was a Beyblade movie? Hang the hell on! Yes, there should be three of them, I remember. Like an right. animated one or a live action one? There was one that was live action that, was, that never got released in theaters, and then there were two animated ones, and both of the animated ones were not that good either. That's crazy. Right. Diddy Green knows. He's an encyclopedia of... Well, I have a few friends of mine that are trying to get back into Digimon and Beyblade for, like, jokes and... Well, the Digimon's are trying to get competitive-wise, but the Beyblade shit is just for shits and giggles. Oh, and... Beyblade can be pretty competitive. I... 
I know. But I'm just like, Oh no. my fucking god. <laughs> Jerry Bruckheimer is the producer on the Beyblade live action movie. Yeah. Oh my oh. god. Yeah. You learn something new every day, huh? Jerry Bruckheimer? A lot of actors do a lot of movies, my friend. We're talking about the same person who did Top Gun Maverick take you on a Beyblade movie? Bruh, if that came out, I have to see it. I have to see it. Like, not even, like, on the I think it's gonna be good. I just have to see how it goes. Like... I feel like Jerry Bruckheimer is one of the few directors, uh, producers in Hollywood who would actually be willing to sit down and like watch at least a little bit of Blade Bait to kind of get the gist of like what the show's about. How would I write a Beyblade movie? If I were to write a Beyblade movie, I would need it to start. I would need it to start during the tournament. It would need to start midway during the tournament. Just don't even, don't even give background. Drop the drop the viewer into the middle of the tournament. Use the first fifteen to twenty minutes of the movie to kind of naturally give context. Like you don't need much context. Hey, uh, these two teams are fighting. Uh, there's a bracket shown in the background. This must be a tournament. Uh, these two fighters are standing next to the giant bowl, and they have these things in their hands. These things are tops. They start to spin. Oh, now you have the entire concept of Beyblade distilled to you in five minutes. Now take that, roll with it. Start building, like start building stakes. And we know they are in a tournament. We know that the tournament can be won. If it is won, why is it? Why can it be won? Like, is there a prize at the end? Who needs a prize? Is it for pride? Is it just like a monetary goal? Like, is there, are there stakes for the characters? Like. Is it like Yu-Gi-Oh! Season 1 where Serenity needs eye surgery and Joey needs the money? Like, like you can do stuff like that in like the first act of the movie and then take the second act, introduce like an ex incredibly strong but morally dubious team. Just like, just roll with anime tropes. You can actually, you can actually make a decent Beyblade movie. And then you have like Oh, they're gonna mess up the CGI, fuck. Damn, the CGI's gonna kill them. Oh no. They're not ready. They can't they can't properly animate Bit Beast. They're not ready. Oh no. Alright, so just an update folks. Uh thank you so much for everybody waiting. I'm gonna wait another until twelve forty AM Eastern. If Memphis Legend is non responsive or uh, hasn't arrived back home yet then i'll make this executive decision of asking somebody to fill in for him uh, so if anybody's interested in playing a set against meech uh, please let me know and then we can have you as his replacement or memphis uh, legends replacement i mean the worst case scenario would be if you need to fill in for a quick set out can do it i guess okay no i appreciate it Didi Green. thank you so much for being available here I tried reaching out to him a couple of times here he hasn't been responsive and i'm just gonna say well and, and 12:40. Um, if he's still not uh, gonna answer, or if he's not home, then I'm just gonna let the set rock with you and, and Meech. So. Okay, no problem. Uh, John Snoo, uh, the the player is uh, is Meech. Actually, funny uh, you ask, cause he's also an Oscar player. So I know you got your set um, versus uh, Jolter in, in April. Uh, but uh, Meech is also an Oscar player as well. But yeah, just uh, while we're uh, provide a little summary for next week's set, uh, we actually have uh, a number of, I would say, returning players since we haven't seen them in a while and some really good sets here. So. 
Starting at 6 p.m., well, or tentatively speaking, we got John Snoo versus Roaming Hitbox. 7.15, we got uh, Luke Johan versus Zilla. I think Zilla wanted the hands. Uh, 8.30, we got Havoc versus Student Driver. Uh, 9.45, we got Sense Sonic versus Mr. J. Mr. J making a return on these first attempts as well after some time. Played in a few, uh, maybe a few weeks ago, but uh, now coming back. 11 p.m. Uh, Future Beats versus myself. I'll be making uh, a presence in the first attends next week. And at 12:15, we have Will Get Paid versus Raylo. Raylo also making a return, and Will Get Paid um, looking to uh, join in on the fun once again. So those are going to be some exciting sets next week. Deciding to stop being a, a task monster for a little bit to play in the first attempts. <laughs> yeah, originally I wanted to set up uh, uh, Raylo with Sensonic, but he, he and Sensonic have uh, not the greatest connection, so I decided to uh, hook him up with Mr. J instead. Funny thing about where I live now, uh, I actually have access to playing players in Hawaii now. Uh, I get four bars with them, so it's it's really interesting to see how well the internet works even across the Pacific Ocean. Our players in Hawaii, do they just like have a very different style? No, I mean they play somewhat solid. Like I mean, when I when I was playing with Katarina earlier this week, I ran into a law player, and it, it was a one and done because I ranked up on him to Emperor, uh, but it. It didn't seem like he knew how to play. He just kind of was looking to catch me on uh, keep out and and potential uh, button presses. But I was rather patient because I wanted to see what they were going to do and waited out in a lot of situations, caught him with some mix-ups, punishes, so on and so forth, and that was it. So, um, but uh, other times, um, I think I played one other. Oh, the Steve player, I think from Hawaii. Um, like, I think his name is uh, Damascus or, or something to that effect. I, I forget the name, but he's super solid. Ran to him a while ago. Um, really, really good Steve player. But I, I think I, I want to say that's his name, but I, you know, quote, don't quote me on that. He added me as, as a friend later, and um, I actually ran into him when I was using Marduk. <laughs> Marduk. I can play Pit Viper. Yeah, I have not played her yet. Although I would like to play against her at some point. Oh, oh Future Beats wants to play Raylo? Okay, I can always set that up. Kazumi. Kazumi is a character that is very, has a very simple game plan, is a very effective game plan, and uh, is, is a very good character at allowing you to play really good fundamental tech. Damn, future, uh, uh, Azure wants future beats as well? Okay, look at this. Izumi is one of the characters of all time. You are absolutely right, Pocket. Izumi is a character in the Tekken 7. Hi, do you agree Kazumi is a character in Tekken 7? She is a character in Tekken 7, yes, I agree with that. It's a fact. And Kazumi is one of the characters of all time, right? She is a very good character, yes. In my opinion. She's a very solid character. For some reason, when I play Kazumi, I feel very restricted. Would she be a good female character to pick up if you're new? If you're new, I recommend you playing uh, some... Now, it depends on how you want to play. If you want results, and you want a female character, pick Katarina or Chloe. Don't pick Kazumi. If you, you want to learn movie. Tekken, you pick Kazumi. If you want to just mash and get results, pick Chloe or Katarina. 
if you're looking for the female cast. Why don't you say Julia? She's DLC, so if you're new, you typically don't buy DLC. Mm. Yes, Kazumi would help you with fundamentals. But if you're looking just to try out the game and just do whatever, Chloe and Katarina are, are, your, are your bays. Yeah, Julia is not that beginner friendly. Honestly, I, I think you would need to have some fundamentals and her, uh, her motion based attacks aren't the, the most friendly. Like you got your down, down, forward, whatever. And it, it's not, um, like I said, I would say beginner friendly. Alright, so one more minute here. I still have not heard back from Infants Legends. So we're going to prepare for our set Meech versus DD Green. Um, so I'll bring both of these players in. And if by some miracle Memphis Legends comes in, I'll get them in, but uh, it does not look to be the case. Go ahead and get started here. And I, of course, thank you so much for everybody's patience. Really appreciate you uh, listening to us. Just, just chill and chat here about various things. And then uh, we'll finally get to their last set of the evening. Alrighty. So who does Meech play again? Meech plays as Oscar. All right. All right. I appreciate again your your time, DD Green. Thank you so much for sticking around, volunteering for this last spot as well as the filler set. And uh, best of luck here. Thank you. Know, you. Which is uh, looking to improve, and we'll see how you two do. All righty. Um, I just want to have one more small question. Am I cared a lot to anybody in particular or no? No. You play who you like. All righty. He pulled a future sleeps. Apparently, he, uh, you know, he's still on his way back from work. But I messaged him a couple times just to check up on him, and he hasn't responded back. So, as far as I'm concerned, he he he's not going to be able to make it. So, and that's okay. You know, things happen, and uh, as Lab will predict it, uh, he, he's been. Uh, I would say consistent with uh, not being able to be on time with certain sets, so it's all good. We'll catch them next time. Hopefully, uh, next time will be a different story. Uh, let's see. I'll send another one to you, Meech, in case uh, <coughs> missed it there. Channel predictions are up, folks. Uh, in case you don't know, uh, DD Green really solid law player as well as a connoisseur of a number of other characters and uh, meet here Asuka main definitely looking to come back and uh, grind out the game again one thing I'm looking forward to next week is actually J Evo Japan right I know a lot of players or a number of players from the U.S. are traveling there to not only play in the tournament but also get their hands on the Tekken 8 closed alpha test for the first time. And uh, looking forward to catching people's reactions, maybe doing some live streaming if that's allowed. I don't know what the stipulations or restrictions are with the closed alpha test. I know it's an exciting uh, feat to, uh, to play the game for the first time. And looking to hear what people say, you know, people will probably uh, share their uh, their thoughts about the uh, initial game, and it could be to some potential changes later on. But I really want to hear about it. And that's next oh, week. no footage allowed. Oh, okay. No footage it's allowed. That... Leak. Yeah, some. I'm pretty sure something is going to leak. It, there's no way around it, right? Maybe, maybe some like secret. Discord is gonna share it, right? I mean, if you're part of a uh, a Discord of a maybe famous player, maybe they'll someone will share it in there. Like they're just they're not gonna pat everyone down. But you know, somebody's gonna have like a little camera stuff. That yeah, can exactly. Play. The only thing I can think of is like, you know, they have uh, 
you know, obviously, either they have like closed curtains where people go in and play. I don't know if they, you know, they want to have uh, that that confinement,、uh, or it's just going to be an open, big screen with the game, and people are just going to have to be on their honor to not record anything.、Uh, maybe you go into a room and play. You know, who knows how they they set it up. Yeah, I don't see I don't see Memphis Legends coming in, so I, I tried reaching out. He was here earlier, just just、uh, lurking for a bit, but then yeah, I don't know what's going on. And Planet、uh, Meteor is coming. We're gonna see some、uh, blurry, shaky phone camera footage. Yeah, definitely anything, right? Kind of reminds you of the old days when people were.、Uh, Bootlegging、uh, movies from the theater.、Right? You get the camcorder resting on the the, the armchair, the chair rest.、Um, it, it's funny. Somebody gonna bring in、uh, eye glasses that have the camera in there and record it as they're watching. Alright, Meech is finally here. Alright, man. Again, channel points are up. We got、uh, a little bit、uh, more than five and a half minutes here remaining.、So、definitely、uh, chuck some channel points to one of these players. Yeah, that's right. Ch selling them behind your local barber shop in the cheap street, right? Like they got the DVDs here. They they、um, plastered the name of the movie. Like you know, they just took a screenshot of something and just made a a label out of it, just to make it look official. <laughs> Maybe took a、um, picture of、uh, the poster, movie poster, and just slapped it on there. Funny stuff. I remember there were some people that I knew made a living selling bootleg DVDs. They made pretty good money too. They would make about five, six hundred bucks a month. They would sell like movies for like five bucks a piece and、uh, give a discount for、uh, bundles. It was it was hilarious. I'm like I, that can't be me. I'm not gonna get caught. I can't do that stuff. Ooh, problem skater here, all in on Meech. Let's see what the predictions are so far. Well, majority of the votes here are channel points going to DD Green here. Only one voter so far, but、uh, we still got some time. We got four minutes left. Meech here with a, a course looking like the underdog in the set. But we can't count out、uh, Meech here. He could be winning some good money here if if he wins. Round one.、Right. Feng Wei fight versus Skirt. Good pokes here so far by Meech. Been pretty clean here on the、uh, the neutral game so far. Oh, nice good combo there. Good reversal. Oh, nice float there by Dina Green. Oh, ca catching him with the down four three. Green's here trying to shake hands. Dina Green says no. Oh, and the reversal. No,、oh, drops the rage drive. KO. And the down back three. Round two. Close one for Dee Dee Green. Fight. Meech unable to close it out with due to a miss input. More pressure here by Meech. Dee Dee Green with the low. The low high string. Oh, good power hit there. Another counter hit in the form of Can Can. With pressure. Nice, good low there. Quick low, close it that round. Tied up one piece. Right off the Rick James, starting off. 
Jesus Green here looking good. Pressuring with the power crush. Going low again. Each unable to uh, react. Nice back one there by DD Green. Responds with his own low here to close out that round. Fight. Right, Bath point here for DD Green. Oh, good catch with the recovery kick. No, no combo. No low there. Diddy Green attempting to condition Meech with those lows. Missed the uh, the windmill kick there, or whatever that's called. Diddy Green with the pressure on the poke. Good block, but no punish. No, small punish on that down one plus two. Hey, and then the low there. Me try to go for the side roll. Didi Green catches with the back turn down three. Very nice. All right, so nice little warm up match here. I know uh, Meech was a little bit unprepared due to the fact that he was preparing for Josie. Didn't work out, so now he's got to play and adapt quicker due to the change in character he's preparing for. Good stuff there. Very early in the set here between DD Green and Meech. From from what I remember, Meech plays rather solid in terms of the poke game with Asuka. Doesn't go too crazy with any Kijar setups, although that doesn't mean that he doesn't have any. Just that he prefers to play a more neutral game. Also very good with the reversals. Right, another thing you have to watch out for with Oscar is being ready uh, for uh, for any chickening attempts. Although it's easier said than done. Feng Wei's got a number of unreversible moves, headbutts, shoulders, things of that nature. And the fact that he's got uh, you know, punch Tsubaki himself makes it difficult for Asuka if she gets too uh, punch crazy. Good redeeming factor with Asuka is that she's got her uh, kick Tsubaki Fight. and the punch Tsubaki that are safe on block. So sometimes it's worth the, uh, the effort to try them out. Oh, good counter hit there. And you should making good use of the back fours. Green going for the double low there. Meech does not block. Wow. Responds with a spring kick, but doesn't launch after the uh, the sacred blade. KO. Good check in the mid there with the down four Round two. Meech up one round. Fight. Wow. Almost caught DD Green with a potential launch there. DD Green responds with a back one there. Pressuring at the wall here as DD Green works a nice block. Finally blocking the uh, Corsica forward and one from Fang. And good back three. DD Green trying to shift to uh, the cloud stance. Unfortunately, uh, waited too long and reached there, capitalizing on the launch. Fing it, finishing it off there. Wow, that was a good step from the low. Counter again. DD Green trying to press too hard. And again, there we go, as I was talking about, the punch Tsubaki makes uh, an arrival in the second match. Counter hit. Good throw, throw break. Boom, boom, bado. Nice, good combo, okay. You win. Well done there by Meech. Tying it up. Uh, future beats, yeah. I can set you up with Meech. Uh, I don't know what his schedule is like, so uh, I think we'll just have to coordinate. And, and seeing that you have such a, a long lineup of players already that you want to uh, play against. Like, I already have you for me next week. I got you for Keith B on the 7th. I got you for Mr. Pockets on the 14th. I know you wanted to play Azure as well, so maybe I can fit you in with a double header on uh, on the 14th. 
So we got a number of players that you're already lined up for. So happy to uh, accommodate. Just uh, I need to make sure that Meech is available. And Meech typically can't play until much later in the evening, right? So we're talking about the last set. So if you can play a, a late set, the last set, then we're game. Let me play everyone in Future vs. the World. Oh my goodness, that's hilarious. DD Green wants a run back in Future Beats. Yeah, we can also settle that too, at some point. Maybe uh, on the 21st of April. I'll just, I'll tentatively put these sets down just so I don't forget. Doesn't mean that we won't necessarily change the dates or anything, but I'm going to at least put it down so uh, I can at least arrange it at some point in time. I need to change that. Thanks for uh, checking on the schedule there, Flo God. It's actually now DD Green because uh, Memphis was not able to join us. I wasn't able to get a hold of him and he's been responsive to my messages. Right. So back at it here. Uh, DD Green with the Leo pick. Round two. Let me switch the names here. My Fight. apologies. DD Green with Leo, really good. Oh, hey, yeah, both of them at Ryujin here, so DD Green can make it a little bit more difficult for Meech, uh, but Meech uh, here doing really well with the launches. Nice interrupt. KO. Probably sleep, yeah. Round Probably three. sleeping. It's all good. Fight. But Meech here, nice counter hit again. If only I had- Oh my, look at the reversal! Just flipped her over. Counter hit there by Meech. Wow, amazing here. Look at the pressure by Meech. Meech Green trying to respond back here. Don't whiff. Oh wow. As I say, don't whiff. Now 4 3 recovers quite quickly. Fight. He's trying to go for a uh, launch there. We're gonna launch. On the wall. Nice the combo. Wow. Okay, good jab float. Okay, going for uh, more of a wall carry or anything. Nice step there. A break on the regular throw. I don't get to see Leo's regular throws Fight. these days. Like that move, when I was playing that move, really messed me up. Oh. Like quarters up before one. Yeah, the dab. It's a good move. It's a very only, good move. Only minus 13 and it gives a nice follow up afterwards. You have to be uh, dealing with like Josie or, or Kazuya to make it. A little difficult to throw out because they really launch punish probability. Yeah. Alright, DD Green there scores a win with Leo. Very nice. Alright, so in this scenario, we would see that DD Green would win the typical tournament set. But this is not tournament, folks. This is a first ten, so lots of time and room to adapt. You know, it, it's the, the, the set is still young here. Ultimate counter to Leo is the P2 side thing. Oh, that's how you took your set with D spec last week? By playing on the on on, on P2? Oh 
Yeah, that's one thing I'd like to evaluate further, and I know I haven't done much homework on it, is uh, when you're playing against certain characters, which side is better, Round right? One. I typically, uh, you know, yeah. oh, I, I typically like 1P just for movement purposes, but I challenge myself uh, playing on 2P because 2P, in, in my respect, is on my weaker side, but for some reason I always play 2P on tournament just because it puts me in that pressure situation to do better playing on that side. Now, I should definitely be practicing it when it's not tournament, so I get better at it. But definitely one of the things that, for some reason, I always find myself playing on, uh, on P2 side in tournaments. Oh, nice caster with the Leo Death Fist. The back three clips. Still alive here, Diddy Green. Can he make a comeback? We should be able to close it out. Oh my goodness. Nice whip punish. Rage art. Is this gonna kill? I don't think so. Rather care for sure. Yep. Knew it. Great. And then the mid string. Nice. Good catch. Round two. Fight. Even with that life, you know, Meech had an ability to survive and he green the opportunity within the mix up. Okay. Going for the uh, is that the uh, the that's a K and K stance I believe right the block is the low stance. Nice, good launch. Oh, KO. Uh, four, four, three into block with the crash. Okay. Three. That's very Fight. good assessment there, Future Beat. Makes sense. Oh my goodness, here we go. Alright, DD Green here. Just kind of waiting out meat here. Not looking to overcommit or, or. Oh my goodness. No! Good break! Meat here. Clutch breaker. No. No! Gets hit by the 1 1. Round 4. I think a lot of people are looking for the, the, like the 1 3, the 1 4 string because of the high low. But people are getting constantly hit by the 1 1. Whiff. Nice down for two whip punish. You got one, I got one too, but Leo is now a little bit superior to, to her ability to launch crouches. Oh, tries to go for the trade. Oh, wow. Good read. Final round. Trade in uh, Meech's favor. Final round. Oh my god, so we're going for the Hell Sweep ride. Oh no! Doesn't the string there. No, my goodness, nice choice! Oh no. Sidewall saved by. Meet here, looking out for. Oh my goodness, Z Green with a sweep option. Nice counter! Oh, drops the race drive! Play all again! Oh my god, you're so lucky, Meech. Two Never opportunities. Punished, Jump for joy at the end. Never punished. Let's go. I uh, know, jeez. I almost feel like you kind of have to just pause ever so slightly to get the rage drive after those knockdowns. And Meech is just doing it too quickly. Therefore, just getting the power crush. And those are scary was, moments. Yeah. That was messing me up in my set a lot because I would counter hit forward for uh counter hit forward two and i would mm -hmm. try to do four 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 and i would just get four four and i'm like oh right that yeah see and that's the thing times. for for jack just look at the legs once once they're raised up by the opponent after your four two counter hit you execute the four 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 right uh worst case scenario he has other options that he can use to take some damage although not max damage like four four is when you trade Sometimes the trade animation messes your timing on that, and 
and that's where you had to be particularly careful. But you did well on, on, on executing it for the most part. Um, there were some times where you missed it, and I know some of those times counted, but overall you yeah. did really well with that follow-up. Yeah. If I can get it pretty consistently, that's a large chunk of damage that I can secure on timing. Of course, of course. Round one. Fight. Okay, we're going to the most boring stage in the game. DD Green likes geometric plane. Very easy to uh, to see. No, no crazy uh, colors or, or atmosphere or environments to deal with. It reminds him of himself. <laughs> <laughs> oh, break on throw. Still not in rage yet. Now we are. Can DD Green close this one out? Get the house sweep. Yes, he can. Round two. Fight. Uh, you can take off the Memphis Legend though. Oh, uh, I do have it set for DD Green uh, on the scoreboard. And, yeah, but you uh, have the little note at the bottom of the screen. Oh, I'm so sorry. I totally forgot about that. Thank you so much, everybody, for ignoring that. I missed that so badly. Anyway, uh, let's get back to the match here. Thanks for that note there, though. I really appreciate it. There it is. Oh, yeah. Round three. I felt it. I felt it in my bones. I was like, where is it coming? Fight. Uh, Memphis Legends, I'm sorry, uh, but we had to continue with the set here. It's been, it's it's way too late to really start your set with you, so we had to go with a replacement. Yeah, we're sorry, I mean, we're hoping for 12.15 Eastern, you know, and I thought it would have been like a... a 12, 12, 20 Eastern at the most, but hey, we're, we're hitting like 1 o'clock already, so I had to make the call. You know, I played against um, Azure Play the other day, mm -hmm. and you I had to read on something happening after like the little 4 4 2 1, like the get in elbow string. I had a read that something was going to happen, and I was like, I have frames, I'm going to get there before he does. And I did down forward two, and Azure went into the AOP stance and eviscerated my down forward two. And I was like, huh? <laughs> like, oh, oh, this is down forward two. Yep. That's crazy. Bruh. Not fair. Some of these care some of these characters damn near go intangible sometimes. Uh, I definitely understand that thought. In in, in terms of uh, intangible characters, sometimes we see that in the form of a character called Safina. <laughs> oh yeah. Safina just blinks out of existence sometimes. Also, I don't know why. Tarantula is just kind of a really unfair stance. How can it is? It is so unfair. It reminds me of uh, uh, like a relaxed stance, but except that you can't really float her for a combo. Whereas relaxed, you can for some characters. Round one. Fight. Nice. Good wow, block. Good block. The director is just like, hey, I blocked the minus 14 low. Too bad none of my polishers, including while standing four, actually hit. I know. You gotta have a character that has a pretty low to the ground mid option. You know, just go for like a low hit that hits her out of it and you're good to go. But a lot of times it kind of misses due to her stance and other factors. Oh, I played against a Zafina on Jack. I I hit two one. I'm plus five. I go to jab. Side steps my jab. It launches me. And I'm like, okay. Well, apparently we're not playing by the same rules. Yeah. I after two one, you're only plus three. So is it plus three? I thought it was plus five. No, it's only plus three. Oh, plus well, five is your four or two. 
Oh yeah, it happened there too. I did four two and it hit. Yeah. And I did jab and eviscerated that too. I was like, oh. Yeah, she's well, the thanks. exception to the rule. A lot of times when I play against her, I don't try to take my turn a lot. I, I take my damage and I take pressure, right? I don't try to continually take my offense. She's a she's a character that I rather play a little slowly just because of her evasiveness and fight. If she makes a mistake I capitalize it, but I, I don't try to take my turn a lot after a hit. Wow, look at the combo. I've never seen anybody throw out the uh, the V Ring Circus in mid combo. That was interesting. Oop, Who thought it was a good idea to give Leia what minus nine death fist? Well, it was minus ten, and people were complaining about it. And uh, eventually, they gave her a safe one because it made for really good pressure. Leia was rather lacking in, in the past few seasons, and Fight. they finally made her viable, or I would say not viable, but more playworthy. They've been doing that a lot, actually. They did that with the wrong, they did that with Yoshimitsu, they did that with Leo. Uh -huh. They did that with King. Oh, Josie, nice. Josie got, like, a little bit. Final Josie got, like, a, a, fight. a pat on the back. An extra action going after that. Oh, magic four, but no conversion. Hey. Nice. These characters have pain. Wait, why is that a... Oh. Yeah, this weird sidewall uh, interactions there. The fact that that's uh, an extremely oh. plus on... Wait, is that tracking move a mid or a high? I'm pretty sure it's a high. Oh, spring kick. No, oh, my goodness! Oh, no, it's true. Oh, dropped it! Please? Oh, dang. That's a four. What are you supposed to do there, actually? That's not... Well, while is standing four is typically the go-to for a majority of the characters, um, you can go for a crouch cancel a down back four three, but that kind of hits hard um, just because of the she was not close enough or, or some other weird Tekken issue. But while standing four is typically reliable on a lot of those characters, bigs not so much. Hmm. I wonder if she had like a, a wall standing screw. Uh, oh, you were supposed to crowd cancel. Yeah, see, so even each new. Um, if you crouch cancel into down back 4 3, you can get a better combo. And but Sometimes you gotta risk it for the biscuit, but at the same time, if uh, there weren't any previous drops, then it may have worked out in a different timeline. I definitely would like to see more uh, more throws because you know, Asuka, even though she doesn't have a complete throw game, still can work out from time to time to help uh, change the uh, the pace of the game. Also, reposition your opponent to uh, positions that might be advantageous for the Asuka player. Keep them on their toes. Down four two, still good. Going up from while standing on plus twos. Can cans are nice because of chip damage unless they guess the, uh, the the low block correctly. Back four still very good. Uh, it's all good, Meech. You know, still still kind of warming up, and uh, I don't know if nerves are in play here, but you, to me, you're still playing rather solid. Just uh, I know those drops are are starting to kind of catch up on. On you and, and give the green opportunities to win. So I get it, but try to shake it off, right? I mean, uh, we're all human here. I know you'll bounce back and execute better on your moves and your combos. Yeah, it's just trying to change the timing in the raid traps, for example, right? Like you're, I feel like you're doing them too early and you're getting me forward. 1 plus 2 versus the range drive itself. 
Try to try to change up your timing a little bit on that. Any green, okay? Yeah, it says uh, give him five. I don't know, I'm using the bathroom or gotta go number to two. Off a burglar. Give him some time. So give me five. Meech is getting doing doing too good. I gotta ice him. So, uh, Lab Wolf, do you have Netflix by chance? I do not. Yeah, okay. I, I guess not. apparently they're starting to roll out that change where uh, you can't share passwords anymore. You know, like if, for example, you got a friend that has Netflix and shared your account, or with, you know, it, it, it's it's not going to work unless you do some weird workaround. But they started to roll it out in Canada, and I think they're starting to roll it in the US. But, oh, no. I know. Anyway. Yeah. <laughs> I know those are those are the days of people kind of uh, mourning. Uh, of course, uh, some people are just protesting in some fashion by not renewing. Period. So, but we'll see how it goes. None of the other streaming apps are following suit yet. So, you got Hulu or HBO. You're still good. I personally have not watched much of anything on Netflix. So. Uh, I haven't seen anything like that yet. So watching the other stuff. The next battle, battle, battle. All right, Arctic Snowfall here. DD Green making a return back after his little break. You can see here, Beach Share has 35% win rate against Leos in his run in rank so uh, as Mitch voiced in the chat leo is difficult for him. round one fight all right no walls here let's see how this comes into play will, will this work out for Meech, or will this be uh more uh, of an advantage for dd green nice counter dd green going for the strain there no reaction to the high and look at this lift punish here. Nice combo by Meech. He's really throwing out some of the slower mids here to catch Meech off guard with the reversal. Plus, and look at the can can as we mentioned earlier. Rage drive, there you go. Sometimes you gotta throw out the rage drive. Round uh, two. In confidence that you'll be able to execute combos and that can lead to better use of it later on. Nice fake out. Oh, missed the punish on that. A little too slow. Some good uh, pressure opportunities for DD Green here. Meet here with the homing move. Nice hit confirm on that string. Bop him on the head with those down twos. And the reversal. Baby Green here trying to, to catch Meech off guard. But Meech scores another counter hit. Very nice with the up 4 3. Alright, Meech here on point for uh, another match. Nice back 4. Looking to make this set a no round round. Baby Green with the floats. Nice, good combo there. Give him some space to work with. Nice catch with the hell sweep there. Baits out the reversal. KO. Closes out the round, round with a nice little jab floaty. 
Oh, trade. Alright, he's trying to hold them back to reason this courage. Peter Green from approaching here. Oh, nice interrupt there. Back one too slow. Come um, straight with the down for two. Nice. Trade here for Didi Green. Converting with a combo. Very nice. Nice. Oh, could have had an opportunity. Or here we go. Opportunity presents itself. Nice. Look at the damage. Nice. Clip some max range down back four. Good stuff there by me. Just hanging by a thread on that one. As I kind of mentioned earlier, you know, throwing out these uh, rage drives and having them land will will likely inspire more confidence in him to throw them out when it really matters. All right, so Meech here is trying to hang on, not let Didi Green uh, get too far into the set here. Trying to stick with him as much as possible. Uh, for those of you who don't know, Didi Green here has played the most first attends on this channel, and as a result, he is our number one placer on this channel based on wins alone. Uh, Meech here has played this. I think this is the second one. So trying to make a return back to first attends after a hiatus. But Meech is definitely no slouch as he's looking, you know, holding on and staying around uh, DD Green here. Giving DD Green good competition. Alright, we're going to Infinite Azure here, yet another infinite stage. We saw last time they went to Arctic Snowfall. Meech did rather well in the infinite stage. Gets another chance to play in that same environment. Look at the counter hits. Meech here looking or doing very well in the timing department. Getting a lot of good mileage off of the, uh, the back fours. And then Green here swapping with Julia. Trying to change things up for Meech. After the Leo pick. Running one there. Oh, misses the follow up. Lashing arrow whips. Meet you're not ducking under the second hit of the uh, party crasher string. KO. And good whip punish there with the down four four. Keeps, it, keeps it simple. There's uh, something very, very terrifying about um, a good Julia, like a really good Julia player. Mm -hmm. Kind of feels futile sometimes. Yeah, they can be a little scary, uh, I'm not gonna lie. Ran into a few good ones myself, and a lot of them are either uh, mix-up oriented or uh, defensive oriented, and the defensive ones are pretty hard to crack. And when you try to get too aggressive, uh, they just start throwing out magic fours and other counter hit options, and uh, next thing you know, you're in, you're in the life deficit and you gotta catch up, and that's when they get you. Guys, Lashing Arrow here. Lashing Arrow is such a difficult move to deal with. When you're able to step it, sidewalk it, you're in a good situation, but otherwise sometimes you gotta, you gotta hold that. Not, oh, that was a good option there for me. Didn't counter him, no. Unfortunately not. And the Mad Axe has come out. Gets chopped up. Right, Green here trying to get his bearings in place. Fight. Looking pretty good with the Julia so far, but the counter hit! If I took a shot for every counter hit Meech has landed tonight, my liver would be dead. Would be shot. Wow! Sidestep 3 plus 4 by DD Green. The combo here with the throw ender. Meech here. Again, throwing out these can-cans. Getting at least the chip damage. And nice! Oh no! Missed inputted. Okay, we're good. We're good. We're good. 
Yeah, he, he tried to go for the port 4 2 3, and again, this is his issue. Doing things too early and only getting the forward input instead of the double forward. Gotta clean up that execution. Nice! There you go. So you just gotta wait a little bit. Got it this time. Going for the Oki. Nice. Checking with the mids here. Need green lashing arrow. Trying to mix with the shotgun. We win rolls and good reversal by Meech. Nice fake out. Oh, tries to just KO. Tries to clip with the down by four, but finishes off with a single jab. Ties it up here with DD Green. Fun, fun set. Um, I'm kind of at my limit right now. Okay, no, I appreciate it, Lab. Well, thank you so much for staying as long as you could and uh, get some rest here. You, you definitely deserve it, and I always appreciate your time on the couch. No problem. Everybody have a good night. Be safe. All right, good night, Lab. Well, thank you. Mm hmm All right, and that goes for every uh, every commentator that has come on board. You know, no matter how long or short you've commentated, uh, I personally appreciate your time and your efforts in uh, joining us here in these first tens. It's not an easy feat. Uh, some people uh, like to commentate on this channel for some practice. Others like to put their flair on the commentary and the mic. My, my uh, commentary. Um, I would say method or you know just the way I do it sometimes uh, doesn't resonate with some people other people love the hype that other commentators bring and that's the one thing that uh, I always try to strive for is, is to bring the hype as well as the, the technical aspect of the commentary itself there's some really good commentators out there that I listen to uh, try to learn from them too because they really do a much better job than I do. So I try to learn from them as much as I can when I get a chance. Round one. Fight. All right, going to precipice of fate here. And with the the last match, Meech has tied it up here, and Didi Green pulling out the big guns in the form of martial law. We did see Didi Green throw out martial law against Shyla Ruler in the in the filler set, and now he's bringing him out again to see how Meech can handle his best character. So far, Didi Green was looking in dire straits there. Meech here with solid poking. Very nice. Nice. Good catch there with the Dragon Sign Stance 1. Meech here looking to catch with those back fours. Didi Green not biting. Shakes hands. Catch on that launcher. Oh, and the reset. Each here looking to. Oh, wow. Good throw there. Each trying to go for reversal. Even when saying say nope, I'm going to go for, for an actual throw. Ah, no break on the run up throw. That run up throw by far, out of all of uh, Martial Law's throws, has the longest throw break window, in my opinion. It literally. Uh, Wait for him to run up to, the, up to your chest before you can break it. Oh, good counter! Meets with the presence of mind to complete the string. Catches DD Green pressing the button. Good break. Oh no. Oh, the sacred blade. Here we go. What we got? Blade drive. Go for some Oki. No, and good while wow, standing on plus two. Round four. And look at Meech there with the sidewalk here. See DD Green do the sidewalk quite a bit. And now uh, Meech uh, showing DD Green that, hey, yeah, I can sidestep too. A little pop up there at the end of the form of the sidewalk. Good block there by DD Green. Starting to throw out some of these strings here for pressure. The low hide. Oh, but it gets interrupted by. Meech is back three, back three. Momentum killer, but look at this flip. He's even going ham. Trying to go for the delayed string. Meech here. Trying to get away from the pressure here. Unfortunately, gets caught by the 10 stringer. Tying it up here. Nice back three. Look at this combo here. Typically, I don't get to see the three ring circuit incorporated in the back three combos. 
Look at the pressure here. Nice. Good duck there by DD Green. Meets trying to pressure with the power crush. DD Green re responding with the duck. Very smart. Good break. Meets here. Look at. Oh, nice. DD Green trying to go wild with the flip and meets with his own back three, and that's going to seal the deal. You win. Since the uh, the recent patch there, Asuka's three ring circus with the mid kick does dish out more damage. So it gives me a better opportunity to close out rounds. In that case, uh, worked out very well for him. All right, so Meech uh, officially in the lead. All right, we've seen uh, DD Green always stay in the lead or tie uh, with Meech at some point, but was able to uh, Finally, surmount DD Green here and, and reach the five point before DD Green. Uh, three less damage than the back four delay. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, the, the back four delay string definitely is more damage due to the unscaled uh, last part of that string. But it's nice that the at least a three ring circus into the mid does more damage than it used to. So sometimes you gotta stick with the, the trusty wall damage, right? And, and that's fine. Sometimes going for the more complicated works out, but uh, in most cases you wanna go for consistency. Because nothing is worse than dropping the combo. Uh, if you try to go for something more difficult and then it could somewhat affect you and, and your outcome. You go for a tried and true combo, go for it. That's why a lot of people just end combos in rage art even though they just literally need one small hit. They'll take the rage art, Round one. make them watch the movie, Fight. breathe a little bit, and uh, be ready for the next round. Nice. DD Green pressuring Meech already at the stage here. Mishima Dojo, one of uh, DD Green's power up stages. Nice catch with the forward, forward one. Both of these players do have down four twos. Safe on block. DD Green definitely uses it very well. Oh, the whip on the can can. Very rare instance where you'll see one of the, the kicks hit and then the other one whip due to being off axis with the opponent. Nice. Did he bring with the magic four? Wow, and good catch there with the homie move by Meech. Pressuring with a, a barrage of attacks here and using the throw to keep Didi Green at the wall. KO. Man, amazing pokes there. I think Meech here uh, working on detaining the green at the wall. Nice reversal there. Extended the, the window to catch him jabbing. Wow, okay, nice combo conversion by DD Green. More hits than I thought was gonna work. Power crush with the wall bounce. Okay, DD Green here. Both of these players. Oh, no rage, so he's got to commit to this combo. He's still alive. Oh! Oh my goodness, look at that! The Hail Mary attempt with the down 1 plus 2. Clutch opportunity for Mitch. For Mitch. Small punish off the hop kick. Oh, good catch. Now that's a side throw. You can actually break it. You just gotta know uh, where your opponent is in relation to your side. So. You ever see yourself get caught in that Shaolin kick string? You can always uh, be ready for a block. On that block, that throw, and then you can break it according to left or right side. If it's in the back, SOL. Oh, doesn't punish the 10 stringer there. Oh, for the uh, Dragon Tail, no block on that. First time we saw it tonight with the Green. The Green looking pretty good here. Again, the 10 stringer. Need to react to the low, otherwise if the low hits, the mid is guaranteed Fight. after that. Hey, what's going on, Mixtifer? I'm not playing tonight. I'm actually commentating. Hosting these Friday Night First 10 fights. Typically have other players involved and uh, enjoy the uh, the spectator view. 
I will be playing next week though. Uh, but tonight I am I'm hosting and commenting. And I'm uh, doing great. Thank you so much for coming through. I know it's late, but still rather early in Arizona standards. Nice and good combo there by DD Green. Coming back from a deficit and tying up the set with Meech. Yeah, going back to the whole commentary style, I think that I was missing that terminology. I'm thinking method, style, right? So my commentary style is typically more of a play-by-play, a little bit of analysis later on. Uh, I know a lot of players are very good at other commentary styles, like just being able to analyze and uh, just decipher what's going on and provide some observations that uh, would be relatable to the audience. Uh, but for me, I, I love the play-by-play. -play. I'm, I'm more excited just to talk about what's happening in the now. So it's, it's, it's fun stuff. Get ready for the next battle. 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 Yeah, you know, Mixtifer, I'm, I'm definitely looking uh, forward. The one thing I need to work on is adjusting my lighting. Uh, now, now with my new stream setup, uh, where I sit in, in the grand scheme of things, uh, it doesn't provide me with good lighting. I have a, a overhead light, but that's too much light. So I may need to invest in a uh, a, a ring light or some sort to uh, to make my face pop out. Round one, fight. I'm talking more than the entire time. <laughs> uh, my 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 younger brother. I guess he's a man of few words, right? But I love I love talking. I love conversing. I know that's that's one thing that he and I are different about is is how we engage and how we socialize. Sometimes you can't get me to shut up, and um, I know that's not a problem with my brother. He's 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 shy and rather introverted. I'm introverted as well, but I take a different approach with it. Oh, awesome! Thank you so much, Mister Fur. I I can definitely, uh, as they say, pick your brain on that. Round two. One of these days when we uh, when we Fight. hang out, I'll definitely uh, get your two cents on it. All right, back to the match here. Nice reversal by Meech. Wow, sidestep there by Didi Green, catching Meech at the wall there with a the strong combo. No break on the throw. As I always say, that's always a two break. Round three. Law does not have Fight. a mix-up out of that. He has a standard one throw, but you can also break that with a two. Oh, no duck on the string there. Ten stringer again. Meech not able to react to the low. Meech trying to go for a fake out there. Wow, nice delay there. And D Green with the wall bounce. Ten stringer again. Round four. Didi Green here getting Fight. extremely good mileage off of that string. Being very confident that Meech is not going to defend against it and it's, it's helping them win rounds. He's been using that string as a round ender almost every time he needs to. Okay, pressure by Didi Green. Look at the step. Good break on throw by Meech. Meech trying to make a comeback here. No, unfortunately. The three ring circus, mid kick, especially on the sidewalls, unreliable. So sometimes you just gotta know when to stop. Uh, unfortunately, that was not, that was uh, something that Meech didn't determine and then continue with the full combo, but whiffed, gave DD Green time to recover and punish with a quick move. You know, Mixtifer, uh, way back when they had the the Pac-Man exclusive stage, uh, it was the, the greatest thing ever, right? And then when they took it out for some reason, uh, I was a little sad because that, that Pac-Man variation of the arena stage was probably the best thing I've experienced. I always love playing on that stage because of the music and just kind of reminds me of uh, old, old times with the game. And when it took it away, it's like, okay, the only thing that I have left is really just the life bar uh, dressing 
with with the Pac-Man. No music, unfortunately. Though uh, I think PlayStation version, you can still change the music on the stage and and still listen to that while you're playing any stage for that matter. But PC doesn't have that luxury. You kind of have to do some Round custom mods one. to reclaim it. Fight. Yeah, they had a level. It was it was awesome. All right, so uh, going to Vermilion Gates here. I don't know if Misha randomly chose it or manually chose it, but anyway, nice reversal. There you go. See, stopping before the last hit will uh, avoid you having to recover in a disadvantaged state. And then Waters, thank you so much for the follow. Look at the pressure here. Oh my goodness, Meech with the clutch. Low parry? Still alive. Heroic care. Oh, look at the low. This is why we don't trim our toenails before a fight, folks. As somebody said earlier in this evening, you gotta keep them long so that way you get the extra range. Uh, of course, Meech here with the shoes probably got got her, uh, got himself uh, some some larger size shoes for the extra range. A nice catch with the wild standing string. Round three. Fight. Oh, look at the step here by DD Green. Good break and throw. He's starting to really warm up to DD Green's throw game here. Look at the parry. Oh, Subaki, excuse me. Oh my goodness. First time we've seen the kick one. And again, Asuka's got the safe. Subaki's here. Oh my goodness. Nice wall bounce. See, this is the one of the few things you need to be careful with Asuka at the wall. You gotta watch out for power press. You gotta watch out for uh, down 1 plus 2. She's got, uh, I would say, underestimated options in her wall game. And what's going on, D Town Skin? Good to see you in the chat. Michi are tying it up, keeping things interesting. Yeah, so uh, for those of you coming in late, uh, we did start rather late in this last set only because we were waiting for uh, Memphis Legends, but unfortunately he's on Central Time, so kind of mixed up on the time. He got out 12 o'clock his time, but he's in Central, so he couldn't work out in the set, unfortunately. So we had to pursue a replacement. Dede Green volunteered to uh, play in Memphis's uh, position, so Appreciate DD Green, of course, being able to come through and playing on, on such short and also late uh, times here. But he's typically uh, available to play and he's happy to play too, so always awesome to see him come through. Oh, DD Green, I, I'm sorry, D, uh, D Towns King, I was so happy to see Jack trailer finally. See, I, I know they have June coming out and all that, but it's nice that they Round left Jack. One. For last or with the, the normal cast because I was definitely expecting it after Lars. So I was like, okay, Jack is coming up next. I want to see it. Really, really good stuff. I, I was really impressed to see that they've changed him and they gave him something drastically new that he's never had in any Tekken series, the stance. I don't know what kind of stance they would call it, but it's a really good addition and I think it's a fun stance to, to work with. And I can definitely uh, envision a lot of combos coming out from it so I, I'm looking forward to, to checking out what the uh, properties of the moves are we've definitely seen uh, some of the older moves come out and play he seems to have a, a rather strong wall game still which is very important for for his line of work Oh, nice back four again, Meech here. Oh, but drops a combo. I know it's, it's getting kind of late and uh, we're, we're, we're getting got into a, a tied situation with the set here, but oh my goodness, another counter hit. Keep it simple, very nice combo there by Meech. Again, I would say between these two players, Meech has 
dished out more of the counter hit opportunities than DD Green, more successful in those. Look at the conditioning now, DD Green challenging after the down back threes. Look at this. Just pressure all around, right? Just throwing out lows, quick lows, and then a little bit slower lows. Like me just onto something here. So uh, going back to the trailer, the one disappointment I had obviously was Jack Hammer not knocking down. It kind of reminded me of what they did with Jack in terms of some of his moves that used to knock down, but no longer do. Like in Tekken 7, they changed Jack's 4-4-3 stomp where it used to knock down a normal hit, but now it's plus nine on the regular hit. It puts the opponent in crouch. So obviously the opponent uh, typically won't do anything, so it kind of adds to the pressure. Uh, but now they've done the same thing with Jackhammer. And, and the Jackhammer, they've, I think they've given him the opportunity to switch to his stance, which I find it very interesting, right? It, it almost... I, I, I can't believe I'm saying this, but with Jack being a stance character, it, it's, it's really going to be fun to see how people adapt to that. And I really hope that they, they give him massive plus frames on a lot of these transitions because there's, there's going to be some discrepancy between, okay, am I going to uh, try to interrupt or am I going to just hold that and, and try to deal with the 50-50 if he's got one out of the stance. We don't know if he's got any lows. Fight. All right, so it'd be nice if he's had like maybe a, uh, you know, good, good plus frames out of uh, options from that stance and then maybe a low to keep them checking. Right, so otherwise there'd be no point in the blocking low. Similar to how Negan was when he was released in Tekken 7, he had no low out of his intimidation stance. And they finally gave him a low. So I hope that uh, a lot of feedback will be given by players and be like, hey, you know, why doesn't Jack have a low from this stance? Okay, we'll give it to him. This is an alpha, so thank you so much for the feedback. We want options, we want mix. Shooting him every time. <laughs> KO. He's got that uh, that ancient two. power thing. Fight. That they can transition to heat, which I think is kind of cool. Actually, gives him more of that sci-fi feature of like, four steals. Or he does an energy blast too. Got the proton cannon. All right, so back to the set here. Meach catching with another back three. Oh, key charge. Oh, that was just a little too late. I think uh, Meach had done it a little earlier. And DDB would have an opportunity to catch a counter hit there. But it was worth a try. Again, the 10 stringer. Gotta watch out for that, right? Again, DD Green. Oh, gotta switch the names here. DD Green just virtually uh, closing out rounds with that string. Oh, if Anna comes back able to block out of Chaos Judgment, oh man, that, that'll be sick, right? But with everything that we've seen so far, I wouldn't count on that, that possibility, right? I mean, anything can go at this point. The fact that they gave Jack a stance means that they're, they're, they're changing the way the game is played. Alright, we've been here. Oh my goodness, look at the damage from Rage. Watch your Spring Kicks! The duck! KO. Unbelievable there. Meach jumping for joy. Fight. Honestly, I think if DD Green had gone for the throw, maybe that would have worked versus the legend kick. Oh my god, now Meach is taking his momentum with him. Nice, good punish. Good block, DD Green trying to make an effort here to come back. Meach cannot move. Okay, good block in the range drive. Wow, look at that sidestep too. You win. DD Green trying to go for the hop kick there. And Meach just stuffing him with the sidestep too. And even cameraman is like, what the heck's going on? Very nice. So I, I guess so uh, my wishful thinking for for now, right? Maybe they'll they'll release June trailer next week if they continue this trend. And then 
Maybe they'll release more characters in Evil Japan. I, I have a feeling that even though we have the close alpha test, they should continue to bring out some more characters, maybe one or two at the most, and then just you know either give them a, give, give us trailers of those or just make some you know uh, short appearances of them coming. I would love to see additional characters. I mean, we probably can't predict some like Yoshimitsu and, and uh, any of the cast that's been in Tekken for the longest time. So the fact that we haven't seen Yoshi yet means that definitely we should be coming soon in, in some surprise format. Yeah, I was say Brian. Yeah, Brian is also a staple. Zhao Yu becoming more staple too, right? She's been in virtually every Tekken one. since Tekken 3. Fight. So I, I don't foresee her not being in a trailer anytime soon. Claudio is going to be interesting too because he's a new character in Tekken 7 and he's uh, a little bit immersed in the storyline now. Leroy or Lydia? I would love to see you, Leroy. See what other BS he's got. You're gonna have two dogs and three canes. Yeah. That's at the buff. Basically, Leroy's rage rage art is gonna be like he's gonna treat you like a the the wooden uh, dummy that he practices on. All right, so in a surprise choice here, Didi Green picking Lars. Going, uh, going back to secondaries. Meet right, here, looking to adjust. Nice catch. Here. Going for Oki. Nope, nope. That is not punishable. That second Round kick three. cannot punish it. You actually have to low parry when it comes out. The first one you can punish, but not the second. Nice, unblockable. And look at the lightning storm. Shout out to Randall for the lovely clips. And then uh, Grand Finals Gaming for producing it. Oh, look at the arc blast. The green looking good. And of course, the Lars Alex Anderson looking, uh, looking crazy. And T8. Oh, nice down back in. Round four. Fight. Oh, nice catch with the Arc Blast again. Breaking the wall. Going to the wall here. Yes, we are. Lars will find walls. Shoulder wound. Nice reversal. Damage. Oh, the can can. Oh, my goodness. Rage Dream. Damn. Oh. Oh, 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 nice. Look at the comeback there by Meech. That's clip worthy, folks. Wow, there we go. Elbow Corona. Watch your spring kicks. Meech here trying to fight back, but DD Green trying to lock Meech in this, this wall here, this balcony. No, look at that. Changed up the timing of the reversal. Kept it short, hot DD Green with the can can, but unfortunately that was uh, not good enough there. Is DD Green able to take that match? Now, of course, I mean, you have to understand that DD Green is behind my one. So, leveraging a new character that Meech has not experienced with, you know, as DD Green is playing, uh, was a good choice. We don't know what Meech's experience is with Lars. And of course, uh, the way DD Green plays Lars also have to uh, figure out how to deal with it too. So very good. Both of these players definitely fighting for their lives. Meet here in a first to two situation. DD Green in a first to three situation. Really want to uh, see who's going to make it out here. Our closest match. Uh, of today was actually our main event earlier at 6 p.m. Eastern. That was Luchohan versus Montel. 
with a 10-8 score. Uh, we've had 10-7s, we had 10-6s, we had 10-5, we had 10-3. Uh, it would be funny if this was a 10-4, just kind of, kind of implement in some way, right? But we're already way past that. So at the very least, we can see a 10-8. But with the way Meech is going, if he wins two more, he'll make a 10-7. DD Green catches up, we'll see at least a 10-8 in, in some form. Fight. Alright, so DD Green... We, we got the uh, geometric plane here, which is uh, DD Green's power up stage. Meets here, either re randomly selecting it or choosing it on his own, but either way, pretty good stage. Look at this. Oh! Drops it, and uh, Meets here stops the combos to prevent himself from being uh, whip punished at the end. Whipped on the elbow there, DD Green. Oh no, gets caught by the can can. Nice, good delay there. Meech Round finally two. seeing that combo uh, at the Fight. wall. Oh, nice. DD Green opting for the string, but drops the combo. Still uh, catches Meech here with half life off. Wow, here we go. Elbow Corona to the wall. DD Green with the pressure with that down to elbow. Round three. We do we, we do Fight. understand that Lars has a number of elbow and knees. So could present an issue with Oscar. So for Oscar. Oh, doesn't continue that last hit, doesn't get the carry. Maybe fearful that it wasn't going to uh, connect. Nice duck. DD Green switching sides. Again the elbow. Pushing back, safe on block. It used to be punishable back in the day, but not amazing. Alright, trying to go for the Yoki. Oh! Couldn't get the hit confirmed. Meets with the low. And another low there. And Storm's W. Stormy, thank you so much for the raid, Party 8. Hopefully you've been doing well and hope you had a wonderful stream. Thank you so much for bringing your viewers our way here. Look at the pressure by DD Green. Looking to... Close out this round here. Doesn't want to fall too far behind. Nylon, what's going on? Good to see you. I have a little bit of a late evening. Thank you so much for pulling through. Hopefully you've been doing well. Tied up here on the 16th match between these two. So you've been looking to tie it up. Meech obviously looking to extend the lead here. No break on throw. Regular throw. Nice. Good catch there. Oh no, recovery kick. Nice. DD Green applying the pressure and preventing Meech from doing anything crazy like a back three or a can can kick. Honestly, if I think if Meech were to at least attempt a low crush, then probably would have been able to catch DD Green. But I know DD Green was looking to do the move. Uh, before he was able to recover and execute it. So, very, very good stuff there between these two. Now, in the first to two situation, we're gonna get at least a 10 8. At best, uh, or sorry, I would say at, at, uh, at, at, at least a 10 8, maybe 10 9. There's not too many scenarios left, so it's gonna be one or the other. I personally would like to see a 10 9 just because. You know, with these two players playing, they want to duke it out to the last drop. Get ready for the next but, uh, of course, uh, if somebody wants to finish it up in less games, they gotta do 10-8. Devil's Pit here. Alright, Meech uh, has been uh, choosing these stage randomly. I don't, I don't recall if he's ever picked a stage on his own. Maybe he's done so in the beginning. I wasn't keeping track. Well, here we are, Devil's Pit. Combination of walls and infinite stage. Round one. Fight. There we go. Forward, forward, three to catch. And look at the back three. Man, Meech's timing on these attacks are really catching DD Green off kilter with defense. Alright, DD Green trying to make things work here. Small pokes. 
Trying to find an opportunity. No orbital. The orbital denied. Michio looking pretty good here. DD Green with Rage. Gets the extra damage off of his attacks. Oh, nice catch. Ran into the down back three. Orbital lands. Shoulder. Look at the dam. Look at the comeback. And no break on the normal throw. DD Green already observed that in that last set when he did that normal throw and continues to exploit that uh, what we call weakness. Look at that whip punch from Leech. Nice catch with the down 4 2. Pressure. Oh no. Gets hit by the 4 4 1. But doesn't capitalize on any additional damage. DD Green with the, uh, the Hell Sweep. Again. Has the wall crush. Oh. Oh, what the hell? Oh my goodness. This is scary. Oh, trying to go for the other uh, can can. I do respect it. Round three. Trying to go for the low there. DD Green opts to check with the mid. Okay. Nietzsche has got to make a comeback here. In order to stay alive. Otherwise, we'll see a no round round in DD Green. Nice counter hit. Oh, but. Drops a combo, misses out on the running three to uh, complement the next hit of that move. That's good. Or the combo, rather. Nice combo conversion. Oh, nice spacing out there. Whip punish the 4 4 3, and the down back four does it for that match. DD Green now able to reclaim the lead in the set. Now, we did see that Meech was a ahead earlier on now back down to uh being behind the green uh samus 777 thank you so much for the follow welcome to the stream here we're finishing up our last first attempt of the evening folks the green just needs one more meech needs two meech i feel can retain his composure enough to at least squeeze out one more win in order to hit that final game of the set. For those of you who are new here, uh, we do these first attendants every Friday, starting at 6 p.m. Eastern time. We do about six of them in the evening. I've been running these first attendants since June of 2020, so during the pandemic. All right, this, this is my uh, going to be my third year coming up here running these first attendants long time coming I, I never thought that uh, I would be sustaining these first attend series for so long but it's become a, a massive hit by many and it's, it's a great time everybody has fun people commentate for fun I personally enjoy watching Tekken and Samus thank you so much for the raid I hope you had a wonderful stream, Samus, and with the party at 13, thank you so much for directing your viewers to this channel. Round one. And uh, capturing uh, the last bit of the set. Thank you so much, Samus. All right. Forgotten Realm. Although the stage has not been forgotten, we all know that the stage is home to many of the kings and other characters that have strong combos in this stage. What's going on, Devil Rob? Thank you so much for coming through. DD Green with the pressure here. Oh, runs into the down for two. Meech has an opportunity. We're going downstairs. No, drops it. Counter. Opportunity. Watch your whiffs. Good look, watch your whiffs. Oh my goodness. Again, I don't know if Meech was throwing on a power crush there on purpose or going for the rage drive, but. Um, I guess we'll find out next time if we hear from Meech, but if it was Rage, I would have definitely hit the screen. Hey, small moves here. Oh, doesn't punish the string. DD Green trying to go for a counter hit opportunity. Meech didn't fall for it. Oh, nice can can. There we go. On the elbow, nice punish. Good bop in the head there. Down two, such a good move. Fight. Keeps him locked in uh, on hit, and of course counter hit. 
combo opportunity. Nice block on the the shadow curve. The down back four. Downstairs for sure. Going to the wall. Look at this combo. Side step two. Dee Dee Green here. Looking pressured. Oh, nice punish there, Meech. Thank you for showing me the string one more time so I can punish it properly. That's why you know, anytime I play against players that uh, give me an opportunity to punish string, I take it. You're gonna show it to me once and I'll punish it? Okay, no problem, that's on me. You're gonna show it to me again? I'm gonna be ready for it. And Meech here on match point, looking to tie things up here to take it to the final match. Oh, nice choice by Didi Green with the elbow corona. Knowing fully well that you cannot reverse elbows. Using it as good pushback here. Trying to catch Meech approach and maybe counter hitting. Look at the back three! Look at the timing for Meech. Didi Green has thrown out the elbow so many times that he was able to counter his approach with it, with the back three. There we go. On the elbow. Oh. Shines them shoes. With the full crouch move low and potential set point for Didi Green. Match point for both. Meets looking really good. Catching with them homing moves. Oh no, the mistake. Counter hit opportunity for Didi Green. Counter hit again. Gotta watch for Oh no, that was a big mistake on the miss input. Very, very careful. Gotta watch. Rage drive. Oh. Oh. Pressure. Oh. Oh, man. That was unfortunate. Meech tried to go for the can can to catch D Green. D Green was back, backing away. Good game. Good set to both players. Honestly, that was another exciting set between these two. Meech would have been able to uh, close at that round if it wasn't for those counter hit uh, opportunities that D Green had. But very, very good stuff overall. D Green takes a 10 to 8 over Meech. All right, folks, so we're gonna go ahead and wrap things up here. Again, I do wanna thank our commentators that we had earlier on today. Uh, those of you, you know who you are. Thank you so much for your time. Also, I really wanna thank our viewers too. Those who have come through time and time again to watch these events, uh, you mean the world to me. And of course, our newcomers that are uh, learning about these first attends and, and what we do here in this channel. I really wanna also thank you for being up so late, joining when you can, checking out and supporting the players and what we do here. So really appreciate your time and your energy and your support. Next week, we got six new sets coming your way. Um, be on the lookout for announcements in our Discord. If you wanna know what our Discord looks like, here's the link to it. Feel free to join. Definitely uh, look uh, to introduce yourself. We're a, a wonderful group of players that love to play the game talk about it, uh, connect, so on and so forth. So feel free to join the Discord there. Otherwise, stay tuned for announcements on the next sets for next Friday. We'll be, uh, again, starting uh, 6 p.m. Eastern time for those of you uh, who are in different time zones. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll hopefully get to see you there. Take care, everybody. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you next week. Peace out, everybody.